What's up, Samantha? Good afternoon and happy Saturday. How are you? Hope your weekend is kicking off well. Mine certainly is. I woke up about an hour ago. Just how I like to start my weekends, so that's great. Welcome to the stream. We're playing Pacific Drive today, and I'm quite excited. I've heard quite good things, and I'm just super interested to see it. Uh, how are you doing? What have you been up to? What's up, Batadar, Dumbats, Chaos, Muriel, Arcturus, and Endrix? What is it? What's going on today? What are we playing and how do you play it? We are playing Pacific Drive and I do not know. Hope you're aware of how fucking confused you were for a second there. Why? Because you got a notification at noon? I've been talking about the stream for a week, alright? I know you've been busy with, uh, Infinite Wealth, which sounds like it's a fucking strong contender for Game of the Year already. But you know, you gotta come up for air once in a while. Let's go. Pacific Drive is so fun. I'm glad to hear that. Weird, I just opened Discord to see if there was a stream today. There is indeed. It's right now. And if I really like the game, it's going to go for a while. I'm on early because I want to give myself a good chunk of time if I really enjoy this. It sounds like there's an excellent chance I will. Tino is pretty positive on it. People generally seem pretty positive on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad to be catching a stream. Pacific Drive looks brilliant. Seen a small snippet of it on another channel. Excited to see your take on it. I'm so looking forward to this. 99% recovered from three to four, six days. Congrats, that's fantastic. Oh, I, I hope the last 1% happens quickly. Last couple times I've gotten sick, I got 90, like 5% better in the normal time or maybe even a bit ahead of what I would expect. And then I just had like the sniffles for like a few days. I hope that doesn't happen to you, but I'm glad you're that much better. That's wonderful. What's up PQ, good to see you. Hope you've buckled your seatbelt, dude. I gotta get in the game and see if the thing still has a seatbelt. Seatbelt, seatbelt, seatbelt. Apparently a big part of it is maintaining your vehicle. That's like the core of progressing in the game is maintaining your vehicle while going out in these dangerous areas so you can collect better stuff to upgrade and... Hello? It's not like someone slammed... slammed a door. Cats have the zoomies, that's what's going on though. I should go check they didn't slam a door. They've closed the bathroom door with one of them in there once. One second. They hadn't. They just made a sound like a slamming door running around the floor somehow. But I put a weight in front of it so they can't now. Now I don't need to worry about them. What's up, Braddock? Good to see you. Hey, Lucifer, how's it going? What's up, Alberto? Never heard of it? Looking forward to it? Is there a stream? I think there is. Hydra having no idea how to play a game is the perfect relaxing contrast to honor mode. Nearly put your face wash in your hair as shampoo today, waking up a little bit slowly, it sounds like. Been a bit busy, so it's been some time since I've seen the stream. Well, it's good to have you back. I hope you've been busy with something fulfilling or fun. Who needs seatbelts when you've got wood paneling? It's so fun. Zoomies, indeed. Ah, oh, the Chaos Teenagers. I feel like the last time you got in a car was to play Jack X Combat Racing. Do you mean at all or in a game? The last time you got in a... How well... That sounds like it's been a while, but did you play Combat Racing yesterday? I've got so many questions now. What's up, Troy? Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Oh, we reached the, I think the cat did a bad BRB phase. Good to know. Yeah, as they become more comfortable, they become more destructive, which is a delight. But it's okay. I completely accept it. I try and focus on how it means they're more comfortable getting up on the counters, knocking shit off, making me go, did I leave a knife up there drawing? We once had a cough for months, just never went away. Very strange. Long before COVID-2, and then suddenly it was gone. Weird. That must have been exceptionally annoying. What's up, Laser Quest? Good to see you. So, we're going to play Game Duel today instead of Guess the Game, just to switch it up. I don't know if we'll switch to Game Duel for a while, but I just felt like it right now. Then we're going to play Pacific Drive, Samantha. This is how we warm up at the start of almost every stream, or at least Guess the Game is usually. It gives me a chance to... Settle into being on camera, talking into a microphone, staring into the lights, and what we need to do is guess what game this like, is. Share, subscribe, Hello. send money, carry my children for me, uh, buy me a car. Four months of our favorite content creator. Stop it. 
Han, thank you so much for the tier one resub in the four total months. I appreciate that immensely. That's very, very kind and giving of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really mean that. Enjoy your ad-free viewing over on Twitch, your Baxter emotes and so on. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah. Same rules apply. If you absolutely know the answer, don't guess. Just give us a chance to, you know, extend it a little bit. Have some more people come here and throw their guesses in. But you're welcome to be super smug and tell us that, oh, God, as soon as I saw that upper right corner, it's the most distinctive upper right corner. I knew what it was. How do you not know what it is? You can go ahead and be as smug as you like. Currently making burgers to your grandma. That sounds nice. That sounds delicious. You thought this was censored for other reasons? No, they're just making it harder to guess. Spec Ops, Game Deal is better. You had COVID in 2021, brought your asthma back. Wow, that's really annoying. Been struggling consistently for the first time since like eight years old. I'm so sorry. I hope that goes away in time. That sounds very, very upsetting. I've gotten COVID just once and I avoided it for like two and a half years from the first like peaks here in the US. So, you know, I'd started to settle down and almost feel safe. Um, and when I got it, you know, I wasn't like terribly worried or anything like that, but I got the full like two week, when it, when it first hit the US, I remember them talking about it taking two weeks of symptoms before you started feeling better. And then it seems like it was getting shorter and shorter. I don't know why that would be the case, but that's how people talked about it. Now I was laid out better and worse. It went up and down for two weeks, very annoying. Beige smoke the game. I'm gonna call that a second vote for Spec Ops. I've never played the game, I've never seen the game, but Beige Smoke the Game sounds like a good alternate title for Spec Ops. I know it has this, well, I don't care. And it is Spec Ops The Line, well recognized, Brad. No, you can't buy this game online anymore. Licensing. Licensing. You think you're one out of 30 and guess the game? My average would be heading down that way if it weren't for your help, Samantha. I was so strong for the first couple weeks of Guess the Game. Getting weaker and weaker as we go along. <laughs> All right, same thing, but this time with artwork for the game. So this is not necessarily, this is really big. The cover image, like the first one was, this is any piece of artwork for the game. And then we have one more varied game after this. Uh, someone in Manhattan. Wait, you met someone in Manhattan for drinks and got COVID? Ouch. What's up, Unleash? You know what game Furious can't play anymore without pirating is the Infinity Blade Saga. Oh, really? I hadn't even heard of that. But like, that that was coming off, that that had been taken off of. That sucks. You think FF7 or 13 looks like Spider-Man? What do we have here? We have twisted bits of metal. It looks like construction. That looks like an I-beam there in the very bottom left with a couple holes through it. And then what's the red metal? That still looks like it's scrap, not a part of something. What is this? Is that underwater in the left? I didn't think so, but it certainly could be. I think it's just a blue cast of light, but it could be underwater. I can't tell. I think you got this one in your second or third guess. First thought was Subnautica or something. Was a mobile game Epic Games made and got rid of it once they got big. Looks like Batman to you, no grass, so you don't think it's Skyrim. Um, We have two guesses for Final Fantasy, right? Let's guess it's Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake. Well, we are in the correct saga. More guesses? Correct saga. More Final Fantasy guesses? Metal Gear Revengeance, I could have 100% believed that before we knew it was FF. That is the cloak, it is. I mean, I'm pretty darn certain I know what character this is now. So, I mean, I guess that gives me a guess what game it is, but I'm not certain. This could be art produced for like any game he's in and he's in um, at least four of them. Ever Crisis is out, five of them. Dirge of Cerberus, that's the one he stars in. Should we start with the one Vincent stars in? Let's do it. For a series called Final Fantasy, there sure are a lot of them. I remember, it is Dirge of Cerberus. It is the one he stars in. What's up, Vincent? Good to see you. 
remember my friend when I was a kid explaining to me like, oh, there's always these, there's always these like through lines, you know? There's just, an, <laughs> there's always an airship piloted or owned by a guy named Sid. And I was like, okay. And then he was like, at the, and the, the adventure is always final in some way. <laughs> A character dies or things change irrevocably or the whole world is threatened there's something final about it okay <laughs> there probably is about most rpg stories or just stories you know that right ff is called that because the studio is about to shut down and then they made a hit yeah i remember hearing that there's always a lighthouse you own dirt to cerberus but you need to play it they're parallel timelines all right, Samantha, now for Gamedal's unique selling point. Someone give me a game that came out in the mid-2000s. We're doing one more puzzle, and to start it, I need the name of a game that came out in the mid-2000s. Oblivion? Perfect. You ready? Oblivion! Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. We are looking for a game newer than Oblivion. Came out after 2006. It does not use the Gamebryo engine. It's not from the Elder Scrolls Saga. Now, yellow is harder to read. Yellow means partially correct. So, for instance, here in perspective, the game we are looking for is at least first or third person. It may be first, third, and another perspective. This may mean it's incomplete. It's more likely the game we're looking for is first or third, and maybe others. If one of these was marked green, that would mean we have those details entirely correct. Nothing is extra, nothing is missing. It's all correct. We don't have any green. So we need a newer game. Let's try and narrow this down. A newer game, and give me guesses that are only first or only third, so we can hopefully remove one of these two. Start narrowing it down. All right. Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is, is first and third. I want something that's only first or only third. The game we're looking for. Oh, here's a good use of, of the yellow marker. The game we're looking for is single player because this is correct. Otherwise, it would be red. But it is also other modes or this would be green. We're missing something from here. Got it? Themes as a sandbox, what does that mean? Uh, something without uh, like, without a lot of weight on a final objective or a story, where you're allowed to just reshape the world the way you like, and you can spend a majority of your playtime not on the main quest, but building your base and exploring and things like that. What's up, Tino? Good to see you. Doom 2016, I like Doom. Oh, wait, uh, Doom was... Bethesda was not the dev, they were probably the publisher. Oh, but that's yellow, so this is, this is good, this is good. Doom, new. All right, so the game we're looking for was not published by Bethesda. That cuts a lot of studios out. It is first person only, and it is a shooter. It's a shooter and it's also an RPG, an adventure, or both. But it's definitely a shooter. First person only, shooter, adventure RPG possibly newer than 2016 okay okay I helped one green I'll take it Borderlands 3 is 2k Starfield that's not Bethesda Borderlands Bioshock Borderlands 3 would be first person only it's Gearbox I don't think it's no, it's not going to be on either of these engines. Let's try it. Borderlands 3. Ooh. Oh, wait, this is interesting. We're looking for something developed by Gearbox, published by 2K Games, that's first person and on the Unreal Engine, but it's not a Borderlands. It's newer than Borderlands 3. What has Gearbox put out since Borderlands 3? That really narrows it down. The problem is I don't know what they've made because I haven't cared. Duke? Was there a Duke Nukem game since then? Tiny Tina. Wrong saga. I assume that would be part of the Borderlands saga. What the fuck's going on here? 
Yeah, that narrows it down to the realms of thing I don't know. Exactly. Hmm. Gears of War? Did Gearbox work on Gears of War? I thought Gears of War was... Was... Who makes that? Who makes Gears of War? Is it just some internal Microsoft studio I wouldn't know the name of? It's gotta be Tiny Tina. They wouldn't call that part of the same saga. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Oh my god. They don't call it part of the... Part of the... Part of the... It doesn't say Borderlands in the title? But it's Tiny Tina. Hang the fuck on. Oh, you know what? It's probably because it's not Borderlands. It's Wonderlands. I see. Well, here's where we're just paying a little bit of, of time. We didn't lose any guesses from not playing Game Duel for a while and playing Guess the Game for a while. In Guess the Game, I'm pretty certain these would be listed as same franchise. But this is Saga, and this isn't part of the same story, I guess? Anyway, point is, well done, Samantha. The answer was Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Originally came out on PC, PS4, X-Bone, Series X, and PS5. They call it a shooter RPG adventure with themes of action, comedy, and fantasy. Fant oh, of course, fantasy instead of sci-fi. I'm still thinking in Borderlands. Released in 2022 with single-player, multiplayer, co-op, and split-screen on the Unreal Engine. Dev by Gearbox, published by 2K Games, first-person only from the... Wonderlands Saga, apparently. Apparently. All right, I feel good and warmed up. Let's get to Pacific Drive. Here's the thing, I haven't opened this game yet, so I haven't like set up the um, capture and all that. So, you know, yell at me if it gets too loud. That's the most important thing. I haven't done any audio work, so it could get too loud. All right. Any cats I can show you before I change scenes? No. I left my bedding a horrible mess and they have either hidden among the mountain peaks of Comforter or they have um, chosen someplace else to lie down. Unprepared again, Hydro. Unprepared again. Do we have to type in all caps if it's too loud? Yes. Yes, you must. What am I doing now? Okay. I need to go to the Pacific Drive scene Start the game up, stop the music, get my controller connected. I'm guessing this is a controller game. If someone knows better, please tell me. But I'm guessing this is a controller first game. Play Pacific Drive in DirectX 12. Sure. DirectX 12 has to be mature enough to be equally stable now, right? Right? Must be. Start capturing, please. Start capturing, please. There we go. Okay, everybody, welcome to Pacific Drive. In this game, we are going to be going around an anomalous zone of strange anomalies in a shitty old station wagon. I think the rest will become self-explanatory as we go along. I don't even know a lot more than that. Controller's good? All right, good shit. Quick check of the settings. Camera Bob, sure, we'll leave the, leave the stuff on for now. Reduce flickering visuals. Um, Reduce rate and intensity of flickering visual effects. You know, this is a safety issue. I will turn this off. If 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 it makes a really noticeable difference, I may give you a warning and briefly try it on to see if the game looks totally like different. But let, let's just turn that off. Tumble hiding. Close eyes when inside a tumbling car. That sounds immersive. But also, I kind of want to see. Let's leave that off. Car transition. Fade screen when entering eggs in the car. Off. Wow, there's a whole lot of options. This is so nice. And Moody, you're up to 18 hours of this, though some of that time is you idling in the garage for reasons we can discuss later. Got it, got it. What's up, Magnetron? What's up, Moss? I will. I'm just going to endure it, thanks. I will not. I'm just going to endure it, thanks. Excuse me. I missed the most important word of that. How are you, Hydra? I'm good, thank you. Uh, loot highlight, high visibility loot, item outline, weather, fog intensity, enable lighting. I would like there to be lighting. FOV car, FOV, sure. I'm going to leave most of these on normal. Let me just go check. Oh, yeah. 
Streamer safe mode. There we go. I heard this had copyrighted music. Sorry, everyone. You're not getting that. Borderless window. V-Sync off. Motion blur has been getting better recently, and this is an atmospheric game. I'll probably turn this off, but we're going to start with it on and just see if it's terribly noticeable. DLSS off. Until I know, like, how this runs, we don't need DLSS necessarily. Jesus Christ. There's a lot here. You know what? I'm going to leave this as it is for now. We're good. I mainly just wanted to check on Portalist Window to play. Explore Pacific Drive, the Ho Rainforest, Hurricane Ridge, Kalalok and Ruby Beach, Lake Crescent, self guided tour, auto shop, move once, stay. Oh, the auto shop would show me, like, what my progress was if this wasn't a new save. Would you like to customize your settings? You can adjust these anytime. No, I think we looked at what I wanted to look at. Most desired feature for this would be custom music folder option. It's a good soundtrack, but there's nowhere near as many songs as you'd like. I forgot to check subtitles. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. It took them eight fucking years. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. But one man in a beat up wagon can get in. <laughs> sealed might have been overstating it. JS Express. We got an address. Knock first. Duck. Deliver. Unload. Clean. K? The Olympic Peninsula, 1998. South of the barrier wall. Is this how I have to control things? Wait, can I do that when I'm not looking? Oh, fuck, dude. That's how I drive my car, super safely, by going, where's that control? Radio off. Hang on, I need to change the wipers. No wall can withstand the power of the front wheel drive wagon. You think tumble hiding for if you have traumas from car accidents, don't want to relive it? Yes, I would also assume it helps some people with motion sickness. It's awesome they offer it. I'll warn you right now, I have it off. road coming I assume I don't need to care which side of the road I'm on. There's not going to be like a lot of traffic out here looking at the quality of this road and all the stuff starting to grow over the edges. I say the quality of the road. It actually is great if this is an abandoned area. Music's a little loud. Settings. The whole thing sounds a little bit loud. Let's try turning master down to 80 and see how that is. Still pick it up in yellow. Quick check down to 70. And is there a subtitles option? Yes, and it's on. Good. Whoa. There it is, kids. There's the family vacation spot. Hang on. Let's get out and take a photo. Where are my kids? I don't know how to get out of this car. Yeah, Dad used to take us to the, the exclusion zone every summer. Eyes on the road, Hydro. I was looking for my wipers. Pull down the windows, I'm too hot. Are we there yet? Oh, it starts already. It's a cold one. 
Could I turn on my lights again? Is my view gonna center? Whoa, that's zoom, not center. Okay, handles like a boat, which is fair. That's okay, we'll, we'll be upgrading it soon enough. I know it's about maintaining the car from what I hear and that's the challenge of it. I, I'm confident we'll not just maintain this thing. We're gonna get it race ready. We're gonna get it so race, oh, I don't need to look down to do stuff. This is getting better. We're gonna make it so race ready I'm going to be able to spend time just putting stripes and shit on it, too. That doesn't even... Aff that's... Oh, I'm going to crush this. We have the first person to go explore the exclusion zone with NOS. In a station wagon. Warning, high R levels facility. Oops, wrong thing. Shit, god damn it. There we go. Why did I try using the triggers to change the wipers or whatever? Can I sit shotgun? I get motion sickness? Sure, just climb over the little console, but be careful, okay? I'm, I'm driving here. High R levels facility, extreme caution advised. Further inquiries directed to gate C2B. Magnetron keeps hitting you. Okay, I'm trying to focus on the road back here and figure out where we're going. All right, keep it down. Launch and construction facility ahead. Periodic volume warning, 80 plus decibels next 15 miles. Can't even read that one. Okay, onward. It just said rocks, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the performance definitely changes on dirt. Authorized personnel only. What the f Those rocks just disappeared. Are the anomalies going to remove obstacles for me? The car's pulling funny. Okay, rocks just appeared there. I'm just gonna keep moving. Sure. I don't feel fully in control of the vehicle. And the vehicle is what you depend upon in this game. That's like the point of this game as I understand it. Oh God. Why does it sound like the anomalies have like a voice? I expected this to ramp up slower. Oh god, where are my headlights? Uh oh! Kids, you okay back there? What do you mean you spilled something? Well, that's understandable. Oh, now we're gonna have to do the jumping puzzles in Zen <laughs> with the car. I don't feel good. Neither do I. The Olympic exclusion zone. Get to safety. Walk. Find transportation. Oh my God, we're gonna really have to rebuild the vehicle. Oh my God. Can I take this with me? Fuck. Where'd the car go? Don't think insurance is gonna cover this. What's up, Groovy Duck? Good to see you. You think you're gonna throw up? We'll just pick a bush that isn't glowing. Okay, don't go too far. Can I walk over this stuff? Seemingly. It's still pretty, honestly. Towards the light. If they painted it yellow, I might be more certain, but I think towards the light is almost like yellow paint. 
towards the crouch tutorial. Can we stop by McDonald's? I don't think we're anywhere near a McDonald's anymore. Burger King probably sets up franchises in neighborhoods like that, like this. And you just got the mystical wizard painted on the side of that thing. God, I paid. I was saving a while for that. <laughs> Kick. Is that the car? That's a car. Is Hello? that our car? Someone out there? Hello? Oh. What a swan, eh? Oh, never mind. Is our car named Francis Tobias? Acting up again. He was supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Wait, what? Put the wheel back on. Oh, hold. Install summer tire. Do I have like, um, I don't even know the word for it. Is my hand one of those tools? I just held that out and was like, brruh, brruh. it's on. Well, I guess I'm perfectly suited to this task. I've got to get through the zone maintaining a car, but this has happened to the one man who is a toolkit. Let's get in. This thing's leaning heavily to one side. I didn't even look if it has the other wheels, but let's go. Hey, what's up, Apopka? Good to see you. Tobias Fumke, the car talks. He blew himself. Lightning McQueen! I'm that forklift from cars. Turn the key. Sounds good. Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I read you. I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave oh. that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Yeah, we pull to the right a bit here. Hang on a second. Can I get back out and see if there's anything else in that garage? Hey, we got a barn? One. Hey, do you copy? Wheel. Hello? Is this thing working? No tailgate. They, 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 Wheel. They don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. I don't want to miss this conversation, then I'll go check the thing. But if they're stranded, do they mean they're from outside? They're a breacher. Hey, These hey, people aren't? The they live here? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick Oh, we do have a compass. Perfect. A few miles east. All right, I, I know they just said that we're sort of, like, short on time, but we gotta, we gotta make sure we have supplies if they're gonna give them to us. Nope, this sucks. Okay, let's get in the car and get out of here. <clears throat> Mealtime, have fun seeing the VOD. Have a fantastic time out. Having Chinese, right? Enjoy yourself. How quickly can you blend beef? Surprisingly quickly. Love the idea that Hydro is trying his best dad while the hundreds of kids that are his chat are just sitting in the back complaining, sticking around for this. Alright, everyone be quiet now. This is not easy driving, okay? Hush up. Stop hitting your sister. I'll put the music back on when the radio isn't being messed with by whatever happened in this area, okay? Kids, you have to understand. Oh, look at that hood ornament. Why did I buy a Dr. Manhattan brand car? Shit like this always happens to them. Can we turn on the AC? No. No, we can't. I think there's a bunch of little folding fans in the the pockets of the doors, though. Check for, check that. Don't hit, don't hit each other with them. Okay, I mean that. Don't make me come back there, because space is shifting, and back there may not be there by the time I get back there. Hello? Siphon fuel. All right, kids, stay here. Actually, you should you so you should learn. You know, our life is now in the zone. Kids, come on out here. You should learn to siphon fuel. 
kids! That'll be fine. Takes the driver's seat, you little fuck. Because there are no seatbelts, this baby's from 1947. Not gonna share your snacks. You have to pay. I told you before, just pick a bush with fewer anomalies. But don't go too far, okay? Really need to minimize the anomalies. I'm supposed to siphon from this? Okay. Okay. Now what do I do? Check your trunk for a fuel can. Oh. No. There isn't one. What do you mean, check your trunk for a fuel can? Did I forget to pick one up? What? I did... I, it's not that I missed that. That's where it goes now. I just thought I probably shouldn't look too closely at that. Maybe it would like slowly spread over the car. Maybe it will slowly spread over the car, but this is where this goes. So it's the anomaly created some of that like netting, you know, over the door kind of thing for storing stuff. Do the anomalous forces slowly upgrade my vehicle? Percentage rising in the top right. Cool. Cool. Man, they really just kind of like stuck it on there. Oh, I miss station wagons. You'd 100% buy one if they would get more than 10 miles per gallon. It's a weird, annoying time to live where I have all this nostalgia for certain old cars and kinds of cars too, but I wouldn't want to buy one. <laughs> Everyone else got to experience their old cars, and sure, it would cost you a bit more in like repairs and stuff for a lot of them, but like. It's almost unethical to buy a lot of old cars now. It's certainly exceptionally expensive. You don't have a seatbelt, but the fuel can does. The fuel's more important than me. I got all these kids back here, all right? If I die, it's not gonna be great for them, but they can, I didn't put the gas in. All right, kids, what did I do wrong? Who knows what I did wrong? This is a test. Dad knows what he did wrong. He wants to know if you know what he did wrong. Mom did say you were suspiciously good at siphoning fuel before she left. <laughs> oh, just hold right trigger. I thought I was just opening and then doing another control. You fucked up. No, I did not fuck up, Andrex. Now we're not stopping at the Burger King even when I see one, okay? Andrex lost that privilege for all of you. We gotta go. We gotta go, kids. Everyone shut up. Kids, if anyone starts feeling too green, everyone's gonna start feeling a bit green, but if anyone starts feeling it too green, you let dad know. Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? No kidding, what could it be? A remnant? That can't be, there hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Oh, uh, see? You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. Oh, they just no mean... Way. Oh, I guess he has a car. I thought they were... Remnant and it's a car this time? I thought they were, um... No being real positive about my progress. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. I can't believe your mom wanted me to get this. Hello? Dad, how much longer? I'm tie fired. Dad doesn't know how much longer, but thank you for the 300 bits, okay? I appreciate that, kiddo. Just try to hold it. Oppie's Auto Shop. Seductive Marks, thank you so much for the 300 bits over on Twitch. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Is this the motel, Dad? I don't know what this is. Stay in the car, okay? Dad might have to siphon more gas. Dad might have to kick an alien in his stomach.
way into the building found. Turn the power on. I think that was just lightning. Whoa. Pick up the backpack from the table. which has taken the form of a car. Is that not my car? Kids, get out of the remnant! This place has been closed for 30. The lights. Arda. I don't know what Dad was so afraid of. The remnant tastes like lime. The barrier wall is as fortified against creatures trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. This game is a lot of looking for lights. <sighs> what? You need help? There's a headset somewhere. Ah, okay, that's what they're telling me in my um, directions up top as well. The zone provides and performs maintenance free of charge. If you're willing to just pay one of your normal human dimensions, we will give you free undercoating for five years. Five years and changes of tires for no extra charge. If you're willing to throw in a little of your sanity, I can talk to the manager of all space time and we might even be able to get you a little more. What am I looking for? Pick up the Mechanic's Eye headset hanging by the map. 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 It's a bulletin board. The map. The map. The map. It is a bulletin board. I figured I should double check after looking around that much. The map. The map. The. I don't see a map, but I can pick the. Oh, that's the map, I think. It's just so dark. Pick up. Oppie's Auto Shop. Patch yourself up. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Okay. Dad, the car's feeling awfully remnanty. Dad, we can't find Anthony. Remember Anthony, kids, okay? Start committing Anthony to memory. I don't know. We'll see if... if I don't know. Your, your mom and I always joked we had too many kids anyway, right? Is that funny? Is it too soon, kids? Put the wheel back on. Can I drive the car in here and work outside the rain? Please? Can I get in from this side also? Crude door. Look, it's all I had. I don't seem to be able to get in from over here. Oh, hang on. Oh, this rolled off as I was coming near? Pull the car in. It does say that. We're learning these controls. We're learning them. Morning, Hydra. What's up, Mambo? Let's make sure to take Grandma off the roof of the car. Hurry, I'm hungry. I wonder if there's any snacks inside this place. All right, does autopilot take over at some point? Doesn't feel like it. Um. 
kind of want a moment's peace, but I can't shut this thing, it seems. Unless the button is elsewhere. All right, let's get the wheel on. Let's just worry about that first. So, wheel. Right trigger. Good. Craft a replacement door. Add to your to-do list a crude door. Hit the back button to open the headset OS. I didn't know the Vision. I thought the Vision Pro was a silly product. Apparently, it was made for the end of the world. Crude door. This weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. It will also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. Select. Open doors, yeah. Select. View blueprint. Uh, I love this UI, but it takes me a second to find where I should be looking. <laughs> Put the car in park. Oh my god, you're right. I've never done that. I know we're clearly on level ground. It's not moved, but I need to get in the habit. Put the car in park. See? Dad was testing you kids, and you passed. We should shut it off, too. Actually, get... God damn it. There we go. Look, I live in New York City, okay? I haven't had a car in, like, 13 years. He's learning to drive. Fuck you. If this, if this was about riding the subway through... Oh, hey, it's gotten nice out. Kids, go play. Stretch your legs while you can. Oh, we're gonna be here a while. Dude wants to close the garage with the car on. I didn't even think about that part. Okay, well, uh, add a crude door to your to-do list. Crude door. Yeah, pin to checklist with, what is that? Clipboard plus Y? Oh, there we are, just, just Y. Okay, cool. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Sure. Vehicle, log, photo. They haven't taught me about that stuff yet. Steel door. Can I, like, take the X to kick? I cannot kick the steel door off and use it. Fuel tank. How do I siphon? Kick. Kick. <laughs> I, oh, Christ. Oh, wait, we need the gas tank. There's going to be a lot of kicking while I try and remember how to do each action in this game. Like, pick this up. There we go. I don't like this test. Can we leave? I miss mom. We're leaving as just as soon as dad can figure out how. Can we close the trunk, please? I'm cold. I'll make a door for the trunk as soon as possible, but it's not a priority. Uh, I have not Hexa. I haven't heard about it. And I, I usually... I mean, discourse can be important, but I try to avoid discourse when it's called discourse a lot of times. I've been making National Lampoon's vacation jokes this whole stream. I accept this now. Hold the right button to search. I thought that's what I was doing. Kick. Kick. Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong here? We all see the right button. Magnifying glass question mark, right? Oh, it says locked. I had to look a little higher. Keys, keys, keys. Can I open this? I cannot. Summer tire. Can't pick that up either. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage. Yeah. Search. Search the toolbox. Oh, search the toolbox by the garage door for the pry bar. When did that get added? Is that the pry bar? That was a mechanics kit. All the most essential items and equipment that allow a mechanic to do their job. You'll want a few of these on standby to handle engine or wheel trouble. Uh, is it a pry, pry bar or is it really your first chance to try the subtle art of lockpicking? After all, this is for the cautious, careful opening of closed containers. It may simply seem larger than conventional lockpicks or require a little more force. Want you to do a cartwheel, Dad? Watch me. Dad's watching. Meanwhile, both eyes obviously on what he's working on. <laughs> <laughs> I avoided saying the name because I didn't think that was going to be a joke. Have you seen the discourse on Haven? No, I have not. Follow up. Having a nice day today, Hydro. I am. Thank you. 10 out of 10. Got him? 
duct tape. The adhesive properties of this industrial strength product are not to be underestimated. It, attach, it both attaches items and removes skin with terrifying tenacity. Okay. There we go. Pry bar. We found a pry bar. We assigned it a quick slot in our hands. I put it away again. I don't know how to open my inventory. I'm going to show you, kids. Your mom never said I was very handy. Oh, that an office job had made my hands soft with time, but... Yeah, your dad sometimes knows what he's doing. Glass shards. Should probably leave those there. Well, the kids will need toys. No, no, think twice about that. Road flare, cheap, equipable light source. Useful in a pinch, this powerful potassium-based incendiary burns bright and burns brief even in the wettest of conditions. Perfectly usable chunk of this brittle but hard-wearing substance. Glass has a dozen potential applications from windows to optics. So we do want these. Cheap, equipable light source, another flare. And another flare. They rotate. Oh, <gasps> do we have rotating inventory management? I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right, good. Gather items from the abandoned car. Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items you're unable to craft. Can I use this to get like ty uh, tires off and stuff? Whoa, I've got so many more controls now. Right trigger for pry bar. Left trigger to drop. Okay. It looks like tap right button to put in backpack, hold right button to put in hand. Left trigger to throw, hold it to throw, and I can still X kick. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, hello, computer. Um. Will this become something if I break it? <gasps> and it's just that easy. Glass shards, electronics, plastic. Good shit. There's so much inventory management. I love it. We're stopped going to bush, but what if a spider bites my wiener? <laughs> family road trip today, but with less family. Oh, it feels like more ticket. But yeah, we're taking a family road trip through the zone today. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. How is everybody? I hope you're having a good Saturday. Morning, everyone. What's up, Starfish? Can I break these off too? Does my pry bar... Oh, my pry bar has durability. And this doesn't turn into materials. It just turns shitty. I need to save my pry, bar, pry bars. Pry, I need to hit it once more. Is that another health bar or is it... Oh... Probably another pry bar nearby. We do get parts, but I don't have enough durability to do more of that, really. Oh, hey, my to-do list. I may need to do more of that. I need three more milkshakes and a screw. What? Oh, I also need duct tape. What else is around here? A radio. Okay. Can I kick the radio till it breaks? We're pretty flexible to kick up there. Search the dumpster by the door for crucial items. Do I have a flashlight? I think it's worth risking our life to go pick this up. Scrapper. Essential. Tear into anything and everything out there with this voracious homemade tool. Reduce items to raw materials in moments and walk away feeling mighty. Think that's glass, Dad, not milkshakes? Maybe. You get a milkshake too? Apparently they're glass, so no. What, uh, can you hit that will reduce to a milkshake? Um, a, a fast food paper bag? Rearrange, drop, equip. This has its own power. There's a heart on it. Pick up road flare. Let's leave the lit road flare. Is this all done being weird? That's moving slightly. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's get more, um, um, my to-do list went away. Will it come back if I pick some things up? Uh, right trigger. That's way better. It does, okay, it comes back when I grab things. And we need one more piece of plastic or scrap metal or something, I'm not sure what that was. It's a tire give us, rubber. Maybe some metal. Yeah, I need glass. Let's go cut the other door up. Oh, of course, a milkshake machine. We just need to find a milkshake machine to scrap. 
Still three out of four. Well, that's not glass, that's plastics. Glass is the one that looks like a glass. Plastics, plastics, plastics. Tire didn't give you plastics. Panel did, didn't it? I know it looks like it's just metal and stuff, but didn't it give me some? We have enough parts, let's go craft a crude door at long last. Hydro's milkshake brings all the anomalies to the yard. Drank something black, is it just me feeling hazy or? If you feel the need to throw up, I would go with that feeling. I think you forgot your stuffed monkey at home. Can we go back for it? No, no we can't. You know, we're trying to though, eventually. But just like Anthony, I just need you to remember the monkey for now. Crude door, craft by holding A. Excellent. It's right in my hands. And we just pop this on the back so you kids don't fall out. Uh, right trigger. Good shit. Get the repair putty from the locker. Okay. Uh, Y to, what's Y? Oh, I just put something away. Repair putty. When you don't have the time or the resources to perform extensive repairs, this is the spit and tape solution that will carry you through and fix up the worst of things. There's also a spare tire in here. I can't carry all this. There's a first aid kit. There's unnamed chemicals. And there is a second scrapper, or is that in my hands? Oh, I put the scrapper in there accidentally. Okay, where can I store things in my vehicle? We don't have a bumper, sure. Hmm. Can I store things in the garage? Uh, equip repair putty. Didn't realize I was standing that near to that. Repair putty, equip with Y. Structural parts, 39%. Use the repair putty to repair the car. Uh, is anything red? Let's start with red stuff, because I probably have a limited amount of putty as well, right? Forget it, the Alamo, Texas, uh, forgot the Alamo is Texas mad at me? No. Is it still Pondergrants if you want questions answered? Uh, yes, it is. Let me stumble through this game, just like most others. Miss your monkey? I know, kiddo. I miss Anthony. Framing the stream on your wall. Uh, where was that thinking when Anthony fell out? Is this what we use repair buddy for? Whoa. That's a pretty worthwhile product right there. Holy shit. Just needs a lick of paint, it's great. Slap some on there. Slap some on here. Where's my limit on this stuff? Oh, down the bottom left, it's behind me. The bottom left, you're just missing what I... Oh, there is trunk storage now. But I'm holding things in my hand. You're just missing, like, what I'm currently holding and how much it has. You know, I'm missing a lot of info. Okay, it looks like we have to do... Yeah, everything, everything. Can this work on the tires, too? Bumper, headlight. This panel's in rough shape. That splash was me using up one can of repair putty. Now I'm starting on my second. There were three in that stack. A, fix the flat tire, scan the flat tire. Scan with left button. Repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit or repair the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Uh, let's try and make a ceiling kit. So, let's see if I remember everything here. Ceiling kit, add to checklist with Y. We need two adhesive, three rubber ducts and one glass. Interesting. Um, let's... Uh, sorry, not scan. I want to... I want to store in the trunk storage. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't store in trunk storage yet. Trunk crafting. Oh. Things to look forward to. Let's put this repair putty away. And what else can I put away? Because... We're carrying a lot of shit. Wait, do I have everything I need? Uh, I need... One more adhesive. One more adhesive from somewhere. And then we're good. You're gonna go live with the wolves? I'll be back in 17 days. Don't you go wandering off, okay? We gotta stick together. Do you know how time works out there? Do you know time works the same? I don't think you know time works the same. Good, now Yidus is talking in tongues. We gotta get out of this zone. It's not good for you kids. 
Oh yeah, send them to schools in the zone. They'll teach them all sorts of wild alien languages. It'll give them a real leg up. Yeah, well, I want to be able to talk to my own kids, okay? Hail the rubber ducky. Seriously, what am I what am I trying to do here? Adhesive. Workbench. Adhesive. Adhesive, adhesive. I can't break things in here, I notice. Can we talk? Scan. Locked keypad. Door. Oh, hang on. Does this tell me what, like, materials I'll get for breaking something? <laughs> that said recommended tool. Hands. Don't cut the door up, dude. Just, you know, open or close it as you need. Scan. Wrecked car. No, it doesn't seem like this is telling me what I'll get out of items, actually. Huh. Maybe we just take the spare tire. I can't seem to figure out what I should. I already opened the toolbox, actually. What I should tear up to get one more piece of tape. Oh, it's my radio. That's what that is. Fuck. I like how they represented the different pockets of the backpack. That's kind of fun. That's pretty good. Not knowing what to do because dad keeps yelling at you. It's just under a lot of stress, okay? He still loves you. He's just under a lot of stress. We're not going to be one of those families that ends up on TV like, well, dad never really had time for us. I was trying to get you through the zone. You don't know the pressures I was under. Oh, yeah, boo me. The crowd's booing me now. Oh, boo me. You don't know what it was like. You kids are soft these days. You've never had to deal with alien influences, sudden explosions, and teleporting cars. No, you just go on TikTok on your iPads now. I think we're just getting the replacement tire. I, I, I have run around a bunch and totally have no idea where to pick up stuff. Um... So, if I could, please, put that back, that back, that back, that back. Then we can bring the tire over and pick the scrapper up wherever it will fit. Good. Uh, equip. And replace. Where do I? And right trigger. Okay. And we get to put this tire back so that we can hopefully fix it later. And let's pick up some of these materials again. Is there anything here I don't want to carry? You know, probably crafting materials I probably don't need to carry out and about. I probably want putty and repair kits. We'll find out as we go, but I probably don't want to carry the actual components. Right? At a guess? Good. Replace the flat. Did I not replace the flat? Did I just take the tire off and put the same tire back on? It's going to be a slow playthrough. I can only apologize. I think it just auto-picked everything up. I didn't touch anything. Is that part of the anomalies in the game? I think mom was right. You do need therapy. Oh, yeah. Well, it would be nice to... I'm not touching anything. You, come here. Now, drop this on the ground. Hold this in my hands. Put this one on. Pick this up. I have to talk my way through all of this shit. Put it away in here. Please don't automatically start doing shit. A gear, leave that here. Pry bar, keep with us, that keep with us. Give me the putty and the scrapper tool back. Are we good? Kinda? Where's that gas can? Fuel can. Pop that back in here if I can. Right trigger to leave. Perfect. 
Shit, dude. Scan the loose wheel and equip the mechanics kit. Open inventory. Why open inventory? Scan the loose wheel. I need to scan, not open inventory. Left button. God. He's drunk again? Mechanical stuff just doesn't come naturally to me. Equip the mechanics kit. Okay, that's all it is. And fix with right trigger. See? Install the cardboard boxes in the trunk. Now that is more my speed. Warning hands only, no worries. Install the cardboard boxes in the trunk. They're bolted down now. Install the craft mat in the trunk. If we should be carrying materials, right button. Right trigger. Now we're making progress. Oh. <clears throat> There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. The passenger seat? You're all gonna have to ride in back now. Whoa. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Why does the ARC device get shotgun? Because it's Father, Judge, and Judy's spirit. All right, kids, just don't worry about it. Let dad get us through this danger. You all comfy back there? That's dad's dad. Father Judge Judy. <laughs> Blueprint gear. Scan. Do I need to like pick it up? Oh. Whoa. Blueprint impact hammer. And now I know. I know car gears. Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. Come here, you. Come here, you. I think we're almost ready to actually go out in the zone again. Sorry the tutorial's taking me so long. I'm finding these controls very confusing. They're not bad, I just for me, they're very confusing. Pop this back on here. And throw the switch to charge the battery. That's what this glowing dangerous thing is. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Ah, this. A uh, root planner. This oh. is a zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. I know I feel like I'm what falling apart. Means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. Oh, this is your roguelike elements explanation. Got it. And it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. Hey, Dad, I found Ratatouille. Can we keep him? How big is he? Does he talk? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say a blanket no on pets for this trip. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. Pockets if of stability. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Please, go pretty please. Route. You know what? I don't want to argue. Problem. Fine, sure, okay? You but you're responsible for your ratatouille. You, you, you understand? It's a big responsibility. Alright, you're responsible for that anomalous creature's entire life however long and however many you know universes it passes through okay hmm. think about that three hours damp forest unknown unknown junction e5 klim for gateway k lim for gateway why is the okay okay low junction condition something huh root analysis Oh, does that mean a good chance of fuel and car parts and a good an okay chance of lightning too? Sure. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Let's get out of here, Samantha. Let me check my inventory one more time. Um 
Um, we might be carrying a bit much, but let's assume this is fine. Can I rearrange real quick? Uh, rotate with R. Come here, you. Great. I think that's probably about as good as we're going to get. Okay, let's go. Let's get back out there. Now this is what Dad's talking about. Now this feels like a command center. Oh. I legitimately think this will emotionally help me deal with this dangerous vacation and all these kids. That's why dads do these things. Remembered. She's saying a left. Put the stuff in the boxes in the back. That's a goddamn good idea. Let's just go out to the zone and try and figure this game out a little bit, all right? Leave me be. The wolves wanted me to sign an NDA. Wait, did you mean wolves or are you talking about lawyers? Are you calling lawyers wolves? You're not old enough to be that cynical yet. Okay, are we going? Is this the loading screen? What am I doing right now? Travel, yeah, of course, travel. Travel. Forgot Exploderberry at the station. I'm pretty sure we're going back there. That'll be safe. What's the difference? Whoa. Junction 5, radio station, residential, damp forest, yeah, outer okay, zone. Newbie. I'll keep this simple. I don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The arc device is picking Limb up is some poison. plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Oh, I'm still wearing the headset? I thought that was just around the gar uh, garage. Kids, does dad look cool in his headset? How about this essay, you know? Does dad look cool in his headset, kids? Just a little pose by the door. Nope. Alright, just be quiet. Keep your arms inside the vehicle while I'm out. Find and scan a plasma generator. Gather and craft. Recommend collect materials and craft replacement parts. Chemicals. Great. A toolbox. Right button search. Scrap metal. A 9 volt battery. Cool. Seems fantastic. Great. With fabric, plastic, rubber. A duck is a rubber. That makes sense. That's great. Nine volt glass shards, plastic glass shards. Things automatically stack too. Can I read any of these? Well, not that apparently. Can you hear those wolves out there? Why whining or something? I think that's what that is. Looking for clients? Pressurized cartridges. <gasps> We're going to be able to have a uh, soapbox derby when we get back. That will get the kids off my back for a while. Oh, this is fantastic. Dude, this is way more materials. Way more materials than I thought I was going to find. They're clearly being kind to me. Hello there. Is this a plasma generator? Transmuter. Use first aid kit. Danger? My health's dropping. What? My health's dropping. Because I was standing near that? 2.5k... Hang on, I need to understand how to use this. 
What does this do? Transmuter. Glass shards to electronics. So what? I go glass shards and then... And then... And then... I get back glass shards. Let's get out of here. Plasma generator. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. I need an impact hammer. Open headset OS. Blueprints impact hammer. We need... Oh, a bunch of stuff. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back. I think I have a lot of them. Homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most I was born in 87. Won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. Coincidence? So loot to your heart's content. Just and away. time doesn't flow quite normally for me. I'm 57 years old, as you all know. That's scientific fact. Are we connected? There's stuff back there. I don't want to drive the car back there to not get too far from it. Jesus Christ, my health is going down fast. What's up, Diamond? We transmuted glass shards into glass shards. Witchery. There's no explaining the zone. Look at you, out in the zone all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What, did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Uh, we should bring along the fuel tank to siphon. Oh, hey, there's a car right beside us I didn't even notice, too. Okay, I'm at 47%. It's time we learn how to use the, um, the, uh, med kit as well. So, assign a quick slot. Replace this, please. And then you just equip it and you hold right trigger to heal. And it gives you a buff that heals you. Awesome. Now I need the scrapper. Let's assign that our first quick slot. It was already in the last one, I just hadn't noticed. Um, and give me this, please. Oh wait, can I even take much more out of one of these cars? I don't think I can. Uh, right trigger to siphon. Nope, never mind, we don't need fuel, we're fine for that. I was thinking, of course, we could have tons and tons of extra, but we get to have what's in our tank and one extra. I'm having a little trouble reading that thing. Do we have what we need? We need three scrap metal. We need two adhesive. How do I put away the scrapper so I can, like, see better? Oh, right. Locked, 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 locked. Pry bar. Already had a quick slot. Son of a bitch! Watch Naruto on your phone. I don't have Naruto. I just have episodes of Frasier. You're welcome to watch episodes of Frasier if you want, though. Knock yourselves out. What's happening? I'm scared. Dad's just trying to open the trunk of a car, okay? I know he looks like he's having difficulty, but there's no need to be scared. Radiation hazard. Radiation's dropped almost nothing right where I'm standing, though. Can barely fucking see. That's the edge. This fence is a bit of an issue. Hey, I can't uh, uh, see a way through. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. How can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics. I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get. 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one My car? has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... 
And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. So Oppy decides what I hear. Critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions so I need will be to get out here. indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. We left the car right in, like, a radiation area. I'm safe inside here, but getting outside the car, I'm immediately in radiation. I just want to back up so I can work at the crafting thing without being standing in that radiation zone losing health. I'm learning exceptionally slowly, but I'm learning. He still says 2.5k. Wait, there was none back there. It's not just around this front part? Let's drive the car a little further back to where I was safe standing on my feet. Okay, so I used to be safe standing over here, right? I still am. I was really quite afraid we were about to discover that the car was what was radiated. Though I was safe inside of it. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but I was kind of worried there. So we need to make a gear for this thing, craft the gear, and then what are we missing after we have the gear? I need a second gear, so I need two more scrap metal. Actually, I think I need four more scrap metal, because with the two gears, I'll need two more scrap metal for the impact hammer, and a gas cylinder, which I have. So literally, I just need to, like, scrap some of this car, and I'll be fine. They're not making this hard, I'm just having trouble reading things and getting distracted. I just need to scrap some of this car. Oh, so that's why the car was trying to absorb you into the upholstery? Just think of it as an extra level of comfort. You can sink right into it. But don't sink right into it. Struggle against that a little bit, kids. Two out of three rubber. Do I still have something on my to-do list I'm not aware of? What I'm building right now doesn't need rubber, and yet I keep seeing rubber on my to-do list. Make the impact hammer. How do I find my to-do list so I can remove some stuff? Scavenger's checklist. Right. Ah, I can remove it here? Nope, I'm adding more. X minus. I think I fixed that. We have an impact hammer now. And we need that to remove one of these things. Did I not make an impact hammer? I did. Did it go into the storage here? Did it go into my hands? Is it on the ground? What's happening right now? Pomegranates, does anyone see the impact hammer? Back from the store, welcome back. One of the 40-year-old off-brand Doritos. Radiation's making your face feel funny. I taste metal and know it's not related to me licking the door, but do stop licking the door. YouTube failed to notify you of this. What's up, Colton? Seats are suddenly more comfy than they were. That's good, but don't sink into them. Really love this car. Oh God, it's happening already. Sincerely, did anyone see what happened to the impact hammer I made? Because it's telling me I don't have uh, materials anymore. Isn't it? Tier 1 durability installed. <laughs> I think I have to make another one. I think I have to make another one. Did it go into car storage, or has it fallen under the car? Maybe it fell under the car? I mean, I can't fucking see. Hang on, let's test that before I collect all the materials again. It won't take very long now that I know where to get scrap metal from, of course, but... This doesn't feel right. I, I don't know where it went. I, I think I have to make another one. Hey, what's up, Ash? Are you normally on this early on Saturdays? No, but in case I really enjoyed this game, and so far I am, though I'm not doing well at it, I want to give myself a lot of time to play. 
playing Pacific Drive that just came out this week. Is it part of that Omni tool? Does this thing look different? Hang on a sec. Scrapper. Oh, I, there's nothing else written here. I kind of doubt it. But you know what? Let's just go try cutting one of those things out for the hell of it. Seems perfectly safe. It's doing the job. If I want to remove this cleanly, I might want to aim at a different part. Hmm. It's doing the job. Our scrapper's nearly out of power, though. Let's go make another impact hammer. Can you have your allowance before the car eats you? Oh god, that's I promised an allowance. Um, uh, can I uh, can I can I can I pay you kids in pine cones for the moment? Is it safe to give you pine cones? I'll owe it to you. Let's do this again. I don't know if I screwed up or the game screwed up. I don't have that much scrapper left either. I wonder how you power the scrapper. We're gonna need to figure that out at some point. Okay, how are we doing? We can make another impact hammer. That went nice and fast. Let's make it. Right button. Impact hammer. Hold A to craft. Good shit. I am holding it now. I have an impact hammer. I need some light to see what it is. Got it. Smash plasma generators for materials. Oh, I am breaking them up. Uh, skin. And then. That's what I did last time. But I didn't get plasma last time. Oh, I broke one of the ones I think I may have needed. Uh, I think we need to go further down the road. Maybe there was enough here when there were two, but I broke one. Now we need to go further down the road. Jesus, I'm doing terribly. All right, heads down, everyone. I'm backing the car up. Heads down. God, I would have seen that if you'd been listening to me and put your heads down. Sorry, I'm not mad at you. I am mad at you, but it's the zone. The zone's making me do this. Okay. The seats are whispering for your soul. I, you know, some materials on other materials. Okay, it's, it does, it can sound like a fart sometimes. That's kind of funny, right? Pay it no mind. I'm gonna get out and scan that thing. This is the probably safest chance I'm gonna have to do that, and I should know what that is. I don't see it ending well, but I'm gonna scan that thing. Abductor. Yeah, I'm not gonna go mess with that right now. Kids, don't touch the wildlife. Let's go while it's on the right. Ooh, boy. More plasma. Good, good, good. radioactive around here? It's not. Oh. Is the car okay? I think it's okay. A lot of glass, a little bit of plasma. Good stuff. Does this take any more damage? I think the panel on the hood did take some damage from that lightning, so I should park a little further away. Let's go out towards the middle here. Get both these at once and then move on. You just stuff that plasma right in your pocket. And then wonder why you got so sick out there. Another abductor over there. I'm getting blasted by lightning. We're at 47% health. Medkit time. 
Is this real life War of the Worlds? I don't think so, but it's it's the the nature and effects of the uh, events are so far uncertain. Discovering them is sort of the uh, object of the game and escaping. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old guerrilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Antenna tower up on a hill somewhere. Where do I see my car's, like, gas level? Oh, uh, of course, it's right down there. Sure. Gas overlook camping. Let's pull over here and check out what's going on. It's rocks floating around that, which seems like a warning sign, but... Is this the way I'm going to want to go, or...? Another abduct abductor floating in the distance, but they don't seem to patrol very far, so I think we're safe here. How dangerous is it to go explore this glowing place? These floating things. Do I need a tri pry bar for this? Red lock. Anything else I can get? Already broken? And I'm losing health just being around it. I think that we don't go there. I think we go on. Introductions. There's too much in my logbook. What do you mean introductions? I think it was a radio. Oh, my, my. Where are our manners? Uh, driver. We never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh. Oh, and um, here with people that steal this place away. Stuck. I was an R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Was that patrol? Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology. The maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. So one of them was the head of maintenance, one of them... Do I not have any pry bars remaining? One of them was the head of maintenance, one of them was a doctor at the institute, and then the one who owns the garage was like the head of the institute? Or the head scientist? Can I craft pry bars? I can. Scrap metal and duct tape. Um... So I need a bunch of scrap metal. I want to get in there, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a pry bar for the door, I bet. Ah, I'll go take a look even without a pry bar ready. Fuck it. Let's have this ready in case it comes after me. My slowest acting tool. Yep, we didn't need it. What's in here? A bunch of lab equipment. A lab computer? Great. I'd love to break that, but I need to save for the antenna parts or whatever. The power I've got left. Ah, toolbox. That's good. Decal kit retro stripes. You know what? Absolutely. Decorating the car is going to be self-care. I know I shouldn't spend time on it, but sometimes you got to fear mental health. I wonder when it's going to be safe for me to leave here. Trash can. Has some pieces. None of it scrap metal. Receiver. Um, what does that, like, select mean? I don't understand. Hold it. Oh, hold it. Oh, that's what it means. Journal fragment date unknown. Everyone's checked out of town. At this point, I'm the last person left. I'll be gone by tomorrow, too. It's hard to believe this was once a community. Sure, we didn't have that much to show for it. Not much to offer visitors, no great sites or famous landmarks, but a few of us lived out here and we were happy with our lot. And then it seems the government had other plans for us. You no longer live here, they said. Here's your compensation payment. Now get out. Their weird secret experimentation zone keeps growing. They own this land now, this town, and soon we'll never be able to come back. They barely gave us enough to cover the costs of moving. Now it's time to work out what to leave behind. Hey, what's up, Yen said? Good to see you. How are you enjoying this game? I am struggling to learn the controls. I constantly hit the wrong buttons and so on, and I'm wasting some materials, but I guess that should be... That should be expected at the start. But here, just a very little way into it, I think I'm really enjoying. I love the feel of the game. 
But it's a survival game, and I've not played long enough to know if it's a good challenge or an annoying, you know, oh god, I need adhesive again, son of a bitch. You know, that never gets any easier, sort of like, thing or what. But so far, I'm liking it. A little dark inside here, you should turn on your headlights. I'm kind of worried about my battery. Oh wait, did you mean when I was inside the thing? I'm not that close to the car yet. It's gonna take time to become that. Do we need wood? Can we use wood? No. Surprisingly, we can't. I guess the wood on the panels is fake. I haven't seen the retro stripes decal uh, yet. All you need is fuzzy dice hanging from the rear view mirror and we'll be set. Established as hell. Can we get the computer? The Elden Ring DLC is coming out. Oh. You know, Dad's hands were very full, and uh, Dad likes you to play outside. You know what, actually, we probably could get a computer. We can get a you a computer. You can play outside less. Hey, Dad is selling my soul for a Lego Death Star a good deal? Yeah, it kinda is. Those things cost a lot. Igdans. Um, okay. Let's pull up a little closer and fuel this thing up. Which size the gas tank on? I gotta turn around too. Fucking parked. Where's that thing going again? Okay, I'm gonna try and use the rear view mirror this time. Except I forgot which way to turn. You know what? That's going to be good enough, I bet. That's going to be close enough to fuel the vehicle, or they're being very cruel to me. Nice. Good stuff. Real quick, how do I make a battery for my scrapper? I want to go in here and scrap a bunch of shit, but I, I'm real low on that. Scrapper, reduce items to raw materials. Is it not a battery? Is it about making another scrapper? I need scrap metal and plastic to make one, so they are cheap. Let's get ourselves some scrap metal with the last of this and then break it and see what happens. I'm not in, yeah, I'm not in danger in this area. Do I have enough left to break this? I do. I think we got enough scrap metal to make another. So you just make more scrappers. Understood. That makes more sense. Gasoline's only good for a year. How long is it supposed to have been abandoned? 30 years. But also, this is science fiction and this whole area is supposed to be weird, so I would forget about the rules for a while. I don't need to unlock this, actually. I can just do this. I was going to break it anyway. And a lot of road flares. We can probably afford to put a bunch of the stuff in the trunk. Okay, I probably have plenty of scrap metal now. Let's see if we can get inside for anything more interesting. Inventory full. Steel sheet. Ooh. That's its own thing. Cool. Um, put away all of this shit. I hope that's accessible to the crafting table right beside it. Like, you don't have to pick them up. I'll accept if not, but that would be super cool if I didn't need to grab them each time. Let's put the repair putty in here as well, the retro decals. Actually... Equip. Chassis. Alright. Alright. It's gonna make the car go faster, I bet. Am I holding an empty tube? Oh no, we still have the item. Oh, cool, so we get to reuse it. Something's making a noise. Fuck it, stop that. I want a pry bar. How do you make a flashlight? Is that possible? 
Repair putty, battery, mechanics, ceiling, crude door panel, crude headlight, carbureted engine, gear. I cannot make myself a flashlight just to hold in my hand. Heard him, guys. Forget the rules. Trust the chairs. Oh, God. Yetus's languages are getting worse. How many milkshakes to make a flashlight? I'll get as many milkshakes as they want. That's exactly what I'm asking. How many milkshakes to a flashlight? What's the conversion right here? And what inside here is... Oh, there's just a light on. Glowing is what I was going to ask. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A backpack with some useful stuff. Nothing, nothing. That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. Hmm? We'll check those out back where we are. I thought I got a new thing from this. I was just opening the same consumer electronics thing. All right, what's back here? Ah, there we are. The glow is coming from something. Anomalies bothering you? Give it the boot! There's nothing back here. Well, there was a little bit useful inside. But more importantly, stopping here got us to top off our gas and... I actually learned how to craft some shit. Can't put a price on that. Let's head on to the antenna. I doubt the tutorial mission's supposed to take this long. Yeah, the decals have durability. You can apply them X amount of times before they break. Good news is there's a lot of them. Okay, I can deal with that. That's cool. Let's get this turned around the right direction. And I saw up on the hill past that anomaly, rising and falling, was a blinking light like the one she describes. So that's where we're headed. Overlooking camping this direction. There's another one of those anomalies. We'll just go around that. I feel like I'm being guided this way. And I think it's off to our right up the hill. I think. There we are. Didn't even have to stop and ask for directions, right? Awfully goddamn winding road up here, though. At a certain point, wouldn't it have been easier to make just a set of stairs and park lower down? No radiation. Excellent. Broadcast transmitter. Scan real quick. Sure. Um. Oh, I equipped it. Moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. Wait, I haven't even looked for parts. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, don't Find you worry your anchor pretty little head about how it works. It. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Okay. I'm willing to go with her on that so far. Put the steel panel away. Put this broadcast. No, keep the broadcast transmitter. Yeah. Rearrange you down here. You over here. Now that's pleasing. Now that's pleasing. Use the arc device map to locate and drive to an anchor site. Sure. Um, right button to check. An anchor site. Show legend with right. An anchor signal is that. There's like a bunch of them. We go towards the biggest anchor signal. Because it's going to be the best one. Bank and stairs would require leaving the car, though, and we love the car. That we do. Uh, this is a little bit of a dangerous turnaround. I don't think it was, like, a sheer cliff, but... We don't have a lot of space. There we go. A tiny test. Play. Hey, Hoppy, like... Look, I, I keep thinking... 
the way you're helping our friend here right now seems positively helpful. I seems like me. You're looking to turn a new leaf or something? The only thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey. And the back of this breacher's head when I set them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you have <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine. Stop crowding my I want to test my car. What? Wait, really? Ollie, darling, you never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, yes? How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? The bunnies? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. Whoa. You're a legend. You're a role model. I'm giving you 10 seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay, uh, we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, and watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. I wonder what a bunny is. Doesn't sound like it's short for abductor. Hey, Dad, why is that deer on its hind legs? You seeing a deer? Does everyone else see a deer? Am I the only one who doesn't, or are you the only one who does? Oh, hang on, there's a cabin. Don't talk to the deer. Actually, this doesn't look useful. This is not useful. Let's just go focus on this thing. You missed it? It's calling you? I want to sell you insurance? Scan the anchor. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. Private field notes, Dr. Mensa, March 30th, 1970. We've now completed the process of standardizing and replacing all the anchor mounts and infrastructure. These new mounts should be far more durable, steadfast against weather and atmospheric changes, and resistant to any corrosion. This has been a lengthy and difficult process marred by endless delays. It is my hope that most of these mounts will hold for at least 50 years, but many projections suggest two or even three hundred. That's far longer than many anchors themselves. This was, I believe, worth it. As usual, I will be compiling and submitting a full casualty list by 1,000 hours tomorrow morning. At that time, I will begin to notify next of kin. Oh. Let's get ourselves an anchor. Do I have to scan this too? Stable anchor. Wrapped. Put it in the car. Not looking at what's happening. Put it in the car. It goes in the passenger seat. Oh. Get in. No, get in. The off device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage. But it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. Activate, 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 now activate. Get caught in the storm that follows. Activate. How do you do that? Link gateway to something. How do I do this? Remove pin, show legend, stable. How do I start this shit up? Where did it go? Wait, is this still in my hands? Oh, fuck you! Hit the fucking parking brake! Reverse! Get away from that thing first. I think plants are attacking the car. I think they are too. The very ground is rising up, kids. This may be the end of days. If you know any prayers, say them. I know we're not a religious family. But it might keep you from bothering me while I try to figure out how to do this. Is the anchor in or not? Is the anchor install upgrade? Am I holding this thing? What's happening? What do I do? It's like gateway coordinates on the map. Link gateway. Should have had the car on before. Before, is that where we're going? You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. C 
Come on! This is exactly why I asked for that evasive driving course from the race car drivers for my birthday. You know, your, your mother was like, well, what's the point? Holy shit! Don't tell me when that happened, kids. Hey. Does anyone want some gummy bears? I could try crafting some gummy bears. Does everyone have all their limbs? You're alive. I'm certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they've been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Jesus, my health. Now, Take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? I'll mess it up, but I'll make new stuff. Don't worry. It'll all come out in the wash. I play football with the new non-explosive ball. You know, it's described as stable and I could use a break. At a certain point, parents would be like, yeah, it's, it's not too sharp. Yeah, sure, go play with it. You can kick the, you can kick the stable anchor around. <laughs> you just don't say a prayer, your prayers scare me. Hey, Lana, what's up? Good to see you. Sorry I was wrong about the drop date for Pacific Drive. Oh, no worries. I mean, it was my plan to play Saturday, so it didn't change anything for me, but not a big deal. Embarrassed yesterday thinking about it? No worries at all. Hope you're having a fantastic Saturday, friendo. Smith, anyone who wasn't here when Lana was hanging out yesterday, let me say again, go follow her on twitch.tv slash in-game girlfriend. That's in-game GF. And she's on YouTube. Apparently she won't admit what her YouTube channel is named, and I can't remember off the top of my head. So you'll have to do your own searching. Highly recommend for those of you on YouTube as well. Twitch.tv slash ingamegf. Your marbles spilled on the floor. Well, if it's only your marbles, you're doing okay. Dad, my balls are gone. Do you mean your toys? Your feet are swapped. You want gummy bears? Let's get to crafting gummy bears. American race car driver course. How to turn left. Turn right hard enough and you'll go left eventually. Let's store things on the paint shelf. I think that's probably going to be this one over here. Paint shelf, indeed. Scan for the hell of it. Right button. Um. Oh, my decals are in here. Give me this. I wonder if the putty can go there too. It's not really paint. Nice. All right. Break open the back rooms with an impact hammer. That's the way back there? Sure. If Oppie says so. If Oppie says so. Hey you, you're finally awake. Got caught on the border like us and that horse thief over there. Fabrication station. Extend your range in the zone. Assemble an antenna with the fabrication station in the back room. Can do. This is our tech trees. Those are a lot of tech trees. Scanning antenna uses a broadcast transmitter, plasma, and scrap metal. Go ahead and make it for me. Thank you. Hey. Uh, scan. Grab. Installation kit. Install it on the roof of this place. There are stairs in here. I haven't noticed a way up to the roof. Okay, I'll figure it out. Let's not climb the dumpster that got angry at me. Um, oh, here we are. Perfect. Perfect. We'll get all the channels with this. This will shut those little brats up. That's a cool effect. I wonder if there's something anomalous about what I'm building, or if that's just, you know, to save on animation. It's cool, though. Install a handbrake in the car. 
I'm gonna do some drift turning. Get the handbrake from the backroom storage locker. Oh, I don't need to make anything. Even better. I'm liking these backrooms more and more. There's a handbrake. There's a crude panel, a crude bumper. There's extra repair putty, canned food, scrap metal, a hand vac. Nice. Install the handbrake in the engine bay. Tokyo crashers with your station wagon. Do I need to j right button to flip up and then right trigger to install? Nice. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Search the dumpster for something to help you unload the trunk. <gasps> Quality of life features. See, I think it's so mad at me. But I think I actually just noticed this is described as God damn, dude. Friendly dumpster. If you're ever in dire need, pay this a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes and she also provides. Huh. Everything's in working shape, more or less. Transfer trunk. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Extra moving capacity is exactly what you'll need after those longer, deeper drives. Now you can transfer all your resources and items with ease thanks to this portable garage buddy. How does this work? Um... So if I'm holding a crude panel in my hands, because I don't have enough space, did I just put it in there? I did. So if I open this, can I transfer directly? I see. So let's take all this stuff out. Can I pick you up into the... No, I swap. All right. Sorry, let's swap. What's the button Y to put away? It's a button to like put away right in here. What the fuck was it? I think I'm fooling myself. So we carry this back and forth to transfer things. That's super handy. Let's empty the car and then decide what we should be carrying in it at any given time. I think the dumpster ate someone. You know, that's not great, okay? But the dumpster's kind of a mixed bag for us. Like, there's a lot of good that's come out of the dumpster, too, so... The kids need to learn there are gray areas in life. Maybe we, maybe we work with the dumpster, but we don't completely trust the dumpster. Think about that. Friendly dumpster reminds me of the exposition dog. What game has an exposition dog? can't turn on end can you so yeah I mean it's just a locker and I've put like two car doors in it so I, I guess I understand why it's like full up now huh a storage sort of like system is going to be a bit difficult to put together but we'll work on it we'll work on it did I leave anything in this locker last time I left a lot in this locker last time great all right First things first, simple materials. Simple, simple materials will go out by my car, so will repair putty. Let's do those first. Those definitely go out in this, regardless of space, space efficiency or whatever. All of these little one by twos. And repair putty. Do these not stack higher? Okay, they only stack to three. Canned food and road flares can go here, too. It's sort of like basics. And then panels. Panels. Panels are interesting. They're so big, I'm not sure where I can efficiently store them. Is there better storage than the locker? Do I need to use any right now? That would almost be handy. Yeah, we do need to use one right now. Perfect. Oops. Um, is this the front door or the back door? This is the front door, right? Isn't it? Am I holding the wrong kind of door? 
Uh, put this back. Is this what I need? This is what I need, yeah. Good. The other panels are in various states of disrepair, but what's that yellow symbol mean? Steel door cracked. Steel door, sure. What does cracked mean? The fractures are growing. Glass is a fragile material. It's inevitable that stress and sudden shock are going to take their toll. It's a good idea to fill these in before they get worse. Fix with a sealing kit. I see. So that will take more and more damage. Gotcha. Hmm. There was a crude bumper in here, not a rear bumper, right? Yeah, just a crude bumper. Praise be the friendly dumpster, our lord and provider of doors and panels. Hmm. I think I want this in better condition before we leave. So we need at least a ceiling kit. I think there's one of those around here somewhere. Hogs and crap, no. Next retire, get out of here. Uh, road flares, those things. Sure, 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 sure. Can I carry more road flares? They will stack. Good. 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 It's not in here. It's not gonna be in there, because that's just decals. Let's make a ceiling kit then. What do I need for that? Craft mat, tell me. The ceiling kit needs duct tape, rubber, and glass shards. This is wonderful. It is using all the materials in my garage, I think, because I'm not carrying any materials, let alone that many of them. That's great. Please, please, please. And thank you. Ceiling kit acquired. Um, put it in my hands and you there. Got it half on the door, but it does the job. Oh, it actually repaired the entire door too. That's great. Can I make a rear bumper before we go or is that unnecessary? Windshield's doing fine. The rest of the car looks okay. I just remembered that there's a panel on the wall that sort of looks like it would tell me everything. Am I missing my back right panel? And is there a problem with this tire? This tire is just injured. This tire is just hurt. It doesn't have a warning, it looks like. Quirks? Danger? Armor's low? Eh, maybe we put some ceiling putty on it. For the record, how hard is it to make repair putty? Two of everything. It's not hard. It's not cheap. It's sort of in the middle. It's fine. Tuttle's awesome. Well done, Sir Hydro. What's up, Savvy? Good to see you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy. I can't make a rear bumper. Unless a crude bumper can go on either. What fucking buttons am I hitting? Menus take so many buttons in this game, and I can't keep them straight in my head. Oh, okay. Bumpers are interchangeable. Good to know. What about tailgate? Crew door panel bumper, tire headlight gear. Can I use one of these panels as this back door? Oh no, of course, panel and door. Okay, so panels are any panel that's not a door. And any door serves as any door? I thought because of the shapes they would be different. They're not. I'm catching up very slowly with this game, but I am catching up. Good stuff. How is our gas? We're doing really well, but as long as we're here, might as well take some of Oppies. Nice. I think we're basically ready to go back out. Let's just ceiling putty the worst of it. Maybe the whole thing, I don't know. And then we'll get out of here, I think. Uh, yeah, you're pretty bad. One. You're above half. You're pretty bad. Wood paneling is starting to grow stuff. It can't be growing stuff. It's not real wood. Found that out when I... Oh, I'm missing a panel here. Do I have a panel to replace that? Fixing doors is great and all, but if you check the carburetor or the timing, we're not that far along. No. Don't scare me. Come on. I'm sure we gotta deal with that eventually, but not yet. Oh god, the headlight. I don't have a left headlight. What's it take to craft a fucking headlight? Crew 
screwed headlight made. And another panel, or do I have a panel in here? Uh, that's another panel. Crude panel to go on this. I'm dedicating a lot of resources. It's only the second mission. I guess I am becoming pretty attached to this thing. Uh, they're telling me I should make a battery jumper to carry. We have a scrapper, we have repair putty, we have a fuel can, we have at least three road flares, and our car is at 85%. They're telling us we want a battery jumper. Ramshackle but effective. Carefully connect this single-use device to any failing automobile battery and stand clear. You get 30 kilowatts per use, I believe the description said. Let's dump this stuff in here. I'll keep med kit on me, of which I only have one I just noticed, but that's fine. Repair putty can go in there. Road flares will keep on us. Um, pry bar will keep on us. Sorry, I meant to... Shit. I'm mixing up, picking up and rearranging. I meant to pick these up and rearrange these down here, not transfer them. There we go. All right, good. Let's find our way to town. We're all teal and yellow, which is nice. Uh, root planner. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. What's that mean? I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Stable, but high energy. So we could go to any of these places. Oh, and they're showing me some arrows about how they might connect to other stuff. It just says dark over here. There's a gas and information thing. Hang on. Gas, information, gas. Bunnies. Let's go to the plot point next and then maybe consider going after the gas. But let's go this way first. Hmm. Tail in for gateway. Okay, low. I still don't know how to read any of this. Junction condition. Peace? Peace sounds good. Sure. Let's do this one. I'm going to bring extra repair putty. Can I stack some of this with what I already had? There we go. I'll just take the stack of three. And put the one back. Alright, kids. It's... I just hit myself in the head. Time for another road trip. <laughs> this is not starting out well. This is like National Lampoons. I'm gonna have a bandage on my forehead for the rest of this drive. Just get a little physical comedy in there. We don't need dad getting a concussion. We won't survive. Dad, dad feels fine. He's just a little bit sleepy, but dad feels fine. Use the screen on the left side of the dashboard to assign car abilities. Car abilities. Right button. Change ability attached to A. Handbrake. Skid on demand. Handbrake feels like B to me. With one swift tug of a lever, you can lock up the car's rear wheels and convert some of your momentum into a skid. You may even impress any anomalies that are watching. Nice. Away we go. After I take off the normal brake. Who's the oldest child? Definitely not me. I feel like a middle child. Don't the kids get a vote on where to go? No. You can get votes when you're older, okay? This family is a benevolent dictatorship. This family is the same as all families in road trip comedies. Highly dysfunctional, looks like no goddamn fun at all. And the dad thinks he's hilarious when he's a real asshole. This is fascism, but there's not usually a shelf for that at the video store, so we put it under comedy.
back roads, remote, damp forest outer zone. So this is the place we already did, but I expect it to be completely different or partly different. We'll see. And when we arrive at the edge of this zone, maybe there's a loading screen to the next one. I'm not sure how this all works. It's completely different. There's a red line there. What are those red lights? Is that where I started? What the f- I should scan that. Hang on, Dad's just gonna get out and take a picture, kids. You'll want to remember this forever. You may anyways. Hope they don't have trouble sleeping tonight. Can opener. Transmission fragment, origin unknown, date unknown. Oh, time doesn't stop while I'm doing this. Let's at least sit in the car. Can anybody hear us? We're still inside the cabin. One of those things is tearing up the ground outside and it doesn't stop. It went through Baxter like... Baxter? Like when you walk through tall grass. Like he wasn't there. Oh God, come in. Come in, Control. Can you hear us? You have to understand. They escaped containment. The anomalies escaped. They escaped. They all escaped. And the abductor? Dear Maggie, once again, I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it would be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly, but me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened, top secret things and all. But we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait until rescue comes, hanging 50 feet above the ground and right on a ridge. I'll send this as soon as we get back to barracks and write you a much better letter after, but in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketched it out while we're waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Love always, Joe. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Let's get by this thing. Does that mean highly radioactive? Yep. Oh, look at my fucking UI. Part of it's all fucked up. Does that mean the car's getting damaged being on that? Hmm. I hope I can get like boots or something later to let me go through that or a full suit, you know? I was stopping to see if there's anything useful in there, but okay, hang on. We have another creepy thing to deal with real quick. I'm gonna leave the car running. What are these that I drove through? That one's got a glow in its chest. Or not? Or yes? Do they all? Tourist. I'm in danger. 2.5k. Let me do this in the car again. I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants effects, driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like v visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. And I ride around in one. That's gonna make me love it. Good to know. Is my battery going down? I only just noticed that battery. Zoom. I wanna find the logbook for the tourist that I just scanned. Hey, what's up, QQ Honeydew? Good to see you. Happy Saturday, friendo. Don't run over the chest pin in the road. No more touching things ties up Muriel's hands. You're driving in the middle of the road, friend. You can't have both lanes, okay? I doubt I'm going to run across any other drivers here. You're not wrong, but I'm probably not going to change my behavior. Dictaphone recording, office of Dr. Richard Preble, circa 1976. Hi, Christina. Hi, how are you? So, um, it turns out you were right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and, um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. 
We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on top of signs. One report here says on a roof, um, we've spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. So, um, I I'm going to be applying for a position in Portland now. Uh, I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here for sure, but I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full time. You know, it's, uh, it's very it's strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing important work, and I respect that greatly. But I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh god, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. Hmm? Well, they don't move when I look away. Maybe there's a distance component or something. Let's just go past them right now. Onward. You're not wrong, but this is who I am. Exactly. Samantha, QQ Honeydew, another streamer I highly recommend. Just how it sounds. For those of you on YouTube, QQ Honeydew, follow her at twitch.tv slash QQ Honeydew. Okay, should I scan this thing? Oh, it has a defined edge. That's nice. Is it moving? No. Let's get out and scan. Left button scan. Sizzling mist. You're right, the presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes this cloud so conductive. Expect on the skies above. We do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. This something else, something more intense, yet also more localized. I think with a little time, it'll be quite possible for us to replicate some of this behavior in the lab. Uh, budget permitting. Is that exciting? Our research is finally paying off. Not a lot in that one. Are you guys moving? Okay, but I'm definitely not touching one, based on what I read. Interesting. Interesting. Oh shit, I didn't think about how to go around this. Dude, I don't have the power to- We haven't started the car. Hang on. We're sort of committed to forward now. Carefully. Carefully. Not straight down that sort of mini ravine area. There we go. There we go, with minimal damage to the wheels. I'm trying new teas. Uh, work up the road from an English-themed tea place that sells weird blends. This new one is almond, lemon, white chamomile, and vanilla. It's delicious. I do love vanilla and almond. That's great. That too any damage to the car? I wonder what that was. It sounded like the spikes that come out of the ground. There's a green light there. I think there might be mannequins around it, though. Glass shards. Delightful. Duct tape is fantastic find. This feels like Fallout 4 already. I want duct tape more than anything. The loud humming, specifically from that direction. Okay, how safe is it to get over there? They are not mannequins. It seems pretty safe. Pneumatic deposit box. Oh my. Paint stripper, plastic, duct tape, copper wire, rubber, scrap metal, and blue paint. Good shit. That was cool. Sodium vapor light. Hmm. Anything else I can have here? Light housing? You can scan fucking everything in this game. Shaker. Alright, back to the car. I lost a little bit of health over there, too. But, Dad, I want to know what happens when you touch one. Minda Potter has me tied up. Resist the urge. Dad's already obsessing over the car. You must be one of the older children. Already watching after the younger ones. You realize your parents can't be trusted. Not Dad, at least. I've got to look out for them. You've got to come a parent young. I'm sorry this happened to you, but... I've just got to focus on the car, you understand? car needs me. Mom told me I had to.
I'm just following the roads a bit like an idiot. Hauling? That could have anything in it. Let me go check that real quick, and then we'll check the map. Because the roads don't necessarily go where I want to go. Can I open this thing and, like, check it out? No, apparently not. Hmm. No worries. Can't even open the back of this, as far as I can see. Who do you love more, your kids or the car? What a ridiculous question. Okay, we're going the right way. We're gonna need this anchor along the way. I think I'll be able to see that without marking. Let's go. It's the voice in my arms telling me to touch them. It's the voice in my arms is one of the creepiest things anyone's typed yet today. Hey dad, who's your favorite kid? The car. I would, I could never decide. You let dad focus on driving for now. Shit, here comes that blade, slow down. Okay. It's a whole bunch of shakers over there, which probably means there's going to be radiation, but let's go take a look as long as we're here. And then right over there somewhere should be the anchor. No danger yet. No reward either, but no danger yet. There's nothing here. Oh, wait. Some parts. A radio I could smash up. Or wait, I can uh, get log entries from those, right? Consumer electronics is all one log entry. I'm starting to understand how the log works. That is the log entry for consumer electronics, even though it's not like... I think it's the saw blade. Oh god, no wait, these things are coming out now. Bollards. Fuck, man. I think these are what came up under the car when we were trying to leave the last place in the, in the first mission. Shit, there's one right there! Fuck you! That's what I need. That's what I need. That's what I need. That's what I need. Okay, let's get aimed correctly on the road. Oh, I was gonna say ready to take off, but the thing is these bollards mean God only knows if I'll be ready to take off at any particular moment. Let's get that thing and get the hell out of here. You go play on the rocks. You don't know the rocks are going to be there before you're done playing, okay? So no. You can't play on the rocks. Dad was on a deserted island with his kids in his car, and they'd been starving for days. And Dad finds a bag of Cheetos. Dad would stuff his Cheetos in the fuel tank. What an awful thing to believe about your father. How dare you? Did you see any Cheetos? Car has been hungry! Everyone, get out! Get out of the vehicle! Protect it! Why can't I scan that thing? I don't know where it is, but I'm just gonna drive and hope that it falls behind me soon enough. Is it on the car? It is. Well, how do I stop that? Happy hair? Are you a bunny? The record player? Take a message with you into the zone because who knows who you might be able to reach and what could ever be better than genuinely connecting with those around you. After all, that's how inspiration happens. Store and equip a detailing station. That was inside that thing? Wait, I don't need a link gateway. I need to get out of here. Is that alarm going off? I thought maybe I needed to like get an anchor and power up a gateway to get to the next area. 
That's not what's happening. Still probably very good I grabbed that anchor then. Maybe I should have grabbed more. But we're nearly to the next map. So we're going to continue on. Dad must be crucified. Yidus, go back to talking in tongues. I miss that now. Hey, Dad, I'm back. You left me behind when the plants started attacking us. I knew you'd make it. I always had faith in you. Whatever else you tell people about your dad when you're grown up and... Whatever else you tell your therapist, you tell them your dad believed in you. I'm very slowly getting the hang of these controls, and I'm quite enjoying the game so far. You can heal yourself using the arc dock while driving, but the battery that drains battery. Sierra Town Center Damp Forest Outer Zone. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Edor Town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab oh. in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. That's the big change to red light I've been seeing every time we get out. Gotcha. that wispy glow over there. Sierra welcomes you. Overlook. I can't remember, uh, see what that says below because of the bushes. Probably just says ahead. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? What? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car, this is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Mannequins on my right. Are you sure about this? Well, Lots of them. Fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cappy is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. That's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. I decide on gameplay. Forward! Until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Jeez, dude. The rain looks good, but it really kills the frame rate in this game. Oh, that's an abductor. Oh, but it's also a thing. Hang on a sec. Park and brake. I mean, the abductor looks like it grabbed me with a magnet. Do you think it can grab me or just the car? Hang on just a second. Can opener. Wait. I was able to scan something for a second called a can opener. Go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, something just threw me in the air. Did I drop the thing? Fuck. Shit! Holy fuck. How are you holding up? Did that charge the battery at all? Okay, that did some panel damage, but we're actually fine. We're gonna take a jump in here? Yeah, never mind, gas. Let's keep going. Actually, is it just one bollard? Yeah, let's top up. Okay. I thought that was the, like, rising anomalies still chasing me for a second. That's why I wanted to keep going. But I'll take the chance to uh, top up on gas and check for a few materials before we go down into the real business end of this mission. I will absolutely take that chance. Is where the fun begins. Can opener was the big blade in the ground earlier, so maybe there's another one. Ah, okay. 
appreciate the freedom, but this is ridiculous. I'm only three years old. You should take more responsibility. Come on, you're only three years old. How do you know all those words and concepts? Kids, come help me gather the stuff from the friendly dumpster. Dumpster Pearl. All right, I'll hold on to that one, kids. Unreliable. Slice a pearl in half and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these apart and who knows what'll pop out. And the warning sign on it was unreliable? Shaky at best. After knocks and bangs, shocks or surprises, it's best to be expected this poor battered thing isn't quite at its best. You weren't hoping to rely on it, were you? Oh, was that a rating of the dumpster? Or just me? It showed up on the right side of the screen. Should put some of this away in storage as well. Can you use these things? No, it's just there for you to break apart. Okay. What's the pearl taste like? Layers of garbage. Uh, pop in here for a sec and drop these materials off. Put in a detailing station to equip. Okay. Um, health 5,000. So do I like break this? Is that what they're talking about? I made it fragile by hitting it with the hammer, but that's all that did. Well, let's try and figure it back, uh, figure it out back at base. I'll save that for the garage. Fell asleep in one of the boxes. What happened since I was out? We picked up a dumpster pearl. Don't touch it. Don't taste it. Oh, and the car might whisper to you. Ignore that. Don't sink into the seats. Do you have a good nap? Welcome back, Laser Quest. Good to see you. That is new toys. We do have some new toys. Okay, this is highly dangerous radioactive area. Get the car close to the anomaly. Can do. Oh, no response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? Uh, maybe? Fucking hell, dude. Where I want to be? Is that why there's a light there? Can I go up around this way? I'm getting all kinds of like traction control warnings and shit. Doesn't look like I can go up this way. Oh, hello. No, that's full of rock. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I mean, that looks like it's got to be it, right? How do I get up there? fuck just happened? Oh, fuck off, dude. We get away from that. Pop cans money off the submarine! Hey, Hydro. Happy weekend. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great, thank you. And thank you so much, Bear with Mug, for the tier one resub in the five total months. I appreciate that immensely. Enjoy your ad-free viewing and Baxter emotes over on Twitch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm having a good one. Happy Saturday. How are you? I hope you're well as well. I'm contributing. I'm contributing. I'm this way. contributing. I'm contributing. Hey, Dad, the light in the sky is trying to break into my mind. I... Oh, God, how do you tell your kids not to go towards the light when you're trying everything you can to drive towards the light. Why is the hood of the car broken now? I think I'm finding my way towards the place at least. Kids, whatever it means to you, whether it's thinking of your favorite stuffed animal, that Little League game you won, the play that I actually did show up to, albeit a little bit late, 
You just hang on to your sanity, whatever that means for you. Because we're driving up near the near the light now. Mm, car still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. What? No, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. If I time and it right. Don't. I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way. Yeah, you got this kid for it. Circuit gate. Okay. I need the control tower. This is what I need. Gotta use the eighth dimension to get through the collapsed train tunnel, Bonsai. Mind flayers coming into our world. Do as I say, not as I do. Hey, Dad, if we live, can you buy me a PS5? If we live, I'll do whatever it takes to get you that PS5, kids. Hang on, this is all glowing, but there's stuff in here I want. Can't quite see. Oh, there's a tourist in my way. Pothole. I mean, that picture doesn't help me. I can't tell what's in the way. Let's just go around where there's light, because I was trying to walk into a tourist's arms for a second there accidentally, which, as I understand it, can kill you or something? Hello there. Transmuter. I still don't know how to use you. Bear with Mug, thank you so much for the hundred bits. That's very, very kind. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have you scanned it? I did, but the scans give me, like, backstory. Not a description of what a pothole is and how to interact with it. Alright, so individual things seem to be good for only one thing. This turns gear into electronics. The last one was glass into, I forget what. Minute tool scrapper, sure. Ah, here's what we need. There we are. Let's go launch ourselves. It's too dark out here for me to find my way down. There's a little bar at the top left of your vision that says 1%. Is that bad? I think there's a med kit in the back. Someone with more than, let's say, like, 30%. When do you kids stick around back there? Could you find a med kit? Let's play a game of who can find the med kit the fastest. Dad, I stuck my head out the window and swallowed the bag. What do I do? You better bring it back in. That's what you better do. Kids, if we go to heaven, everyone hold hands. I don't want to get separated. We're fine! Oh, you all had your seatbelts on, right? So even if we leave, we're doomed to lose our minds. So far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back? I mean, that's having kids, right? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Explore the zone. Take another drive. Build the detailing station to use cosmetics. Activate the driver's checklist. How about put a fucking wheel back on this thing? It's missing a wheel. God, that doesn't look good. One of our headlights is nearly broken. Jeez. 
Oh, let's get to repairing, Samantha. Car looks drunk, Dad. The car's seen better days. You're right. Um, I left repair putty in the car, yes? Yes, I did. Okay, give me that. Give me this garbage pearl so we can figure out what it's for at some point as well. Okay, you definitely need a whole lot of putty. Can I just use it on a thing like a headlight that has electronic components as well? Apparently I can. Apparently that's allowed. Can I just like slather it very generously and hit more than one part at once? That's probably not allowed. Some of these panels look completely fucked and apparently the game's like, oh, okay. You know what? Let's get them all back to sparkling, even the ones that are only slightly damaged. Or as close to sparkling as they get. That's as good as that panel gets. We can probably leave some of them lower, actually. The car's just a little quirky. It's not like other cars. Med kits really help. Everyone seems to say the same thing about having a tourist in their way when you visit a tour of foreign country. That's doing okay. That's not great, but it's not bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think most of the panels are now doing okay. Right? Put some on this back door. Grab the one repair putty we left here, since now it'll stack with what we have. Um, I need a wheel. I need a wheel. Can I repair putty wheels as well? Yeah, okay, repair putty is just magical. Fair enough. Did I put that in my hands? Sign quick slot, equip with one tap Y, not hold Y, got it. Pop that back on there. Oh, it has a flat, I need a ceiling kit. That's why I changed it originally. Make me a ceiling kit. That's a garbage pearl. That's a ceiling kit. Perfect. Now, what are you telling me to come out here for? Go dumpster diving and see what you can find. Is there a way to get a flashlight in my hand? Or turn on more lights out here? Help me out now, friendly dumpster. Give me some good stuff. Glass shards, glass shards. Scrap metal, scrap metal. Oh, hey, and a spare tire, though. It's got some kind of, like, warning on it. I guess we'll just put it here for now and I can check it later, whatever, find out what the warning is. Um, put away these materials. Garbage pearl. Garbage pearl. What do you want me to do over here? Activate the driver's checklist at the status monitor. Um, right button. Repair the car, charge the battery. How do I charge the battery? It's this thing. Just reach across from this side and do it. Nice. The car's at 90%, which is acceptable in my mind. Okay, can I deactivate it doing this? Let's go build the cosmetics thing, if I have the materials for it. Got have a nap for a while. Thanks for the lurk, Exploderberry. Nap well, sweet dreams. Have a good one, friend. Oh. Can make a bulb, can make a hand vac, a light replacement kit, liberator. Less precise than a cutting tool, the Liberator will nevertheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle by precisely placing small explosive charges. I need, what is it called? The detailing station. Survival tools, lights, car body, wheels, expansion racks, car storage, fuel, battery, utilities, engines, garage, matter deconstructor, detailing station. Energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical, the matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. Do be careful not to get your hand caught in the suspension matrix. It sounds good, but I need a lot more scrap metal, and I need electronics and gears. Hmm. Missing ingredients. Okay. As a detailed menu. Can I can I add these to my like wish list? Please? No? Hmm. Energy, 4.2 out of 0.8 K-Lim. All right. That's already unlocked. Sure. Scrap metal gear electronics. Hmm. Well, is there anything I can buy, like storage, before we go on? Car body. 
Spare tire, summer tire, expansion racks. Allows the mounting of an additional piece of equipment. Inventory reinvented. A little extra trunk space. Has never hurt anyone, and there's no reason that space has to actually be in the trunk. Guaranteed zone proof for at least 10 minutes. It only cost me one fabric. Oh, but I need to unlock a side rack first. Side rack cost me two steel sheets. And I have to research a steel sheet. I have the steel sheets, but I need to research them before I'm allowed to use them. Fine. Bulb steel sheet. Fabric, sure. Give me that one. Blueprint for a light bulb. Perfect. And steel sheet. Fabric, basic workbench. I am spending Kalim every time I do this. Gotcha. So we also need to be gathering extra anchors so that we can research things. Now that I have those two, though, I should be able to put on the side rack. We go install this right now. Let's put it on uh, this side. Can it go like wherever I want? Go on the roof? No? Okay. Uh, rear right side rack. Done. Side storage. View blueprint. Scrap metal, duct tape, and fabric. I should have all that. I thought it was going to pop out built just like the side rack was, but apparently this is, you know, a changeable thing and the other is an upgrade, so whatever. Um, I need, 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 I need. Error can't craft this. Tier 2. That's the only part that's red is Tier 2. Why'd you let me research it? What does Tier 2 mean? What does Tier 2 mean? Was there any warning I wasn't going to be able to make this? Doesn't tell me anything about the tier here. Hmm. So I can overall upgrade the tier of your garage thing? Huh. Cars making dad obsess over it, and the guys on the radio have said to learn how to break the connection, you need to know where the remnants come from. Research the metal, knocks on the sheet. Yep, it's still metal. A category, available, index. <sighs> I haven't been told anything. Oppie's pneumatube. The pneumatubes, also known as the tubes, span the zone. A low-tech, low-maintenance method of communication and delivery, they've endured in a place where so many advanced alternatives have not. Oh, are these things like I can leave myself to go pick up later? Don't know what that's about. In, out. Oh. So, just at a guess, if I put things here, I can pick them out, out, up out in the zone. If I put things in out in the zone, I pick them up here, maybe? We'll find out at some point. Oh, it's already turned on. I saw that on and off for a sec. I forgot I'd used it earlier. I was hopeful I'd finally found the fucking lights in this place. Is the battery being used since I have my headlights on? We can just charge it again. There we go. Hey, what's up, Shojo? Good to see you. Happy Saturday, friendo. Hope you're doing well. Um, this place is really dark when it's dark. This is exactly the same as when I'm... Wait, this says crafting tier 2. Can I make the thing here? Okay. Interesting. So they just want to make sure you can't craft it in the zone, I guess? How much more storage is that? Respectable. Respectable. Transfer trunk is currently empty. Um, I mean, I guess it's fine that it sits on the floor, actually. Have I left anything in the car? Did I get everything out? No, I left a lot of stuff in the car. Give me all these materials and the paint. 
I built a detailing station, did I not? No, I did not. Oh, because I needed something for it. I didn't have enough, like, scrap metal or something like that. That's why I didn't. It's, uh, it's... It's somewhere in here. Yeah, I have to build this first, and I need more scrap metal, gears, electronics. I have no electronics. Electronics crafted? Not by me, not yet. Quick check if they're unlocked. You're great, woke up at a normal human hour, went out, didn't buy any books, but you got a Sailor Moon statue and a Gojo plush. Two hours until New Breen, living my best life, fuck yeah. I'm glad it's going fantastically, that sounds like the start of an excellent day. Um, What was I just talking about? I need electronics. Circuit board, carbon fiberglass, limb chip. Electronics are not one of the things here. Okay. Okay. How many preachers does it take to change the light bulb? We're about to find out. This costs one fabric because it's just a blueprint. It also costs energy, actually. I should think about that. It does also cost energy. But I don't know what problems I'm going to run across, and so I wonder if having all of those sorts of kits ready would be good. Electrician's kit costs me 0.8k limb. They get pretty expensive. Anchor radar. The enormous energy that anchors generate gives off an unmistakable unique signature that could easily be detected with the right equipment, and this is that equipment. I already see them on my map. Why do I need to detect them better than that? Huh. All right. Cosmetics are going to have to go into storage for the moment. Can I put paints in here? Yes, I can. Can I put you in here? No, because it's not paint. It's true. You are fair and even-handed, game. That, that's not paint. Correct. I would love to make a med kit before going in case I get in serious danger. Welcome to Sands, you're gonna have a good time. Snake Man will fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Bear with a bug, thank you so much for the three gifted subs. That's very generous to me and the rest of Samantha. Thank Welcome you, thank you, thank Sands, you. You're gonna have I a appreciate good time. that. Snake Man will fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Still don't know what to do with this pearl. Welcome to Sands. It looks like there's a bunch of stuff inside time. of it. Snake Man will fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Do I have like a crusher around here or something? Not really. Oh, I know one thing we can check. Garage upgrades. Expanded locker, 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 pneumatic locker, parts locker, rapid refill pump, outfitting station, advanced antenna, junction restabilizer, improved antenna analysis, investigator, battery generator, advanced workbench, decom and expanded. Nothing. But didn't I just build a recycler? Did I? Or am I crazy? Matter deconstructor. Oh no, that's what I want to build. I bet the pearls go in here. Seeing as I can break them, but it takes way too much energy by hand. I bet they go in there. So let's leave the pearl behind for now. We're going out with two heels, crowbar, four road flares, the basics. Um, in here we have a battery kit. We have repair putty. Can I make a ceiling kit just to be ready as well? Yes, I can. Awesome. Okay. And we need electronics. We need electronics. We have to find electronics or the way of making them. That's the current goal. You bought a 300 pack of gold foil stickers as well, two inches, and you're uh, using, using them to use your custom embosser on instead of using it directly on pages of the books because some paper is better than others and you're afraid of tearing. That's brilliant. That's very wise. I love that idea. You haven't found using that? That sounds fun. Yeah, excellent thinking. Okay. Samantha, I'm going to get up and stretch my legs for just a couple minutes. Then we are going to go out and we are going to do a non-main quest mission to explore for materials. 
We're going to try and gather as many anchors as possible so we have energy to unlock things. I'm hoping for at least three, hopefully like five. And along the way, I'm hoping to like find what you break to get electronics if they're a base component. Or we'll have to figure out how to unlock them when I get back because electronics are needed for the ne unlocking all other garage upgrades. Let me get away from the screen for just like three, four minutes. Go look out the window. Pay attention to my cats. I will be right back. In fact, let me put up a little BRB message. Do I already have one on this scene? No, I don't. Add text. Um, sure. BRB. Don't wander off, kids. That just looks like it's sort of patronizing if someone new comes in, because they weren't here for all the jokes about being on a car trip with your kids. It just sounds like really patronizing is all. But I've typed it. I'll be right back. Didn't bring my headphones back. One sec. Uh. 
Okay, I'm back. Dish wanted a bunch of attention. I had to leave before Dish was done with attention. So, going back out to get my headphones. Be very careful not to trip over him while he's trying to weave through my legs and slow me down. And basically trip me, so I would have to stay out there and give him attention. Let's go figure out how electronics work. Time to wander off, maybe even get kidnapped, potentially give dad a heart attack. <sighs> In all honesty, hyped for chair stream, underappreciated streamer. We need to just take another drive is all it says. We can collapse the details on that and go to, can I get more out of the status monitor? <laughs> oh, right. That gives you the, the checkbox. I already visited the friendly dumpster. I guess it doesn't count if you don't have that open yet. And 90% sounds pretty good. We've got the tools to repair when we're out there, so I'm not going to spend on the last little bit. Oh wait, the windshield is bad? We need to make another ceiling kit for the windshield. Then we'll go. I always forget to check that. Perfect. Alright, let's pick our destination. You're back. There was a nice man in a white van with free candy. Ticket sickly wandered off. Root planner, please. Um, that's got a really fun look to it now. Uh, so, what is this here? Oh, I bet that means we have one antenna worth of like range or whatever. I don't like how it's a dark over here. Let's go to. This place? That's head slowly towards the dark area. But it's not the dark area. I don't know what any of these conditions mean. Let's do this. Destination planned. Thanks for Lurk Midnight. If you fall asleep, sleep while sweet dreams. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. Chatting while you were awake. Can I wait until day to leave, or just, 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 just the time it is that that's the time we get? That's the time that you're leaving. Why do they have you do a root planner if you could just pick again here? It is what it is. Yeah, I haven't mentioned schedule once yet today, have I? We have an Armored Core 6 stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And you still, therefore, have plenty of time. Malfunctioning mess is the junction conditions here. Mm. Um, you still have time, if you would like, to submit your Armored Core build on Discord, and I will use it on stream tomorrow. Then we've got Baldur's Gate 3. Probably Tuesday this coming week. I think this coming week will be a normal Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday thing. I don't know. But we'll talk about that when we get nearer. A left right. Teletype Autoscript, Arda Reference, Carol V. Yes, sir. We lost total control, sir. Veered off the road and straight into a house full of squatters. Six, sir. It's like something just took control of the truck, screwed it all up, and sent it every which way. No, sir, only Jackson, who probably has a broken wrist. Everyone else is fine, while all these squatters only seem a little scared. Well, sir, the thing is, we actually think they're foreign. They're dressed kind of strangely. They've got the hats and flannel shirts. Canadians? But well, I thought Canada was north of... We're just leading on Canadian stereotypes now, are we? Holy moly, holy moly, are you kidding me right now? Oppie, you saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. You saw what? What do you mean, what? Hallucinations! Like the ones from 1961! It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking your- Wait, you didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver headfirst into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. I'm glad we have a radio so we can listen to these the people tar argue all day. Remnants verified, isn't that all you wanted? Now, 
why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically... Yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. Uh, that's impossible. It's been... 40 years. 40 years? Since the deep zone? This place has been closed for 30 years. And wait, hang on. Experiment started in 1947 and they closed it and... I thought it wasn't open for 10 years. I'm not clear, but they may have just hinted that all these events started before the known sort of like history of research here. Also, I can't figure out how to go around this thing. Trying. Trying. And that's not all. This hallucination wave that triggered, we picked up its waveform. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnants waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and, and what's okay. more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> the lights keep doing that. After all this time, we find a remnant, uh, a lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Pinch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants. It was key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <clears throat> I... I need to go. This is you, Francis! We have so much work to do! I know, I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. I'll do my best, friends. The rest of that was just talking about the, the log I was reading a while back. The rest of that was just talking about how they apparently ended up in French Canada. And they thought they'd angered the French Canadians. I think it was a joke about how polite Canadians are. But instead, they were doing the sort of like traditional trope of they were the ugly foreigner being like, Me, American! You, Canadian! And getting Canadians mad at them. French Canadians mad at them. Dad, I'm hearing your voice saying weird things, thanking people for giving you things. Am I going crazy? Probably. Are you crazy for the car yet, though? That's how you should feel. These headlights seem to have mixed performance. Yeah, they're listed green on my thing right now, but I wonder if that's just they're flickering in and out because of anomalies or just because they're even in good condition, low quality headlights or what? I'm not sure. Maybe we need a better performing battery. Mannequins are by far the most unsettling for me so far. I don't like seeing them loom up in the headlights just off the side of the road and stuff as I go. What am I hearing? Something sparking but making no light. I just park this? No. Oh, hello. What the fuck have we got here? Oh, this used to be one of those transmuters, right? Scan. Pacemaker. Dictaphone recording, office of Dr. Ricci, 1968. Most of the time, even the majority of the time, the zone makes a mess out of everything. It's pure chaos out there. But sometimes, just sometimes, its eternal rearrangement creates something coherent, even useful. This time around, it looks like those useful things are reconstructions of some of our own equipment and inventions, built back into something that's actually functional. They look and behave just like several early prototypes from our first limb labs, Proto uh, but at the same time, it's also as if they've been assembled clumsily, like by a child, or by- have one of you been assembling prototypes from the early limb labs? I told you to stay in the car. By a child or by someone trying to understand how this technology works? Someone improvising, someone learning, 
Here I am, trying first to understand Limtech and then the zone, yet sometimes I wonder if something inside it isn't also trying to learn about us. Do you search these things or what? You do. There's nothing inside the pacemaker right now, though. Okay. Should I put something inside the pacemaker? Let's put plastic inside the pacemaker. Nothing happened immediately. Let's put scrap metal inside the pacemaker. It's gone. Does that happen with anything? Plastic. Adhesive is too valuable. That's gone too, yeah. Um, I don't know enough to guess what next we should try. Hello there, car. Good shit. Probably nothing. Pop some of this stuff in storage real quick. Not the med kit, I need the med kit on me in case of trouble. Welcome to Sands, you're gonna have a good time. Stay clean, we'll fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Drug money for Cadmium. <laughs> Cats appreciate it, trust me. Cornudo, I appreciate it as well. Thank you so much for the tier one resub and the 34 total months of very, very long period of time. Enjoy getting no ads on Twitch and your Baxter emotes and others. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friendo. Let's just go around that left, right. That reaches out further than I thought. So far, a whole bunch of broken down cars, but I just remembered I have a fucking map. Okay. How many marks can I make? So we want to go to like the barn and we want to go over here. We can only make one mark. All right. So we're just following the road anyway. Hello car. My bad. It was perfectly timed with the headlights fading. So I thought for a second something was wandering near and fucking with the car or something. Not me just being stupid and not taking the brake off. Well, that looks highly anomalous. Should I go around that, or is it okay to drive through the little hello abductor? And the left-right thing just beyond it. Uh, okay. I think I want to go around the left side of these if I can. Please don't be aware of me. so hard to drive off-road in this thing, and I want to do it for very long. Where am I now? Oh, that was a barn back there? I didn't see it at all. Hang on. I mean, it's just icons on a map, but it looks like the place that's most likely going to have something. So I got to turn around and go back and make sure I don't miss it. Big old barn drawn on the map. Oh, there's the silo right there. Um. I I can't easily get the car over there. And I can't see shit without the headlights. Did I miss controls? Not sensitivity, keyboard streaming, haptic, yeah, bindings. Uh, uh, just like a regular light that you have? Nope. Seemingly not. And I can't craft one? First aid, scrapper, pry bar, impact hammer, repair putty, battery jumper, mechanics kit, ceiling kit, light replacement kit, crude door, crude panel, crude bumper, spare tire, crude headlight, carbureted engine, side storage gear, bulb, steel sheet. No. I do not know how to make a flashlight. We're gonna give that a pass then. We're gonna give that one a pass. How's the game? I am learning the controls very slowly. It is complex just to get around menus, I feel. But I am really enjoying myself. We're not far in, but I am really enjoying myself. What was I seeing over there? We are gonna get out without a flashlight, actually. I think I saw like a radio antenna. 
Maybe my eyes will adjust to the darkness if I just go for it. Okay. Well, you know what? I already started. But this place is radioactive. Too dark. Too dark to do anything. Too dark to see anything. Loot. Loot, any of you? It's making zappy noises over here. Another pacemaker? With nothing in it? I don't know what... I don't know what you're for. I don't know what that thing is for. Welcome to Sands. You're gonna have a good time. Stay clean. We'll fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Seductive Marks, thank you for the gifted sub on Twitch. That's very, very generous. Thank you so, so much. Just got out of the bathroom of the garage. Where's the car? How can I hear your voice right now? Seductive Marks, where are you? It's like you're right I can hear you right beside me, but you're not here. What do what kind of mileage this thing gets? Did I just take that? Park. Drive. There we go. Oh yeah, I shut it off, but I didn't put parking brake on. I'm not great at operating the car yet either. Let's go to these anomalous materials and then get out of here. It's too dark to do almost like anything else in here, it feels like. I mean, I'll go down by way of this radio tower to see if with the headlights I can find something useful there. But I feel like I did not unlock the proper tools to do a nighttime mission. And now we're stuck in one. So there is a way up. I can see a way up. Can I get out into the rock beside me? Yes, I can. Sounds like something's clicking in that direction. Oh, I'm getting clicking standing there. I'm getting clicking all through this. We're gonna lose a little health in uh, exploring. What's going on here? Door. Heavy lock? Log? It's just a door. Somehow this poorly sealed door can still uh, barely defeat a draft. He has still sturdy enough to deter just about any trespassers. What, do you need to get a key for them right now? Something? Broken keypad. Has to be some way to open this. I gotta read that when I'm not being slowly murdered. Where was broken keypad? I don't know which heading it was under. They keep a log of your trips? Now that's fucking cool. I like that. None of those. These are anomalies. Can opener? Oh, right, right, right. My picture was just weird. I know what a can opener is, but I didn't recognize it in that image. Oh, these are the warnings on different missions. Malfunctioning mess. High levels of magnetic interference combined with broad spectrum atmospheric anomalies mean that things are constantly going haywire in this part of the zone. Perpetual stability. The instability storm will not be chasing you here unless summoned. The storm chases you? It can be summoned? Interesting. I can't find the um, broken lock again. Point is, I can't pry it open with a bar. You know what? Before we leave, we're going to give it one try just to saw it open with a um, whatever this thing is, a scrapper. I'm just try and take this door literally apart. It doesn't have a health bar. That's not going to work. Crap. Well, at least we got a few materials for getting out of the car that time, even if we couldn't get inside. Uh, what's that? What's that, um... What's that? We are going to go ahead and just move directly on to this. The fuck is chasing me? Is that the instability storm? It must be. Am I going anywhere near a road eventually? I see a cell, a sign. This must be the road here. Which, despite appearances, will still be marginally better than the woods.
We're still inside of it. On the map. I gotta move a lot faster through these. Gotta go around this. Oh, fuck off, abductor. There's a lot of abductors here. And a left, right. Oh, fuck me, man. What's there right down there? The hell is that? Oh, it's just a blue light. Like like a human light, not a not a supernatural blue light. Am I past the abductors yet? Can I veer back towards the road? There's mannequins around. Okay. I went okay. Our bumper ate a little bit of damage, but otherwise that was fine. We're well outside of the thing now. This has not been a very successful mission, but we're going to get that thing and get the fuck out of here. I've done so little. But this is now mine and we're leaving. Will that door shut itself? No? Okay, too bad. I need to go. <laughs> it's back in the direction of the thing. Wait, that might mean we can get another one. Hang on. Let me shut that door. Hang on. This trip's gotten very stressful suddenly. Yeah, I thought our first sort of like, oh, we don't have a mission to worry about sort of thing. I'd be able to ease myself into going and finding materials, but I'm not doing great. There's suddenly this giant storm thing. nice that it doesn't seem to specifically chase me. There's the abductor. It's going to hang right here. Get off the road away from them. We're going to be going through Bollard territory again going back this way. Or was that, like, something the storm was causing? It seems to be moving off. There's a warning thing there. Let's just go off the road and find what we're looking for. Let's just go off the road and find it. Let's just go down... ...through a dry riverbed, kids. Now, this is what it is. See, this is how people used to live off the land. Driving their cars through a dry riverbed. Ignoring the traction control warnings. This is real learning. Gotta watch out for any of those vents. There's a bunch of mannequins there, too. This place looks delightful. Okay. Park the car. Leave it running. Get myself this thing. Can I put it in from the driver's seat? That would be delightful. No, I cannot. Is that coming closer? Hey, mannequin. Okay, I want to move a little ways away from here before I go ahead and pick a place on the map. I can't turn right because the... <laughs> Come on, just move a little bit, please. Give me just a little bit away. Okay, where can I escape? Where can I go to? How do I leave? Link gateway. These are the gateways? Alright. Let's link this gateway. Gateway too close. Gateway too close. Great. You know, we can set ourselves up for success here. Hang on. I'm first going to go closer to the gateway, and then further away from it, but along the road. Ah. We can set ourselves up to make this a little bit easier. There we are.
Because driving off-road fucking sucks in this car right now. What are the mannequins? The mannequins are called tourists. They're an anomaly. And the description of them just said, Oh yeah, no, no, we got enough data about what happens when someone touches them. And so I've been loath to touch them, though I've gotten quite close without issue. Alright, we're like right atop where the gateway will spawn. But we can't do it while we're here, obviously. So, let me drive a ways up this road, and then we'll come back along it after starting the gateway. This gives us our best chance at survival. Um, I have blasted right through mannequins in the car, and they didn't seem to cause any ill effects. I'm sure they took some, like, durability off the bumper or something, but I didn't notice anything more than that. I've not touched one while outside the car. What if it's actually nothing and that's why they have enough data? I mean, it, honestly, it could be. I just, while I'm learning everything else, I don't want to make the same mistakes other people did. Come on, I must be close to far enough away. I'm between two other anomalies now. I must be nearing far enough away. I am far enough away. Let's turn around. Let's loot this car just because we're here. And then let's start up our escape. Where's that car I saw? There you are. All right. Park you. Hop out. Is there nothing in the trunk? Is there nothing at all in this vehicle? Abandoned Squire. Hi, I'm Gil O'Hanlon, and I'm here to tell you why the O'Hanlon Squire is the perfect sedan for all your contract needs. O'Hanlon has over a decade's experience providing utility vehicles for state and federal needs, and with the Squire, we think we've really outdone ourselves. This affordable, reliable, and easily maintained vehicle boasts excellent handling and performance thanks to its 183 cubic inch straight six engine, four speed transmission, and advanced assisted steering. This is a car that's easy to drive, easy to look after, and so comfortable in the heat of New Mexico as the freezing forests of Wisconsin. Now, come with me as I take you on a tour of what will be the government government's next and best all-purpose automobile. Some are less important than others. We're in drive, and we're activating a gateway. Let's go. The world's about to fall apart around us while we try and get there. Actually, it's fine so far. That abductor is not even around. The abductor that was here before. Well, that's easy. An easy end to a pretty unproductive trip. We didn't really get a lot out of that. Basically, we got a lot of log books. I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing but twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Oh, I'm willing to. I just don't know how to fucking like make anything. Are you anything. Use of my fabrication station to fix up that junker? You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. Test track behind the garage? Huh. What if the abductor got abducted? The anomalies are fighting themselves. I've never seen this behavior before. What's the premise of the game? This is an area that was fucked up back in the 40s and 50s and then shut 
sealed away for 30 years. We drove our station wagon over by it and got sucked in. And, uh, yeah. Actually, this is a remnant. They keep telling me this station wagon I'm driving around and working on now is apparently some kind of anomalous thing that will worm its way into my mind and drive me crazy. I'll become obsessed with it. So this is probably not the vehicle I came in on. I just never got a good look at that one before getting, like, drawn away, right? I never stopped to take a look. Um, and along the way, we are, of course, discovering the mysteries of what went on here and why they locked it up. Dad, can I drive? No, you may not. But you can sit in and play with the horn while I'm upgrading it. Just do, not while I'm in working under the hood, okay? Go back to Sierram to stabilize a way through. Build the detailing station. Use the fabrication station to get new crafting blueprints. Use the tinker station to identify and fix the car's quirks. My car has quirks? This is the tinker station. Scan it. Check this real quick. If your car ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it is malfunctioning and in some unusual way, this will help you understand how. What seems to be the problem? The headlights? The headlights... Toggles the headlights. No, wait, what? What do I actually mean here? I mean the shifter? I don't. I, what do I. What do I. The gas? Is it when I hit the gas only? Wipers, any trunk, steering wheel, radio, dome light, horn hood, has fuel, fuel front door, left, any car door, every car door, dashboard, car. When the car moves slow, it didn't seem to happen when I was at speed. The headlights toggle. Submit diagnosis, you have eight guesses remaining. Oh, dims, flickers. Flickers? When the car moves slow, the headlights flicker. Bad guess, one of four correct. Oh. Can you tell me which it is? Headlights dim rather than flicker. When, when. It didn't happen when I was out of the car. So maybe when every car door is closed, the headlights dim. We're assuming by this that the headlights are the one thing I had correct. Two of four correct. Maybe I have headlights dim correct now. Fuck, I don't know then. When fuel decreases, headlights dim. When are we going home? I'm bored. I'm trying. As soon as we can find our way out of here. As soon as I can build a fucking flashlight. What else could it be? It's not car. We had two of four again, so once we got really lucky, headlights dim is correct. Could be any car door instead of every car door. What internation's going on? We're trying to diagnose a problem with the vehicle. Huh. Hang on. There's a test track. Let's put some fuel in this and test track it. Fill her up with free fuel as long as we're here. I've had no idea where the test track is, but she just said behind the garage. I'm sure we can find it. I wonder how you look in your, like, rear view. Click left joystick. Click right joystick. That's soon. I don't know how. Do I have any headlights? Do I not have any headlights at all? Hang on a sec. 
should charge the battery as well. Oh my god, I was out of battery. I only just learned how to read the battery meter. I got it now. They don't dim when I reverse. They don't dim when I hit the gas. When the wheel turns? To the right. When the wheel turns to the right or the left, when the wheel turns either direction, the headlights dim. We don't even need the test track. Okay. I kind of like this process. Did Hyder just reverse without even looking? Look, the kids are running all over, but you know, the car would be fine. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt the car. So I'll, I'll, no, I'll be more careful. I'll be more careful. It wouldn't hurt the car. When the steering wheel stays turning, the headlights dim. Diagnose. Hey! Fixes, right trigger. Here's what you'll need to fix this. A lights replacement kit. I could have fucking guessed that! What do you need for a light replacement kit? The electronics I don't know how to make? You need a bulb, all right? And for a bulb, I need... I have everything for a bulb. So if I hold A, can I craft the bulb? Why can't you take me over to the second thing? It shows me from here, a line over to over there, and it says hold A to craft over there. But if I hold A, it doesn't craft. Is that because a bulb is a tier two and I need to be at the other station? Nope, I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. Now I need more copper wire. If I leave a computer or something out here to break. Did this computer come back? Plastic, glass shards, electronics. We do just get electronics from things and copper wire. Suck on this radio. Nine volt battery and everything. Good shit. Did you regenerate? Can I get more stuff from you? Is there just free materials here every time? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll take the fucking summer tire too. Fuck it, dude. Can I pick this up? Am I allowed to? How do I like free my hands up? Down. Okay. Doesn't seem like I can just take a tire off. Only break them. And the rest of the panels haven't come back. That is what it is. I got what I needed for the bulb. And I found the answer finally that the electronics are a base material you just pick up. Um, I have to do this again. I want, uh, the reason I'm doing this again is I want to know if you can solve it from here too. The when when the steering wheel stays turning, the headlights dim. Switch diagnosis, you have guess remaining. Or no, I go to fix and we already have an error log. Perfect. Missing ingredients. Well Welcome to Sands, you're gonna have a good time. Stay quiet and we'll fuck you while you try to walk through traps. B-Man, thank you so much for the tier one sub. It's very kind of you. I appreciate that immensely. It doesn't show the number, which I usually like to mention because it's a prime gaming changing to, and they really want to focus on that, which I do appreciate. Happy Saturday. Hope you're well, friendo. Okay. Fix quirk, yes. Whoa. That was a cool effect, like degaussing almost. Headlight dims when steering wheel stays turning. Fixed. Mmm. Now, is there any way to tell if you have any quirks remaining, or did I fix all the quirks? Do they tell you, oh, there's two quirks left to go, or is it just work it on out yourself? I think it's work it on out yourself. Fair enough. Trippy? Very. Okay, um, 
Build the detailing station, use the fabrication station. I picked up a couple more electronics. Can I make the matter deconstruction? I need one more electronics. I need three gears and more scrap metal. And gears are scrap metal as well. I need three gears. Let's make those first and then I can easily see how much more scrap metal I need. Uh, craft one. Craft two. Craft three. Ideal. And that leaves... One electronics. 16 scrap metal. 16 scrap metal is a big ask. Get a little bit right here, but I think we're just gonna need to go back out into the zone for that. Rip to our quirky car. That gave me one piece of scrap metal. I really thought that would be more. These are good examples though. Glass metal. That gave me two pieces of scrap metal. What does a tire give you? Any metal from the hubcap, or is it mainly about getting rubber and plastic? I see. Yeah, we'll have to go out for scrap metal. Fair enough. Put a flashlight, please. For God's sake. What is this? Olympium torch. Augmented by liquid olympium and all the fiercer for it, the souped-up blowtorch blasts out a searing, superheated flame that can help reshape some of the toughest alloys and metals. This extremely atypical blowtorch is fueled by a restorative semi-organic compound that aids in reshaping and repairing damaged metalwork. It's not durable enough to last long, but it will help with basic repairs. Are those like better versions of repair putty, basically? I didn't see a flashlight there in hand tools. I... Is this game seriously just this dark? Up and down. Oh, wait, up gets out my med kit? If I hold up, I get out my med quit kit and probably start using it immediately. Uh, are there any other buttons I should try? Jump. Y is interact. That's kick. Crouch. Sprint. Zoom. Throw. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have a built-in flashlight or anything. Well, that's awkward. Shall we go back to Sierra? Oh, we gotta fix the car. I didn't even start working on some of that. We fixed a lot of it, but we need to fix more of the car. All right, car, are your headlights on? Let's turn those off while I charge the battery and all that stuff so you're not just wasting it. That's me, that's my bad. Uh, not wipers, there we are. Car's off, car's parked, we're good. We're good. What's the car's name? I guess it is a remnant, its name isn't remnant. Hmm. What is the car's name? Yeah, did someone mention the name of the car earlier? No, I thought Tobias was the name of the car talking to me, but it wasn't. The car does not have a name. Hank, Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank will get us through all dangers. Okay, classic repair means I need this. I need to put away some of these. Uh, the gear can go back. You can get out of here. Great. Um, one of these is like red, but you can still be fixed, right? Yeah. Repair potty time. Carmantha. <laughs> Herbie, name it Herbie. The car hasn't talked to us yet. Actually, some of you kids have said it's talked to you. I haven't heard it. And I'm supposed to be becoming obsessed with it. Don't you kids become obsessed with the car before I do, okay? The car, the family vehicle. Sure, you need something sensible. You can fit everybody in to take them on down to the IHOP or whatever. But also, it's sort of supposed to be the toy of the adults, isn't it? Don't you start talking with the car before I have a chance to. Now, what do you want from IHOP? It's your weaker minds. We're almost out of repair putty. What have I got this up to? 93%? That's plenty. I gotta make two more repair putty if I have the parts just to be ready. And I do. Chemicals. I'm short of chemicals to make any more than that, but I do have enough. Put that back. Close that up. 
uh, charge the battery like it asks. And then we just need to decide if we're going out to Sierra to get a bunch of scrap metal and electronics and stuff, or if we're going somewhere else first. How bad is this tire? That's kind of bad, but it'll be all right. It'll be okay. We haven't visited the friendly dumpster and I haven't tended my wounds, excuse me. Thank you for the reminder checklist. Friendly dumpster. I wish for electronics. Scrap metal. Scrap metal. Scrap metal. That's the other thing I wanted. I'll take it. 93% is fine. Repairs on the car, right? This is how you paint IRL. Very accurate. Root planner. To do this with me, here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. Does this go back to Sierra as well? It kind of looks like it does, and because somewhere else. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. Can't believe she missed the mass hallucination. Missed it. Interesting. Um, real quick, we had a clock anywhere? There should be one in the vehicle, right? Or not. Hmm. Hmm. I guess it's as dark as it's going to be. Uh... Interesting, Hank. Aw, Carmantha loves us. Does it love us or was it telling us, hey, if you give me a wash, I'll love you? Maybe that was supposed to be the repair putty, but it didn't look like it when it was raining down. Junction conditions, perpetual stability. I like that. And then we can expect to find stable anchor, abductor, a left, right. We can see some of the items, but not all of them. Interesting. Take me there. Hank Hell, <laughs> nice screen name. Back roads, remote, damp forest in the outer zone. Junction conditions, perpetual stability. Always a good one to have. Now, what have you got to tell me, computer? Just a handbrake, that's easier than looking down every time. I should do that more. Where am I starting out? There's gonna be a bunch of stuff along the right side of the road. Manual fatigue? All car components oh, suffer- and about those anomalies. I don't recommend you spend much time around them. Unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. When we're all dead and gone, and limb technology, but a footnote in the history books, the anomalies will remain. They're the legacy of our work here, and the Olympic Peninsula belongs to them now. Unreliable. This is unreliable. What does fatigue look like? That you were just trying to tell me about? I'm not sure. I guess that's what unreliable may mean. Why were you just telling me about that? Now, why does this headlight... Oh, it does work. I'm just standing too close to it to see the whole thing. Huh. Why'd they just tell me about unreliable? Odd. Go wide around those mannequins as well. I'm comfortable driving pretty close to mannequins, but I don't want to go into them. I think I may have just gone into them. Maybe mannequins explode.
want to get in there. Where's the door? Where indeed is the door? Oh, <laughs> right beside me. How in the world is that not a um, log of some kind? So food gives you a little bit of health, I noticed as I picked that up. I hadn't even thought about that since the first time. We uh, got food uh, thing. Getting used to carrying and using some of that could save me a lot of med kits. Tardigrade warning. Psychic disruption may affect work. From a tardigrade? They're literally microscopic. They physically get into your mind and fuck with it? Okay, there should be some more things along the right here. Just a little further down. Can we smash things too? You know what? I've been far too safe with you kids. Yeah, uh, all right. We'll make a few extra scrappers and I'll show you how to use them. We live in the zone now. You better know how to survive. There's apparently a barn somewhere to my right. Wouldn't worry about it. Hank's the most reliable person you'll ever meet. I mean, car. Is this a burnt out vehicle here? Fucked up vehicle? Need scrap metal. Give me your door. Doing this at night is slightly miserable. Hi, Dad. I teleported to the other stream. Is this normal? Um, yeah. This is the first time I've seen this. Don't want to panic them. Just tell them it's normal, we'll figure it out later. Focus on the scrap metal for now. Am I saying my thoughts aloud? Can I no longer think inside my head? That's not good. There's supposed to be more buildings around here, but like in the night I can't see any of them. Still, I'm getting a lot of scrap metal and some electronics. Those are the two important things. Let's just keep on driving and if I see one of the um, buildings along the way we can stop, but just getting out for that much scrap was probably good. There's one with a light on and everything. Ideal. Let's go get that. How dare you? Too safe. You let us run around the anomaly unsupervised. What's unsafe to you? Going into one of those anomalies unsupervised. Going to one of those anomalies at all. Let alone unsupervised. Those things don't move, right? I've been a little unclear about that. They don't seem like they do, but... Once in a while I turn around and it feels like... I didn't think it reached quite that far. When I first spotted it. Okay, decent loot. Anything in the fridge? A lots in the fridge. There's a bunch of that batteries? Yeah, there were a bunch of 9 volt batteries in the fridge. Let's get out of here. Where's the car? Empty our pockets real quick. Now what? Well, let's go get that thing. Should be one more thing around here. Eh, we've already passed it. Hello. Rocks. Thanks. 
That sign was perfectly placed. That has to be programmed, right? Wonderful, wonderful if that's randomly generated, but I do like it either way. We have an abductor ahead. No problem. Get better at driving the car, too. Fucking what? Hang on a sec. I want to log that. It's not the best photo we're going to get out of it, but wriggling wreck. I'll read you later. road does take me all the way there, right? Oh, it's actually right beside us. Where are we going to want to go after this? Up to the far away one, I think? Probably? So let's change our marker that way. Go get this. Did I put on the parking brake and stuff? We're going a little ways. I'm going to shut the car off and save some energy here. I shut the headlights off too. I'm a little worried about that and go find this thing. Maybe I shouldn't have moved the marker yet. There it is. What the hell is this? Highly radioactive area, clearly. I bet there's something really good in there if you can withstand it. I'm not going to risk that yet. I'm just going to get this. Get back to my vehicle. Shit. Come on. Where's Hank? Where's Hank? We're nearly back. 30 meters. There's Hank. Let's go grab another one. Wriggling Wreck was your nickname in high school? I can suddenly taste colors. Is that normal, Dad? Wait, what? How many government experiments are they going on are going on around here? Because that's LSD. Anakin's everywhere, but I'll get out. Is this a dangerous area? Doesn't seem like it. Matic deposit box. Thanks for all that. Anomaly studies number seven tape that we picked up. Is anybody making crashing noises in the bushes around here? Whoops. Didn't go far enough. I think I can weave between these ones. And yes, I can. The red paint tastes great. Told you not to ride in the trunk. Got important things back there. Just sit on each other's laps, on each other's laps in the back seat. There's enough space if you just wanted there to be. You kids would just get along better. How long is stream going for? Uncertain. Pretty much until I'm too tired or no longer enjoying, and I'm quite enjoying this game. Turn around to get ready to leave here after I grab this thing. What am I hearing? Oh, okay. It sounded much closer than it actually is. Come here, you. Thank you! Getting better at this. Is that storm or whatever showing up yet? It is not. So where do I want to go then? Down to get more energy here, I guess? So we're going to follow the road, but we eventually hang a left. And I think I remember roughly where we hang that left. How am I doing? I'm at half battery. The health of my vehicle is good. My fuel is good, and I've got a full fuel can. 
I do also have one battery recharge. It gives me like 30... Okay, clearly misremembered how that was shaped. Kilowatts. So I should be okay even if my battery gets a bit low. Well, you know what? I bet those are all over the place, not just to make the driving more difficult, but I bet you can break those things open for plastic. Those yellow bins. And this could give you scrap metal. Yeah, lots is probably here in part for odds and ends. Where is this, like, pathway I'm seeing on my, on my map there? Here we go. Here we are. Did this just eat the glowing ball? Yeah, this thing will absorb it. In fact, I, I keep going really quickly through picking it up, dropping it off, then getting back in the car because I thought that's what caused everything to go crazy in the first mission. But I think actually that was like scripted and it doesn't necessarily all go to shit the instant you pick one of those things up. So we should watch and see what happens to those things actually when you drop them into the machine. Next time I grab one, which is coming up now. Where am I on this path? It's right there. And this path actually doesn't go. It goes beside where we want to go. So I'm going to need to get out of the car around here. Preserve a little battery by shutting everything down, turning the headlights off. Let's go get this thing. Oh, very safe. Really safe. Lovely place. That's not enveloped by this anomaly, is it? I think it is. Um, that's a challenge. Can I pick it up from far enough away that I won't get hurt? Should get a lift job for Hank? They look so friendly, the tourists. Come here, you. For God's sake. How am I not able to grab this yet? There we go. Gotta run through the dark for a minute here, and then we'll get to see what happens when you put this into the vehicle. Getting a lot of energy, though, for this mission. Imagine if Choo Choo Charles just suddenly came out of nowhere in the middle of this game. Alright, so when you drop one of these in, what happens is... It gets absorbed. Pretty straightforward. Make space for the next one, I suppose. Hey, the storm's showing up. I think it's time we leave. I think it's time we leave. Is that just marking an anomaly? It must be. Yeah, let's get out of here. I'm gonna turn the car on, get everything ready. And we're gonna go. Is that an abductor right there? Fuck off, abductor. He's gonna grab me. I'm fucked. Evasive actions. Evasive actions. You're such a dick. Not through the mannequins! Fucker. Just keep driving. I think I'm back in control now. Just keep driving. Fuck off, dude. We're nearly at the road. Things will go better then. We gotta get over to that beacon. Oh, there's a closing storm now. I didn't even notice that. We should be okay. We have an almost direct shot along the road. Just fine. 
Uh, is it closing in faster and faster? I think we start going directly for the thing. No worries. No worries at all. No need to know what that sound was. Not... Dad, this is just like Fortnite. Stop talking about your games, kids. This is real life. Looks like you're getting the hang of things. Well, once you get that unfortunate driving under control. Please tell me I gathered enough scrap electronics to build the upgrades that I wanted. Please, please, please. The driver of a teal shit wagon. Your lights are on. Please turn them off. There we go. Can I go uh, diagnose quirks with myself at this machine? Okay, there we go. I just had to hit left and it realized I wasn't hitting left. We're good now. I got some paints to take out and add to my shelf, didn't I? Didn't I just? I did. I've got two more paints to pop on this. I wonder if why paints have their own shelf. Can you use them from here or something? Or is the game just enforcing organization upon me? Because I often resist it, it's true. Why is modern peripheral quality so much lower than it used to be? Do you mean the controller? Because I'm pretty sure that was happening inside the game. We had an issue like that earlier. I think it's happening inside the game, but I'm not 100% I'm not on that. I'm back, have you found Anthony? We've not found Anthony. We found a whole lot of tourists. One of them might once have been Anthony. But as far as I know, we haven't found Anthony. There we go. Scrap metal gear, electronics. Please make me a matter deconstructor. Where does this go? It's a Stargate. Okay. First things first. Give me back that dumpster pearl. <laughs> I'm looking, the part it highlights is the spinning, like, chewing blades. I worry about what that icon is teaching impressionable young children like those that ride in the back of my car. No, don't stick your hand in that. Um, go ahead and drop this in. Wow. Scrap, fresh rice cartridges, decal kit floral. Steel sheets, copper wire, scrap metal. Okay, I love those things. Those things are great. Who's Anthony? I already forgot Anthony. Car's messing with their minds more than I thought. Just got here, what's the deal with this game? We are taking excursions through a sci-fi fucked up zone in our shitty wagon. Trying to upgrade it, keep it running, and discover what happened. It's a slightly roguelike, slightly survival. There's a story to uncover. That kind of game. Let's visit the friendly dumpster before I forget. Just admitted it? You hated that kid? Look, when you have as many kids as I do, okay? Yeah, you hate some of them. What about it? Um, oh, sorry, those are the materials that are already put away. Those can go back away. Can the floral kit, uh, should we do the floral kit? Let's do the floral kit for a change of pace. Um, chassis.
They're not across the hood. They're just down the sides. I can only see bits of them through the rust and shit. Really? I did say entire chassis, right? Yeah, it did. Steel panel. Like, can I apply it to the hood? Oh, I see. So I did the chassis. I'd have to do each panel separately. How many uses does this thing have? I can't really tell. I mean, would he even show up on one of these completely fucking rusted out bits? A little. A little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Like Zoinks Gang! Those kids went into the worst fucking places. How come they never had problems like this with the mystery machine? I need to get with a model of that off them. I want to buy one. They just seem more reliable all around. Hank being our car that whispers eldritch truths in our ears? Yeah. Uh, these go over on the paint rack, don't they? They do. Away you go. Uh, I need to... I need to, I need to, I need to... I built one thing I want, can I build the other thing I want? A detailing station. No, I cannot. More scrap metal and more electronics. Don't have enough steel sheets for the locker. Can I make steel sheets? It's gonna take scrap, right? I probably don't have enough. Yeah, I can make one. Oh, the two there means level two. You can make one of these. Six scrap metal per. I think I need to get more aggressive about getting things out in the zone. I think I need to get out more often. Because I've gotta do a lot of trips to get enough metal otherwise. I thought things would take like two, three, Oh, four metal, that's exceptionally costly. Things regularly take, like, 30. I need to get a lot more metal. Wasn't one of the most common inciting incidents for early Scooby-Doo car troubles? Yeah, their engine would just, like, give out. It didn't look like this! Why is it still dark? I have no idea. I, I don't know how to... I don't know if it's ever going to be day again. I don't know how to get a flashlight, or if there is one at all. I don't know why it's still dark. I don't like the perpetual night. Neither does dad, all right? Let's repair the car a bit. Now one of these has just become unreliable. So it'd be good to replace that. But I don't think I have an extra panel. I'd have to make one. Actually, I put panels and stuff back here, didn't I? I have, I do have a panel. What's the point of the hand vac? Allows the swift collection of just about any solid or semi-solid substance. So that's for fast looting? Okay. Did me a drop that. Let's replace the impact hammer with that then. Give that a try at some point. Give me this panel back. So. Fragile. Can I not directly replace this? Fix none. Oh, I know. I know. Drop you down. How do I take you just like off the car? There we go. There we go. And you can go in the deconstructor. Because you're just fragile forever now that you're fragile. You're up. It is pretty handy. Dark is scary. Focus on your, your phonics practice back there. Don't worry about the dark. I'll, we'll, I'll get us out of the dark eventually. Maybe time space off the real world, like it won't be uh, light again until 12 hours have passed. I think we should almost do maybe the story. Maybe it's, you know, the kind of thing where it's dark for this part of the story. It's just a guess, but that's what I'm thinking. So it's 72%. And break out the repair, buddy. Isn't it always? Good shit. Bumper's sort of fine. This panel's a little bit hurt. This tire's not great. This door's not great. Or that uh, tire is great. This door's not great. 
That's we're fine. Not good. The hood takes a lot of punishment, so I'll focus on keeping that in decent condition. Headlights are sort of okay. This tire isn't. We're up to 86% now. Oh, this will make a big difference. Good. 94? I'll take it. One half of one repair putty remaining, and I can't make another because we don't have any chemicals. I don't know where to get chemicals. That's a big issue. Okay, we'll figure that out. We'll work on that. Awkward. Um, everything good condition now? Yeah. Tend to my wounds at the first aid station. Oh, I, I, I was only thinking of the car. I'd forgotten I was even hurt. I, I was only thinking of the car. Nothing else in that locker. Nothing back here I've missed. It's a door. It's locked. It's just a door. Somehow this poorly sealed door can barely... That's not this door. Locked heavy duty. It's got to be some way to open it. This door is locked, though you always... Uh, that always doesn't mean... That always doesn't mean you'll need a key. Many simple locks can be forced with small tools, though tougher ones will require heavier equipment. Keypads, of course, will require a code or a zap. Breaking those won't get you anywhere. Broken keypad. Our code or a zap. Oh, wait. They list the fix there, and I didn't even notice. Samantha... Where's the, um, how do I fix impact hammer? Okay. And it said electronics kit for the other one, a broken keypad. You can fix with an electronics kit or get through with an electronics kit. Didn't I just equip the impact hammer? Nope. That's the impact hammer. Of course. Great. Opens that up. Love it. Locked fix impact hammer. <laughs> I think that's a glitch. I'm not going to impact hammer the thing I just built. I am actually. I want to know what this is. They won't let me break it. It doesn't have any health. Okay, the thing's gone. We're actually fine. We're fine. Theory as to why the game doesn't give a flashlight. It's making you rely on the car's headlights. Back for a bit. What I missed, I'd assume it's a lot of very confusing to explain. We've not learned a lot. We've basically learned basics of how to play the game because it's taken me a long time to understand where and how I should get certain materials, how many of them I need to come back with. We haven't had the most fruitful time out there. You know, actually, I'm curious. How good is this, a test is this? It's not a great one. Front right door, rear front door. Ah, never mind. I'll do it anyway. Uh, I wanted to see, do, do you use a different amount of repair putty based on how fucked something is? Is that going to get us to 100? It's the last thing it listed. No, of course it's not. It's the last thing you listed, though. I think it just uses a set amount of repair putty very hard to tell because those weren't too different in how much they needed but I think it just uses a set amount of repair putty is that my last one cool very cool what's this anomaly studies 7 thing I picked up I got the last one. Arta catalog reference 4.85. Waist height in one of the few apparently benign anomalies reported. These were frequently found hiding in warm, dry places during cold or wet weather. It's included under vehicles and by heating vents. Bulbous and resembling puffball mushrooms. They would squirt dark liquid when disturbed and roll away rapidly. Same. Rarely sighted after 1976, but occasionally still reported. Hmm. 
Okay, can I put that away somewhere? Or have I used it all I need to use it? I guess I'll put that here for now. I'm not sure where to, where to put that. Free materials. I should have taken this part first. Dad, I spilled some repair goo on me and it feels like your appendix came back. Does it? Why am I making med kits? We should all just have repair goo. Kids, keep your repair goo nearby just in case of trouble. There's one thing I learned from angry, angry old British car TV. Hoods are optional. Forgot you at the last gas station, but you're back now. Welcome back. I trust you're stronger now that you've had that experience. What does it feel like when your appendix comes back? Well, you know that feeling of your appendix being missing? That, that goes away quite quickly. I just picked up electronics, but only a little scrap metal. Ah, fuck, I still need one electronics. I need 10 scrap metal. I have the rubber I need. I really want that thing. Just so it'll go away from up there. I mean, I'm gonna break the panel. It doesn't matter if it's locked, game. You lock it all you want. I'll get in there. to go. Actually, the panel will give us more metal. Let's do that. I'm sort of prepping to just build a new scrapper before we go out. So that, like I say, we can do a lot more collecting while we're out, but I'm not doing it with um, a scrapper on its last legs. I think I'm going to be doing it as a scrapper on its last legs. Is there nothing more I can use this on? Fine, let's build a scrapper and just carry two out there. It's not really a problem. Perfect. All right. Plan a route. I think we've got everything ready. The storm is where we used to be. Awesome. Um, 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 um. Sort of have to go buy it to get to Sierra. However, this junction is not having a problem. So let's just go to Sierra. Should be safe, right? Should be safe. We're all clear. Oh. Hey, I didn't even look at car upgrades. Wait, we could get like possibly an upgrade as long as it doesn't use, as long as it doesn't use, what do I need to save? Scrap metal electronics and rubber. I mean, I'm gonna get more, but is there anything I can get that doesn't even take that? Scrap metal electronics and rubber. Fabric plastic steel sheet, that's fabric. Unlock a roof rack, Excel roof storage. fabric for the uh oh this is just for um blueprints of course just for blueprints and it'll use rubber to make the tire i'm sure never mind we'll worry about that next time we'll worry about that next time everything's in good shape Wonder what happens if you turn right I wonder if flares give off light, throw it in the deconstructor. It's the worst that could happen. Scrap for the scrap god. Fabric for the fabric throne. I eat the driver's seat. I'm obviously not going through here. But we're going to go through here and on to there.
I feel like I'm balancing these missions wrong in some way. I come back with too little. I haven't needed the storage I made, for example. It's day, though. <gasps> it's day! Well, of course, it tells me six hours. That's probably what's determining what time it is when I arrive at places and stuff. Of course it is. Uh, quick look at the map here. Yeah, we can go down this road. There's two places to check out along the way. Manual junctions and access roads? Huh? They'll often stop at multiple junctions and a drive into the zone. The only way to reach the next junction is via the gated access roads, which are automatically blocked when the route is too dangerous for travel. When the barricade's lowered, the way's open for you. Cool. Where's that facility I saw on my minimap? Should be somewhere right around here. There it is. Park the car. Uh... There's still a light coming from that. I think there might be plasma in this one. That would be pretty nice. They gave me a bunch for the tutorial, and then I haven't found any. You could fuck off and let me get this plasma. I would super appreciate. We got one plasma. And a whole bunch of fucked up glass. Anything inside? Chemicals. One of the most important things I get right now, because I don't know generally where to find them. And what I'm trying to make requires a bunch. I wonder if that fabric represents things left in the backpack or tearing the backpack up. Okay, I think that's everything I can get from in here. It's so fucking dark, it's impossible to tell, but I think that's it. Now there's another facility not far away. Another building marked to the map. There it is. We will drive up that far. I was about to say, I wonder if it's just near enough I should run. But it's directly along the road. Just directly along it. Facility. Throw the nearly broken saw into the deconstructor, not the flare. Oh, I see what you mean. You know, that's not a bad idea. Before I accidentally use up the last of the saw, that's something we should test, so I'll put that in storage so I don't use it. Good thinking. You know, there is an option to make the darks less dark. As I recall. Perhaps I should just turn that on. Hello there, covered bridge. Or uh, covered bridge? What am I talking about? Just bridge. Train bridge. Just a little loot from there. It's the direct route if I've ever seen one. Um... Does that happen every time I reverse? All right, Samantha, when I reverse the car, the hood opens. Help me remember that. It's a quirk we need to fix at some point. Now where? Anything bad, uh, valuable from these? Can you just break these up or... No, they don't even have a health bar. So those aren't just like some regular source of uh, scrap and rubber. And plastic. They, the traffic cones and barrels in the middle of the road. Which is kind of what I was hoping they were for. At least it closes itself. At least. At least it's a polite quirk. Okay, where am I going now? 
Um, I want to, I want to get up on that high road, actually. It should have gone the other way. Can I climb this? Does the car have enough power to do this? That is too steep for her. Hang on. It looks a little less steep on the other side. Get a bit of a run up. And maybe, just maybe, we can inch over the red and crawl up the yellow inclination, uh, incline area and get there. Good job, Hank. How are you feeling, Hank? You want a helicopter airdropped burger. Um, I'll do what I can, Hank, but I'm just trying to put together like car detailing station right now. That upgrade's a ways off. Oh shit, here comes the storm. Okay, we need to go get those two things and get out of here. Less messing around, more being effective. So much for my idea of spending a lot longer in place, getting more materials out of it. So much for that. Okay, somewhere off the road here and down the hill. Take a crack at it. We shall find right into the giant rocks. Shall find the core. Perfect. I can see another one in the distance. Is the abductor coming this way? Where does the abductor go? Leave the car running on this one. Go grab the second. How oh, has the storm already over us? How's the storm like right fucking over us? Hang on. Hang on. Which direction is it going? Can I just escape it for a bit? While it passes over? Shit. Shit, dude. I'm getting caught in more and more of it. I've got the pedal hard down right now. Fuck me. Come on, close up the windows, kids. Roll them up. Shit, am I even touching ground? It doesn't sound like the engine's working. It's passing. Very slowly, it's passing. Okay, okay, hang on. Wheels are down, wheels are down. I just put the brake on and stay. Oh shit, it's pulling me towards an anomaly. There's the anomaly. Activate emergency teleporter? No, I'm gonna fix this thing. Kick. Oh my god, that does roll it back. Hell yes. And we weren't even grabbed by the anomaly. We didn't come near it. We good? I think we're good now. That wasn't nearly so bad as I was worried. How's the car doing? We have one fucked up panel, and what's the little diamond on our passenger side door mean? Hang on, let's go diagnose that. Okay, for two minutes I come back and the car is flipped over. Well, maybe you should have been here. Oh, that means it's fragile now. I mean, me too. Damn, dad doesn't skip leg day. Yeah, a bit impressed with, with your old dad now, aren't you? Fuck off, man. Broken bunny? It's a broken bunny. 
Scanning process. Broken bunny. Get the hell out of here. Okay, let's leave. We're just tourists in this area, kids. We don't need to get involved in the problems of all those. We don't, we don't really understand completely. Look, let me tell you why colonialism is bad while we drive to the next junction. I can barely fucking move. This is definitely gonna hit red. Yeah, can I, do I have enough momentum to tip back into yellow? Nice. And up onto the track again. Lights off. Can I squeeze through there? Thank you. Let's check out what's in these vehicles. Oh, that's interesting. It didn't use any of my, um... Yeah, I put the other scrapper away. It didn't use any of my, uh, what's it called? Scrapper durability, right? For me to... For me to, um... I can't think of the words. Kill that bunny. We need so much scrap metal. I'm reasonably sure this is worth doing. And then... We'll put it all away. I hurt 74%. How much food have I got here? Should give me like 16. Sign quick slot. Uh, oh, I can just use with A. We get scrap metal from the cans. Nice. Nice. That doesn't really matter where those go, actually. Cool. All right, everything in decent enough shape. Uh, I left a whole car behind, didn't I? Let's not take that one apart, but... Does it have a trunk of goods? It does. And then... Um... What's our fuel doing? Bunnies are soft. Of course, there's no damage to your saw. They look like they have glowing eyes. I assumed that part was metal. And I got scrap metal from them. Are you sure? Siphon a little bit of fuel out of this. Can you take a new door? Hydro, you need a door. I need a door? Oh right, one of them is fragile now, isn't it? Do you think this one's in better condition than my car? It is in better condition than my car. Um, how do I take this thing off? This thing's in excellent condition. How do I just take the door off? I'm not sure that's a thing you can do. Maybe that's what you need the disassembler item for, if you want to steal panels. That would be super useful. Yeah. I'm gonna guess you need, um, you need something special to do that. Way too. I'm carrying 20 road flares. Oh my god, that's what you use when it's dark. Is the zone starting to close in? Storm warning? Okay. Let's get out of here. Certified Hydro Moan right there. That one felt worse than a lot of them have recently. That's the worst one for a while, yeah. Now this sometimes has a variety of stuff. Let's check it out.
least to still stream one. Was there just a purple swirl directly in front of me? What's that balloon up there? Does that mark the gate that I'm heading towards? Also, I should have checked how quickly the uh, storm is approaching, but... Fuck it. Could be something in here. Or not. Is there anything around it? Ugh. Unfortunate way to spend our time. On to Serum. How are we doing? Oh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. No worries. We still have a majority of our battery too since we haven't been using our headlights in the day. We do way better on battery on these missions. Before we get going, let's try. That was a handbrake skid. I bet it's a little more action-y on the road with some more speed, but... Okay. I can't say it's hard to control. Uh, alright. On to Sierra for the story. Have we seen what the purple swirlies do? Um, no, actually. I was about to say we did just earlier when the car flipped, but I'm pretty sure that was entirely the storm. Seeing as I thought we were thrown to the right into one, but when I got out, there was still one a little ways away to the right. I don't think we actually reached it. My understanding is they throw you around, but the log that came with them was about someone getting thrown around all the way to blistering woods outer zone. Thrown all the way around from There's Seattle to French Canada. We are in the deep zone. Like another wall and the entire mid zone for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. And technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra ought to have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. I'm swinging by and finding one. Sorry, why are you red? What the fucking what? The hell was that? Okay, I'm gonna mark the thing. On the observation tower, I'm going that way, am I? I'm getting this first. I'm so nearby. It's right on the other side of you, okay? How much damage could they really do to me? Around here, the tourists seem to be electrically connect shocked tourists connected to each other. You can fuck off to begin with. Do bunnies chase these things? Is that what's happening? Serpentine, serpentine. Fuck off, dude. Serpentine. Let's go the hell away. Do you stop at that or do you keep going? You keep going for me. Marsh eggs. The organic material within these soft shells displays a remarkable, even alarming ability to regrow itself when harmed. If it could be synthesized with organic or semi-organic compounds, the applications could be remarkable. Oh, dude. The fuck did you just kick over there? 
I don't understand the behavior. Let's get this out of our hands as quick as we can. And this is gonna deal some damage to me, but I wanna know what that is. Thermosap Crystal. Tolerance this artificially grown crystalline substance has for extreme temperatures and sustained stress is extraordinary. This is just all manner of mechanical applications. Back in the car. I've got canned food if it gets bad, but I still have most of my health. I need to go here. And I left behind a path. Just a little ways back. There it is. That's a new kind of anomaly. Or is it just a really big one of the lightning areas. No, they don't look like this. An airstrip. Telephone transcript. Tobias, this is Francis Cook. Yeah, the scientist. I got a bit of an update for you. I'm afraid it's bad news. Those drums of experimental gravity gel we were sending back to you are not going to get there. Neither is the truck, it seems. We had some kind of atmospheric shift and then more anomalies than I think I've ever seen before. Everyone's safe, but our driver has a broken leg and as for the gel... Well, the whole strip of road between our lab site and that old gas station got smeared and scrambled, so now it's more like some kind of giant trampoline. I'm not kidding. Anything that touches that road just takes off. It's starting to spread to some of the forest and swamp nearby. It's not that the gel's just spilled on the ground. It's like it's a part of the ground now, a, a part of the earth itself. So I guess you can update your inventory logs on that. Uh, is there some kind of maintenance request I should file for this? Could I use that? Should have more speed. Interesting. We'll stick with the road. Being darker here. Let's turn the lights. We got plenty of battery. We're getting a trampoline, everyone. Yay! Again, again! Sorry, I forgot you kids were even back there. I would have told you to buckle up and hold on to something. I just think so much about the car these days. Taking care of the car and wanting the car to enjoy a trampoline and... Um, I'm rapidly losing height. Oh, because I missed the way I should go. One sec. One second. Hang on, I can just... Actually, I can't. That's not going to work. I need to go back a bit and uh, pick up the path back here. Is the path literally on the other side of the airstrip anomaly? It's gonna be on the left coming up. I think it probably was. Oh, it's at the end of the airstrip anomaly. Somehow I just didn't see anything about it. Okay, now we're on the right path to the uh, observation tower. How goes it? Slowly but surely. We're progressing through the zone. Slowly but surely. I think it's going pretty well, but I did only just recently learn how I probably should light dark areas. Which... It's probably quite a basic skill to have in a survival game, any of them. Definitely this one. But other than that, it feels like it's going well. So you buy the car a puppy, but not us? The towers are locked up. Yes. Tight, but you could tighten up security protocols all day, only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that One of your employees was named 4735? Uh, oh, boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the Gothroids hated. 
the things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those gods one bit. Master thing. Did you make me hit my door a bit? I think you did. Actually, I should eat that food while I'm here. Did I also pick up that? There we go. 4735. Notice unsafe to enter. Oh. I thought I had to do it manually. We have a transmuter. We have a backpack. This will transmute what? Bulb to plastic. Um, I think I'm good. Especially as that's taking a crafted material and making a base material out of it. That doesn't seem like a great trade. Scan the stabilizer map. This map. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. You good now? There you go. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Stabilizers. As if the zone could ever be contained. They did their best, though. I mean, I wouldn't make fun of 4735. Look what all your kids are named. Not big on loot, this observation tower, but can't complain when it's quest required. Let me just go tick this off, and there we are. Exit the area via stabilized access roads. So now I do what I like and I eventually leave, yes? I think yes. I kind of want to go down into town. Where This is the anomaly, right? Right here? Hmm. Okay, let me see. Let's go back along this. Hang a left, hang a left. Yeah, okay. I'm looking for this junction. One of my headlights is fucked. I mean, the car's not in fantastic shape, but that's the only part that leaps out to me as perhaps being an issue, but we're gonna just soldier on. I don't need the wipers now. So we come to the end of this dirt track, hang a left, where that ends, hang another left, and what I've marked is the left we need to take after that to begin our descent towards the town, it looks like. Which is on the edge of the anomaly, but shouldn't be right at the anomaly. I have to imagine we can get on foot for, like, a little bit and gather a lot of materials in there. So many buildings close beside each other. I particularly want electronics. I always feel short of electronics. But I really sort of need everything. Dad, why can I smell the wind? Because man's reach out seeds his grasp. Someday I'll understand, kiddo. Are right, we hanging left here? I'm gonna do it a bit early because of that abductor hovering over the road. And we are on track. Alright. This is the start of the road into town. And I don't think I need to check another marker because we should just see the buildings. A little ways down here. Not even terribly far, though it's got like a switchback in it. Before we get to the real stuff. Is this the way I came down before, too? Are we gonna come to the same scenic overlook? I don't think I drove this way first time. Jesus. Spawner a bit there. Oh, what's up, Felody? Good to see you. Happy Saturday, friendo. Oh, you need some dad rock playing while you're driving around? I have the licensed music turned off, unfortunately. I'm sure it's dad rock as hell. 
Tino might be able to answer. Tino, is this game full of... Oh, no, he went out to get food. Hang on. Am I where I want to be? Oh, we hang another left. Also, there's a thing here. That's a lot of tourists hanging out. Let's go take care of that. You fucker. Are you what made all that noise, or is there another one on me somewhere? Jeez. Can I make some repair putty? I still don't have enough chemicals? Fuck me, dude. Let's make a whining noise. Oh god, it's so irradiated. Of course it would be. Look, I can see a house glowing over there. That one doesn't look like it is, though. Alright, alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this thing running? Did I leave this thing running or anything? Turn it off. Put it in park. I'm gonna walk from here. Just worried about another happy hare hitting the car with its health. I'll sacrifice my health first. Also, I'm not gonna grab that immediately. Where in this area do I start getting irradiated? Pretty quickly. Pretty early. Oh, here we are. Here we are. But I should be able to loot this house, possibly, without going deeper into worse radiation. Still in 2.5k zone. These houses are all completely shut. Yeah, let's get out of this area. Check the car on the way by. Good stuff. Thought we were moving to Spokane. Got a bit of a detour going on. But don't you worry. I'm working on it. And besides, I'm worried enough for the both of us. Yeah, maybe it actually wasn't the best idea to come down in here. Of course it's going to be heavily irradiated. Uh, I mean, where else? Looks like there's a collection of research facilities back here and stuff. So if we go back the way we came. Fuck you. Do not drag me towards the shocked tourists. Don't you dare. Car! We're off. We're off, we're off, we're off. Okay. I kind of need to go the other way, but I can work it out this way. I can figure out where I need what I need going this way. Hmm. Oh, it feels so much better being on asphalt. Even just compared to the dirt track. The dirt track's way better than being off-road. This is so much better than the dirt track. I, I kind of want to focus on, like, wheel upgrades for this car, just so that those experiences become better. Because this is heavenly after being off of it for so long. Now, there should be a dirt track right around here that will take us up to those facilities I was looking at. Okay, the hood is fucked now. Delightful. Said we should have listened to the GP- Oh, fuck you. Said we should have listened to the GPS, but Hydro said you knew a faster way. Is it worth going and getting more, or is it worth getting out of here? We still have most of our battery and fuel, and I have a full can refill. It's quite a walk to get back to those places. Hmm. All right, let's go to the gas station here while I think about it. Where is that thing? There it is. Watch out for the mannequins. Big dams. Can we stop in town for a Wendy's? There we go. Sorry, it takes me so much thought to do those little things. Yeah, I, I guess we can get a Wendy's. Kids gotta eat at some point. But no putting your fries in your milkshake, okay? I feel like there's been enough experimentation done 
the hubris of man has reached far enough in this area. Just eat it as it is. I want nugs. What's everyone's Wendy's order? Put away these two, and let me go get this pearl. Which, if I hold in my hand, I can put away like that. Learn the controls a little bit better and better. Got to admit, it's getting better, a little better, all the time. These things are always feel disappointingly empty. Gas stations and stuff. Oh wait, hang on. Deco vent? fell off. The future stylings. The handle falling off is a genius way to only let people use it once. I love that. Genius in-universe reason for why you can't just put more in to get more cosmetics out. Baconator overrated. There, I said it. Spicy chicken. The zones make you act very weird. Spicy chicken sandwich and the full hubris of man's folly. You could probably get that. What's up, chiller? Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, let's try again. Let's try again on the dangers and go this way. So, head. There should be pretty quickly here. A route to the left. There it is. Take me to that marker. Passing through a highly radioactive area. How about now? Can I just bust through this? Alright. Cool. Now what goes on around here? What should be on my toolbar? Road flares should probably be part of the toolbar. Especially because there's a hotkey for healing. So I don't need to worry about that. doors. Limb lies. Another dumpster pearl? Oh, we're fucking rich. Site safety. This is turning into an excellent trip into the zone. I mean, we're putting in more time for it. This is way more valuable. When will mommy return from the war? I don't know. I don't know if we occupy the same dimension as mommy any longer, so it's a difficult question to answer. Did you know you put Baxter into this game? I had a little word with the devs and they, you know, were kind enough to do me a favor. Can't thank them enough. I didn't think you were going to have to kill the bunnies in this game. But luckily they didn't make them look like Baxter, so we're getting by okay. All right, good stuff. What's all this gathered stuff over here? Resource? Lead shielding. Private field notes, Dr. A.F. Kingy, date unknown. This is ridiculous. We've transformed from a team of skilled scientists into day trippers with test tubes and sample kits. We must set up everything on site. We haul out equipment, computers, materials. We have these dreadful mobile laboratory trucks that are so generic in design, they end up helping nobody do their work. The latest fieldwork solution is apparently to have us erect giant walls of lead behind which we're supposed to perform direct observation of the latest anomalies. We must rush out in response to the latest sighting, build these things like we would a 
snow fort in winter, then hope to get enough readings and data before another EMP shorts everything. It's utterly ridiculous. We don't even have equipment capable of helping us move and deploy all this other equipment. And of course, setup takes so long that whatever we hope to catch is often long gone. That, or it's taken far too much interest in us for anyone to be able to work safely. Did you leave any of this important equipment here? You did. It's not in great shape, but you did. I'm gonna take the electronics from it. There's monsters and stuff? There are. And they're alluding to some kind of perhaps overall sentience to this zone of anomalies. We're not that far in the story at all yet, but there was a thing about like stuff cropping in the zone, up in the zone that looked like tech they had designed, trying to be crudely recreated. Then there's those things flying around. Yeah, there's there's something or anything. Something hunting, searching, and trying to learn in here. Gotta go play DD, but thanks for being entertaining, Dad. Have a good one, Seductive Marks. Hope the game is fantastic. Hey, a seat just opened up in the back, kids. Someone else gets a seat belt. The rest of you will still be unsafe, but do what we can. Good. Wow, I really didn't need that excess storage for a while. How many chemicals have I picked up now? Because that's the fucking issue. Still just one. God damn it. Where do I find chemicals? Should I work extra hard to go find those research lab areas, do you think? Would that be worth the time? Because these things look like they might be research labs. They've got like a little antenna on top of there, or a satellite dish icon on top of them. Hmm. They're a pain to get to now. Okay, hang on. Let me, um, let me continue along this road while I think about it. Oh yeah, we were just at a gas station. I thought an anomaly had fueled my vehicle while I was out of it for a minute there. No, I just loaded it up at the gas station. That's why it's pretty much full. Hey, what's up, Cat Cat? Good to see you. Dad said it's my turn with the seatbelt. Dad said it's my turn to not risk my life. Okay. Yeah, we need chemicals badly. We're going to try and get over here. So what I need to do is hang a right, go until the dirt track, follow that up, and hang a left and get there. I think I can remember most of that. We can't take the near route. We already tried that, and that's the one that was blocked by rocks. I'm hoping it's open on the other side. Should be coming up soon on the dirt track we need. There it is. Okay. Perfect. Sharp turn here. And we'll join with another dirt road I want to hang a left on, and we'll just be on the path to our goal. This actually didn't take long at all. The zone is all a bit smaller than I think it is. Each of these loaded areas. Here we are. Now just hope for no roadblocks. See an abductor up ahead, and a whole lot of shocked tourists. Interesting. Let's scout it. How's my inventory? Empty. Excellent. Was I getting electronics from these lab computers? Scrapping electronics, scrapping electronics. I was. And how many electronics have I picked up so far? I mean, if I did the work to get over here, and I can build another scrapper pretty easily. Maybe I shouldn't worry so much about that, and I should just get everything I can. Why am I limiting myself? 
What do you get from a sodium vapor light? Scrap metal, copper wire, glass shards, pressurized cartridges. Pressurized cartridges sound nice. Lead shielding. You get scrap metal from these or is lead its own thing? You get scrap metal from those. Dead sick isn't a road trip vacation. It's all just a nice, soothing vacation. Stay in the car while I do this part, though. It's barbed wire. Uh, I mean, I can't crouch under that. That's still just barbed wire. Like, no <laughs> easy way around this. How do you get into this area? Doesn't hurt me to rub against. There we go. It's gonna be a long run back to the car if I have to sprint, though. Is part of it still moving? I saw, I saw some shadow move. Arda lied. Hello, you're good. Where's my impact hammer? Good. That's what I wanted. How about those chemicals? That's why I came all the way over to the lab. Sort of area on the map. How about them chemicals, game? Where you keep them chemicals? Dad's learned to use fire. Don't know what sound that was. It's getting like worse around here. Should I be worried about a storm blowing in or something? Can I go into the other side of this? Or would I have to, like, walk through the fucking... Okay, you know what? I have an idea. This thing's burning down anyway. Oh, I just dropped it automatically. I've got a lot. I'll burn another one to test this. They let me throw things. Can I set one of these off without being near it? There we go. That opens up exploration a little more. Watch the Before You Buy on this game. It only had good things to say. I'm going to say the controls are legitimately confusing. They're not bad, but just imagine, like, you need to use left button, right button, right trigger, sometimes left trigger. Hold and press are different constantly. Three of those buttons, right button, right trigger, and left button, really are, like, a, a very often you need to be ready to use them. So it takes a while to get used to, but otherwise, I have no qualms. I'm enjoying myself. Alright, that got us two hits of chemicals, but I need more. I need my health is bad. When did that happen? Was it radioactive inside there and I didn't notice? I'd love to get in here. You need to have a um, way to zap this thing, right? <laughs> Fix electrician's kit. Can I make an electrician's kit? If it takes chemicals, I'm skipping it. But if it doesn't, I could make an electrician's kit, I think. Oh, there's radioactivity here. It's worth it. Very worth it to get that. There's a shotgun. 
chalked tourists somewhere back here. Those don't look like chemicals I can pick up. I'm willing to let that go. Let's get away from the radioactivity in this area. Let's see if we can make an electrician's kit at the car. Grab this plasma before we go back, actually. Two plasmas for that. All right, car time. Um, it's just the one opening in the fence, is there? Free hugs. There's this symbol shows up a lot. Is that the artist symbol? Maybe the one on his chest there. That was on the bunny as well. No place is safe. Sheeple, wake up, sheeple. Is on the sheeple as well. That sign. What are you going after? That was weird. I did see one do that, something sort of like that before, though. It may have been coming after me that time. It was hard to say. Now. Can I craft an electrician's kit? I haven't unlocked that, have I? I unlocked a mechanics kit and a light. I don't have that yet. But we found out where to get chemicals. That's a big fucking deal. That is hugely important. Let's check the next area and then let's get the hell out of here after that. Why are you glowing every time you come back to the car? I'm just so happy about what I found. I found chemicals, kids. Glowing. Am I glowing? Wait, glowing, glowing. going on here. Oh, hey, this time we parked right by the entryway. That's a lot nicer. That's a lot handier. Wait, this is where they put chemicals. One chemicals. I will take it. We're really going to use our scrapper to the end here. That's alright, that's why I built it. Let's go looking for more chemicals. I picked up so much scrap. I There's no reason not to have more scrap. So if my scrapper breaks while I'm in a fight with a hopping hare, I will be a little bit upset at myself. For having grabbed access at the moment. A bit. Oops. <laughs> Automatically dropped it. Can I hold it in my left hand? Kind of seems like I'm only using one hand for the scrapper. Could be wrong about that, but it feels like I'm only using one hand for the scrapper. Which I also probably think contravenes the directions for the scrapper. But, you know. Lawyers, what are you gonna do? Wolves. Out here in the zone, sometimes you need your hand free, alright? stuff next that one will be fun copper wiring in that Arda crate what is that flare gun far better way to hurl flares into the world than by risking a strained arm or the embarrassment of poorly aimed throw I can make space for that absolutely I can easily Easily. 
no chemicals. Next. Oh, that's one of those pacemakers. I want to experiment with what you can put into them and how it might react, but I just, like, don't have enough materials to experiment right. I don't have a pry bar. Oh, my pry bar is broken. Hang on. I can make another pry bar. This is for the chems, okay? Have to go now, sadly. Maybe back later if the timing works. Someone else can have my car seat. How nappable is the car seat? Very. Dibs. Top quality. Nap time. Comes the complimentary seat belt. I should take these. Because I probably want to eat them sometime soon. Put the flare gun away. We're gonna have to start using side storage soon. I'm doing so well, we're gonna need side storage soon. Also, I came back for a pry bar and then I forgot about it. Also, didn't mean to throw my hand back away. Beautiful. Let's get into the radioactive one and see what awaits us. Let's heal first. Did I eat two or one? Two. Three, okay. That'll make me okay for a little while. What did I need this for? It wasn't even this one. I needed it for this one. Awesome. Alright, great. I think I hit up most of these. I think I'm ready to leave this area. And go see what we can make now. Though actually, we're exiting via road. We're going on to another map. We're not leaving. Oh, I just did a lot of work thinking we'd be... We're not leaving yet. I hope I have enough storage space for anything important, but also just like health and materials to keep going. My hood's in bad shape. Though I could make some repair putty now. In fact, that is a damn good idea. There is no reason not to repair just the hood really quickly and to have some repair putty on hand. Let's make two sets of repair putty. That leaves me with five chemicals, which ain't a lot, but it's way more than what we had. And fix this thing before it completely falls apart. Wait, where'd the second vac come from? Why do I have a second vac? Okay. We'll just put that in storage. Let's go. It's because, you know, like Fallout plus Firewatch vibes. I love it. Let's usually focused on chemicals. Should we tell mom the car needs chemicals? And we do what the car says. Smith, in a small community of survivors, what kind of community member do you think you'd end up being? I think I'd be the person who, I mean, like, you know, everyone's got to take their turns going out and risking it among the anomalies to bring back materials and stuff. I'd take my part. But I feel like, on average, I would, I would, I would be the guy. I'd want to be, certainly. And I think I could be good at just being the guy who just, you know... I'm just going to hang out and make the base better for people. Maintain things. A little bit of cleaning. A little bit of maintenance. A little bit of inventing. I could decorate. I could decorate really well, even at the end of days. If anyone's looking for that, for their 
post-apocalyptic commune. Night watch and first aid. We have some chips. No, I just got those electronics. Okay, just stick your hands out, and as we pass the floating rocks, grab onto them. They're full of minerals. Get it? No, seriously, you should have some food. Uh, there should be some tinned cans back there. Just open those up. Eat whatever's inside raw. Pineapples, meat, I don't care. Just eat whatever's inside the cans. But save the cans. We need the scrap metal from those. What the fuck was just glowing there? Something was just glowing in the middle of the road. There you are. What are you? Oh, it's just a piece of plastic. It's just glowing because materials glow. My bad. Thought it was something special. This will take us a vast majority of the way across the zone. At which point we'll be loading a new one, not going back to base. So that's exciting. Fuel and battery are still holding out great. Durability of the vehicle is the only thing that worries me. And we don't have a lot of storage space to pick up more if I'm supposed to, or if just there's a good opportunity to get a lot of stuff in whatever the next area is. car's health isn't too bad, but there's a red panel in there, obviously, and there's, like, multiple parts that are weak now, unreliable now. It feels on the verge of falling apart. pleasant vibes here at sunset. We just get to drive for a little while rather than avoid the anomalies and gather materials. Then this game's very, very pleasant. Here we are. Good job ducking down. The gate guards didn't even notice. Where are we headed to? Six hours on to the blistering woods in Arda site. It still has the junction conditions that it's like permanently stable. So it can't be that bad. Can't be that bad. It is night. Stabilizer artisite in the blistering woods. The woods Link. there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech in those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Link stabilizers Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. There's quite a large area marked on my map for each one. Do I have to search that that area for them? It's my turn to give you an explanation Fuck. about the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the Deep Zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. 
At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any mad mage source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10 mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Have any idea what they hallucinated? Is that all you're going to tell me? You were awful brief about that. A burst of widespread insanity. And they died. Okay. Oh, hello, you little thing. You running away from me? I would prefer it if you kept that up. Okay, I'm just going to keep moving. Close to mine. We're just inside the green area now. That's got to be it. Oh, shit, it's another one of these. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The car can't take another. Fuck off. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. We got to heal. We got to heal. Jesus, the whole back's electrified. Can I... can I... nope, it's just electrified forever. The front panels were especially bad, I recall. I thought the hood was really bad, too. Crude headlights nearly gone. Can I save them once they're into that? Oh, I can. Good, good, good. So Samantha's inside Hank? Given that Hank is a car? Yes. I'll pour water in the gas tank. No, he's where the problem, child. Banana in the tailpipe? Sugar in the gas tank? Is that the last of my repair putty? That was the very last of it. Um, does it say now that it gives some protection, or do I need even more? There's not gonna be chemicals here, is there? No, I can't go inside. So it's pretty limited what I'll find around here. It won't be chemicals. Interesting. Huh. Do I hear bollards rising and falling around here? Let's go back to what we were doing. We've got the armor back up into the first tick of green. Where's the uh, track we were traveling on? Oh, hey, did I just drive over the thing that exploded? Do they only do that once? I forgot that existed, and I think I just drove over it. I saw something looming there on the side, and I think that was it. That was A, a bit stupid of me, but B, so they only do that once? Good to know. Okay, how do you link a stabilizer? It's time to learn on the job. Rubber ducky will be of huge help linking the stabilizer. This one has a light inside of it. Judging by the... yep. Blue glow. Ah, oh, shit. Someone else got here first. Or it naturally blew up. Alright, the stabilizer then. done. It's just that You know, 30 simple. seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel sure when I was free-falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of Saturn sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were 
grasping and crawling. And, uh, and uh, what about you, Oppie? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But were you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? Okay. Wow. Touchy. I'm not sure what the fastest way around here is. I wish I'd done this one last now, looking at the ways we can escape this. Let's turn around to go down to this one. So I need... Yeah, this should be hard. Do need to find the road again. But I can manage. Should be a dirt track somewhere behind us. We can follow that where it junctions with the road for like a split second. And there join another dirt track. Oh, fuck. It's the first one though. Yeah, I'm still on the side of it. Is it over here? Ah. And that second dirt road will take us where we need to go. It's just a shock tourist, right? Now that we know right? the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination, maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. Don't start. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lim to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. Where did gamma rays come from? But out of space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You, you said it yourself. The energy levels are. from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Is more fun? Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb assisted mass. If I misplace something, I go to aliens. You should just live a more fantastical life, Oppie. Gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? Or a portal? A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis! Of course! Now why didn't I think of that? That's absolutely it! Aren't you teleporting me back to the base every time? Is a portal such a strange answer to a lot of what's going on around here? Teleportation is becoming almost regular for me. What if we're just hallucinations, Dad? <laughs> Don't I wish. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Raising a family is the greatest thing one can ever do. Sounds like Baldur's off to the right. We're already nearly at our second station. Three. Easy enough. Uh, hey, Oppie. You've never cared about any of the zone stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you. So, yes. It's our business now. Mm. How about this? You two sign off and count orbs or... Whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. It's a long and annoying way around to, to the last that, one. We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You wanna play that game? You just go slow you through this? Really wanna no. talk about our track records? Screw slow might be worse me. for the car. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Oh, forget it. 
We're wasting our breath with this old bat. There's got to be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look, if you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. I were better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. Need the right path. This really is my last chance. I wonder why she let them talk to me for so long. She already proved she can block out people talking with, to my, uh... Like, she, she selects what I can hear on my radio. I guess clearly emotion is getting the best of all of them. Okay, it's an annoying route to the last one, but we've already done the hardest part, I think. The annoying thing is, looking at where we're going to be pick, picking up the last uh, thing, there's no obvious gate escape I should take. Oh my god. Oh, hang the fuck on. I have no idea how you use this. It's in such a weird place, but... God damn it, why can't I? There we are. It's out. This is a fucking ramp that ends in a jump anomaly. Where does it go to? I don't think it goes anywhere in particular. Why is that here? If my car was in better shape, if I wasn't risking what is now very, by a long shot the longest mission we've been in, I'd be very tempted to go jump that. But it looks like it goes directly into the, the hillside. I don't see any reason for it. I wonder if they randomly spawn and that's just not a useful one. Hmm. Hey, Dad, I have a headache. Can you turn off the radio? Can I shut off Oppie talking to me? That's just for the music. That's not the communications radio. Only one way to find out. I'd even have to spend all my time going up, oh shit, into the fucking... Took a little damage there. So does it, is it inert now? Yeah, those do become inert afterwards. They become pretty fucking hurt afterwards. Shit. really feels like the car is on its last legs at the moment. And there's another airstrip anomaly across the road. Oh, hang on. If we're careful, we can miss it and the mannequin. Nope, never mind. If we're careful, we'll just get thrown off the fucking hill. Oh, trust me, I know. Game, I know what's happening. Where are we? God damn it. Is it better to go left or to go right and try going around again? Is that above or below? Can't make sense of the elevation map. Hmm. I think we go around again and we just get flung a second time, but I don't aim it over the edge of the hill. I guess. is going to end up eating a lot of durability, but I'm not sure what else to do. So, we just keep it aimed this way, and it helps us skip that rock. Oh god, I had so much more momentum that time. <laughs> the tourists there look like they're going, you made it, as they <laughs> came up in the headlights. Oh, so good to see you. What with the airstrip anomaly, people don't come visit anymore. Oh, can I get you something to drink? Just be careful not to brush my hand as I give it to you or I'll explode. What's up, Polly Owl? Happy Saturday, good to see you. At least our tires are still green. 
I have to imagine the tires are the most important part of the car. Unless the engine can become fucked, separate from everything else. Shit. Shit, come on. Alright, we got out of that one. Unless the engine can become fucked, and as far as I've seen, it can't. I feel like tires are going to be the most important thing. Uh, so the road curves to the right. Could you just pop me just a little bit? Not too hard, please. Thank you. That wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. How are we doing? Okay, it's time to start looking for the turn off to the right to go to the final stabilizer. Then presumably I have to get back out of the dirt road and find my way to... Why are there so many airstrips here? Find my way to a gate. Presumably. Vehicle protection compromised? Awesome. Just a delight. We're gonna keep going. Look at that red flashing armor icon in the middle of the dash. That thing is serious about the danger. What did I just hit? What am I driving through? Hello? Whole right side of the car is electrified now. By far the worst shape this car has been in. Okay. I just need to turn this on. There we are. And we can go home. And hopefully buy some upgrades. Make future runs better. Turn to the auto shop, get to the gateway. We do have to do an escape. Got it. All right. We're in business. Hello? What was that? Stabilizers are coming online, and the way looks clear, but I'm also getting spikes. The stability in your region is tanking. Get out of there. Fast. Okay. How do I link this gateway? Oh, it's just already linked? Alright. I gotta turn around, don't I? Wait, no, I can follow this this way around. What the fuck am I doing? They tell me to drive! Just fucking go. Alright. I cut across a hairpin and confused myself which way I was facing on this road, because basically I end up turning around accidentally. Uh, I have to drive into the storm for about 30 seconds, and then we can run away from it. That's a big concern with how fast it comes on. Come on, am I nearly there? I'm gonna meet the storm at this junction. I think we just have to go off-road and escape. I'm inside the storm. I'm inside the storm. I don't know which direction to go anymore. I didn't think this through carefully enough. Come on, there's a road around here somewhere, isn't there? There's the road. I'm at half health. What's that purple thing flying by on the radar or whatever? Shit, I forgot about these. Am I going to land on another one? Healing item, please. Oh god, there's a red zone closing in now. I'm near a uh, part where it cuts and breaks and... I'm going to have to cut through that. Yeah, of course you can't go through those. Those are impenetrable. Is there some place where the uh, thing ends? Yep, like that. Okay, am I still going the right way on this road? I am.
avoided it that time. You're right here? Yeah, that's correct. There's something purple ahead of me on the mini-map. On this road. We're definitely running into it. Uh... Uh, just give it a wide berth, whatever the fuck that is. Okay, onward. Past it. I still have food and stuff? I do. Still have some medical items. Come on. I'm winning the race, but I'm not really in excellent shape, and I don't like how uh, rugged the terrain around here is. That's why I'm still driving on roads. Come on. All right, let's off-road it now. That one was fucking nerve wracking. I only came out of that with 2.9 stable nice energy. Work out there. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. Jesus. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. The mid zone. That was the start. That that was the end of. That was. I mean, the car always looks like this, but oh my god. I need to be a lot better prepared. The northern lights at this time of year entirely localized inside your kitchen. Guess you'll have to tie yourself to the roof. I am going to be building a roof rack at some point in the near future, so, you know, conditions will improve. But yes, you probably will for the moment. Okay, let's transfer all these materials over using the handy dandy transfer trunk. First up, all the little things. All these little colorful items. Oh, and I guess the gears and just everything. And then I'll put back what I need to keep. Have you found the friendly dumpster the car. yet? Behind the shop. If you're ever in dire need, pay it a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. Don't worry, just give me these dumpster pearls. I've got things to do with them. Stop trying to go the dumpster pearl. Give me this tire as well. And what is this? Future stylings. Oh, cool. Let's go ahead and break down these pearls. That was stressful. I had faith in Dad and knew we would live. What's the lore so far? Well, this area has been shut off from the rest of the world for 30 years because experimentation with weird anomalous, like, like secret government experiments went on. God, it sounded like they were known about before that. I've been trying to figure out, by, what I, by which I mean just remember what they said, whether they were secret from the public or not. I'm going to assume they were. Oh, my headlines don't even work. That's why I'm not seeing them. I was getting in to make sure I shut them off after recharging the battery. A uh, point is that we came to view it from the outside, got somehow teleported inside. This car is a strange monstrous thing called a remnant which will take over our brain but working with it is the only chance we have of getting through the zone and possibly discovering something before we lose our mind dad's divorced and i speak in tongues also that let's diagnose a quirk while we're here before i forget so when when shifter not drive park what is it when the car moves backwards, 
the hood opens. In one? Got it in one. Fixes? Need a mechanics kit. Of course you will. Can I make a mechanics kit? Doesn't use any of my electronics or plastic, so sure. Let's fix that quirk. I think that's the only one we have right now. I think the car is behaving surprisingly well otherwise. Taken care of. What's the health look like? 19%. Yep. God, I need to make repair putty for the car. And I really, really don't want to spend chemicals on that. Of course I have to, but I really, really, really... Uh, can you give me a repair kit? Can you give me a repair putty friendly dumpster, please? Just give me some whole ass doors. That's quite nice. Whole bunch of panels. Okay. So, place this door, I guess. Right button to close, right, drop this. Let's take this door off. And drop it here. This panel's fucked, let's take this panel off. And drop it over here. There's no door here. This panel is quadruple fucked. I didn't know those could stack. Single fucked, not that bad, honestly. You're one of the only good ones. You're okay, you're okay. I mean, they need a lot of, like, repair putty, but they don't have problems. This has a problem, but it's the rear bumper. I'm not terribly worried. This does not have a problem. Both these headlights have problems, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure of that. And we gotta check on the tires. Let's feed all this stuff in. Actually, let's feed it in later. Let's move this out of the way so I don't accidentally somehow feed the transfer trunk in there. And let's look at these tires. You are fine. You're fine. You're fine. And you're not fine. You have a lot of health. You're not good. Bald. Wait, that's not the notification I thought I had. Hang on. Okay, I didn't get a warning with that one. Oh, th three out of four tires are in good condition. I see on the left now. Okay. Okay. Let's get the new doors and panels on and stuff. Let's repair, uh, recycle these first. Decal kit animal strip. Oh, where did I pick you up? Come here. Go in here for now. I don't even have panels. I wouldn't see it if I put it on now. I just went to close a door that doesn't exist. This is going great. Uh, drop this in there. Drop this in there. that needs a crude panel. What have I got? Crude panel. The right side was the really fucked up one, right? I think the panels on the left are actually still there. Wonder if it gave me everything I need? Do I need another panel? Or just some of it? Oh, front left I needed. Like, did it give me exactly the number of doors I need or just some number to help out? It's kind of looking like the exact number of things. 
I kind of love that. It's very kind of them. All right, so now everything's on. It's just a lot of it's in pretty rough condition. Did you give me? Oh, you gave me a headlight too. You only gave me one headlight, didn't you? Because technically, you only need the one. I'm definitely making another. Can I afford to right now? Uh, and I have a tire somewhere around here, don't I? Or is that the tire that's in awful condition? Oops, I need me to put that paint in here. Is that the tire I shouldn't be using? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hello! I didn't see you. Um. 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 I think I put the tire back here. No. Did I scrap the tire because it had a flat or something? I must have scrapped it. Fair enough, I trust myself. I scrapped it. It was right to scrap it. It scrapped. Oh hey, I have another uh, dumpster pearl. And some more paints. And another vacuum. It's good because mine's nearly broken. But I don't need that vacuum now. So let's store it somewhere else. Storage space at my garage seems a little bit hard to work around, which is odd. I would have thought that would only be when you're out tripping around. I kind of want an infinite storage here. Met an elder god, we had a pet rat. Muriel's arms are talking to them. Are not enough seatbelts. That's just Samantha, not the game. Poor Hank. One headlight. What are we, a wallflower song? What's up, Faircry? Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Hope you're well, friend. Drop by to see if YouTube chat is being as hilarious as Twitch chat. We got people lurking, which is fine. Happy to have lurkers. Uh, what was I doing? I was putting away paint on the paint shelf to make space. We're gonna go drop this in here for the rewards. Which are many and varied. Put any of them I can away over here. Jeez. Let's take the food out of here. Can I stack these plates? I can. Let's take Oh, we need a destailing station for some of these. Wait, what does that say? Hint, store in the fax machine. Hint, put in detailing shop to equip. Okay, so I need, I need new stuff, I get it. Stuff I got isn't good enough for you. I see. Some of this going here? Yeah, I got paint that goes in here. Uh, Food, I'm gonna drop a full stack of 10 there. And the last one can be stored over here, as can these for the moment. So now I'm down to holding just like what I would leave with. Though I don't have everything I would want to take with me in my car, currently in my car. I need a tire, I need a repair kit. Oh, I'm missing some panel or bumper still? Which one? What am I missing? Bumpers, oh, I can see the engine, that's a hint. And we need a panel for it. I need a panel, I need a tire, I need a repair kit. Let's see if we can make a better tire. Let's see if we can make a better panel. Crude panel, steel panel. A core piece of a car, just about to factory standard, dependably rigid, rigid reasonably resistant, perfectly passable, absolutely adequate. Takes me only 2.5, I can afford to spend that. Give me that blueprint. Now, can I get better tires? Summer tire. Health 175 compared to 125. Road rating double A. Off-road and water rating the same. I see. Would love to get this. Let's go ahead and unlock summer tire. One point five energy to unlock the next tire. 
Also, who knows what materials it would take to make. Large fuel can. Fuel hasn't been an issue yet. Fuel hasn't been a big issue yet. Huh. How's the game so far? I'm really enjoying it. It's slow moving, or at least I'm slow moving through it, but I'm having a very good time. A limb pulse emitter. This is not a pun. It's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro-organic entities to hold onto or harm the vehicle. Hmm. Interesting. Jump jacks. Jackhammer-like power will make your car airborne for a brief moment. We can get our car a jump. But be aware, this was not designed for consideration for either comfort or safety. Resource radar. This is the coverage. Take nearby resources and raw materials. The auto parker. Right arm getting tired. Rudimentary weight and motion sensors below the driver's seat will automatically engage and disengage the parking brake. Truly, this is the technology of the future. All right, this only cost me fabric and energy. Give me this blueprint. You make more lockers, I think, for the base. Are there base upgrades? What's this? Well, of course there are base upgrades. What do they look like? Garage. Here we are. Expanded locker. You're right. Cost some steel sheets. Outfitting station. Upgrading cars is one thing, but now it's time to spend a few of those own resources upgrading yourself. Go on, you deserve it. Detailing station. Store and install your vehicle's cosmetics in this dedicated beautification station. It seems to cost a lot. Matter regenerator. Use to repair car components stored in the station while you're out on a drive. Now that's fucking nice. Hmm. Can't do this yet, because I need a circuit board. Plasma, stuff like that. So the matter regenerator, I wonder if it would solve things that are like weak, you know? That have like cracked uh, debuffs on them, or if it only would repair their health while I'm out. Hmm. That's awesome, glad I catch the stream to be honest. Stream's your go-to comfort whenever you're having a rough day. Yeah, I'm happy that I help you out, it's wonderful to hear that. Hope today's not a rough day, and if it is, glad you could make it. Here to the stream, I mean. Well, I mean, I've been complaining. Let's go ahead and buy a new steel locker. And put that down. Oh, I get to decide where. Near the car is probably a good idea. Sure, right here. Excellent. Oh, hey, it looks like the chemical lockers. How big is it? Same size? Nice. Let's keep larger materials in here. Can I sort these? Close, assign quick slot, drop, transfer, equip, rearrange. I mean, I can sort them, but not automatically, so I'm not going to. But what I really wanted to know was just if I have... How many chemicals do I have? Six. I have exactly six. We're light on chemicals and that advanced material. We've got a ton of scrap now. The thermosap crystal, that's the other thing we're light on. We've got a ton of scrap now. Wish I had more rubber. Scrap electronics, rubber. What does it cost me to make a tire before I commit rubber to an unlock? What do my new tires cost me? Summer tires cost eight rubber a piece. Two scrap metal and a gear, which means they cost more than two scrap metal. Fair enough. I need one of them right now. Let's put that on the car. Need a panel as well. Let's make a nice new panel. Steel panel. Requires two steel sheets. Done. Oh, I'm making the steel sheets first. What's happening? Oh. Where's my steel panel? Wait, what am I doing? Error refined materials. I'm so confused. Oh, did I just make a bunch of them? Well, we'll store some of them then. I don't know how I got so confused there. It makes perfect sense now, but that's fine. That's fine. 
I've got a ton of scrap, and these will store just fine. This is fine. Rubber's represented by the duck. It's so cute. Exactly. Took me a little while to understand, but it's pretty great. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Um, the car now needs repair putty. Needs a second headlight. Let's make a second headlight. Uh, I feel like my headlights are fine. I don't need an upgrade on them right now. Make me a crude headlight, please. Thank you. I will install that here. Left headlight. Awesome. Now they match. So it's kind of an improvement over what was there before when you think about it. Kind of. Sort of. Uh, chemicals for repair putty are in short supply. Car is in awful shape. I wish there was a way to repair the car when it's just sitting here, but it's it's repair putty. That's what you do. Sort of the way, like, I wish you could do that, but for repairs. That might be asking for a little bit much, but it would be so, so nice. When I have so, so much trouble. Getting chemicals. Let's go now. Thanks for hanging out, Yudas. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever. You're called to really. Hope to see you later, friendo. A bit mixed, but mostly a good day. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. Fax machine. The frequency analyzer and extractor machine shouldn't be receiving anything. Is it even hooked up to phone lines? Oh, is that going to get me more plot? To have that? Give me the detailing station. Pop that down in the detailing station area. Give me the few things I need to put there. Hey, we got intersex pride and genderqueer pride, lesbian pride. We got a whole bunch of pride colors for unlocking the detail station. Nice. Uh, where did I put the other things that are supposed to go there? You, you're supposed to go there. How do I store things in here? Ah, right button to open. And I put in the record player? Good. Now what does this do? Take a message with you into the zone. I already read this. Install. Install. That hangs from the rear view mirror? Is that what it is? Oh, hey, I've never seen that one before. I mean, I've probably never seen a few of these before. Well, that's cool. Put the classic Pride Progress flag on. So what does that mean? Is that on a particular panel of the car? Oh, it's a sticker! That's awesome. And we have a record player hanging from our... Yep, we, do. we have a little record player hanging from it. Okay, I get it. I thought it was going to be something that lets you, like, control the music in a new way. No, it's literally just you, a little record player ornament. Can I have a seatbelt? I need to make the roof safer. Sorry, no. Need to save the fabric materials for unlocking blueprints. Just hold each other back there, all right? Why don't we put the extra steel panels on the car? I want to break down the ones I have first, and then as they break down, I'll replace them with better steel panels. We'll leave the crude panels for a little while longer. In fact, maybe I won't repair them. Maybe I'll just bring a few steel panels with us. And we'll uh, use them as we need. I already forgot where I put them. Are they all the way back here? How much, how much space do they take? They take up a bit of space. I'm going to take one of them with me. Okay, that's unlocked. What does a fax machine cost? Because I have something to go in that too. It costs a circuit board. Never mind. Um, this thing is six chemicals. I have to make repair, buddy. Can't do that. Turbo light engine. 
eight cylinder custom crafted powerhouse boasting a turbocharger, electronic multi point injection, improved compression ratios, and a stainless steel exhaust manifold. It only cost me fabric and energy to get the blueprint. Then we'll go see what it actually costs to make. It's a turbo light engine take. Show me engine parts. Shit. Is this already better than what I have? Do I have a carbureted engine or what? Ooh. It's a huge jump in horsepower. It's a significant jump in health. It is worse miles to the gallon. Okay. And I need gas cylinders, steel sheets, and I I need 40 more thermosap crystals. And I don't even know where to get those. Shit. Is the carbureted engine what I already have, or would that be an upgrade? Okay, I already have a carbureted engine. Fair enough. Extra car storage would be a good idea. I can put more side panels on. I can definitely put more side panels on. Circuit board is up next. Uh, sounds like there's a bunch of stuff that's gonna use circuit boards, so go ahead and give me that. And I'll know what I'm getting into. I imagine circuit board is just made of a bunch of electronics. I imagine that. Copper wire and electronics. We're gathering electronics pretty quickly. I don't know what the improved antenna really gets me. I don't have plasma for that either. Okay, okay. Anything else I want to get right now? Anything else? I don't have the energy to unlock that. I have exactly one energy remaining. Headlight. Upgraded headlights. Side floodlights. What the automobile world needs these days is more side-mounted floodlights. The practical application of such things may not yet be clear, but it looks like you may be about to find some. Relightable flare. May not be the best improvised flashlight. The oh my god, there's the flashlight. I've got a lot of flares. Let's get the side floodlights right now and see if I can put those on because I think I understand what they mean by side floodlights. The way I leave my car aimed with the headlights helping me sometimes, I think side floodlights just make that easier. What does it cost to make them? Bulbs, which I can make. Three, four, five. Side floodlights created. Do these go in one spot or all over? Oh, they probably need a rack to attach to, don't they? Okay, hang on. Right here. It's a rack cost. I thought it was going to be like an upgrade you put on and the entire car was suddenly covered in floodlights. Hmm. I've been watching this entire day and it's been great watching you play and relax. It's good to have you. Glad you're enjoying. Thanks so much for the time. Does this mention whether it needs to go on a side rack? Well, let's go ahead and make a side rack and find out. Where do you build a side rack? It's not side storage. That attaches to a rack. Limb pulse emitter takes some of the plasma and electronics. Okay. I bet I need a roof rack or something for that. Where, where is the side rack I unlocked? The fuck's going on? When I put the storage on the car, I needed to make that rack attached there, and then put the storage on the rack. Do I have to research more side racks to get more? Oh, I bet that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Crap. Alright, let's do a quick test to see if I understand what I even I made. So if I take this off. This is what you use side floodlights to go on these things? They do. We're not gonna have side floodlights then. We're gonna keep using flares. Shit. Alright. You, you go in here for now. Crap. 
I wanted to have, because I have so much scrap metal, I thought I could just make more. I wanted to have, like, one, two side racks, one, two side racks here, and then each one would have storage at the back, floodlights closer to the middle of the car. But I got over ambitious, thinking I had the materials for that. Oh well. I can make the limb pulse emitter. Let's go ahead and do that. I assume that needs a roof rack, but let's go ahead and make one and find out if I can attach it without anything else extra. Where does it go? Yeah, is it gonna go? Here. No, it's not. Where do you go? Do you replace a bumper? Maybe? Just because you're like long and thin that way? Is that what you do? You do. Interesting. Do you drain my energy? I wonder. I wish I'd researched that repair while you're away thing now. So just put a broken bumper in there, or nearly broken. Okay. So our front bumper should ward off organic or electro-organic things now, which I guess means the hairs and stuff? It'd be nice to have that on both sides. Sometimes they're chasing me. Maybe I should go in the back, I don't know. Oh fuck, this bumper is kind of fucked up too. Let's toss this in for scrap. And get back out the bumper that has no health, but doesn't have a problem to put on our vehicle. Well, if dad won't feed us, I'm gonna go make some KD. Bite it when he tries to take my seat. If cartoon taught me anything is that you have a good idea, you'll get a free bulb. Um, anything else I need before I go out on a just sort of like finding mission? We got to make that putty. We need to repair the car. We need to make a lot of putty. We really need to make repair putty. Two, four, six chemicals spent. Wisely, I'm afraid to say, but wisely. All right, crude bumper, you definitely get some. Crude door, you get some. You were just installed. Why'd you come in such a terrible condition? Crude door, crude door. We're gonna have to raise the bar. You only get healed if you're like half or below on that first bar. There's the first repair putty gone. Okay, we're up to like 90% now. I will take that. I absolutely take that. Good stuff. All right, let's put that away. Put the putty away in here. Take these flares out. Oh, so we sort of need everything. The only thing I've got a lot of is scrap and fabric. I guess I have a lot of plastic too, but mainly we need chemicals and electronics. Chemicals and electronics. Chemicals and electronics. And a lot of them. Scrapper is almost broke. Oh right, we were gonna trade them in. In fact, all three of my things are almost broke. I have another vac lying around, right? Give me that. I'm gonna go ahead and try trading this thing in here. What do I get for it? One plastic, one scrap metal. And to make a scrapper requires three scrap, six plastic. Depending on what you break with it, on average, it's probably a lot better to use it right until it breaks. Probably. Getting one more use out of it very, very often gives you more than that. Depends on what you break, of course, but very, very often will get you more than one in one. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I was just saying I needed an extra... 
Vac. I actually can't make a vacuum. But I can make another impact hammer. No, I can't. I need gears. Yes, I can. I have scrap metal. Okay. First aid kits are... Good idea. One, two, three, four of those. Thanks for being such an awesome streamer and content creator, Hydro. There is no stream that is more welcoming, warm, and wholesome. Keep unlocking. Fair Cry, thank you so much for the five euro super chat over on YouTube. I really appreciate that. I'm very, very glad you feel that way. I try. I'm not always sure I'm successful, but clearly it works out sometimes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I gotta make another scrapper. I didn't make another scrapper. Uh, and thank you for the support. So you're getting a third back? I think we think less. 100% <laughs> agree. You're far too kind. Um, My eyes are slightly crossing. Uh, what do I need here? Okay. Put this away. Put the extra vac and hammer here for now. Swap these two around just because it works better for my head. Actually, these two can go down here nicely. This pry bar is so annoying because I haven't found anything that's one tall. Um, Hank is raring to go. Absolutely raring to go. Make a scrapper. Excellent. Make that scrapper. Quick slot number one, please. Excellent. We bought, uh, we made repair putty. We fixed the car. Our inventory is only normal full. This is a little bit full because it's got a panel in it. This is, I, I've made one more med kit than I meant to, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Is there any better way to store these? I'm not trying to scrap them. I'm hitting the wrong button. Calm down. Can store a bit better if I do this. I'll take it. All right, let's figure out where we're going. Let's go get some materials. <sighs> Is that the eventual goal for the mid zone crossing? Um, let's try going over here first. This actually has junction conditions, perpetual stability, surprisingly. I thought that was just a thing they put in plot locations, and this doesn't look like it's a plot location. I'll take it, though. Always feels good to hang out on stream. Excellent. Full tank, full battery. Reasonable armor. Away we go. Good luck. Thank you. What I need to keep in mind for this entire run is that we're looking for those lab icons, the little satellite. Because those seem to be a reliable place to get chemicals. But what's, what's ideal is finding like three of them together the way we were able to last time. This is a weird map. It's got a lot of stuff on it though, and this little area. Okay. First thing should be coming up on the right in a little bit. It looks like it's lit. It also looks like this area is quite radioactive. I'm not going to light my flare just yet, but I have it ready if I need it. The okay, I'm lighting my flare. different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the Arctivise until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Oh, it's a heavyweight lock. I can't go in those. All right, that's a bust. Can 
kind of mark the start of that road. Can I zoom on this thing? Like us? The remnants are like us in a way. Those of us who chose to stay behind, we are as discarded and forgotten as they are. And by chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? There's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left? If even that. I mean, a hundred people in here? Were unable to move on for Why would you choose to stay here? Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now, there's no one to get in our way. Real quick, there's a storage container here. Seems like there is every... I forgot to turn, uh, put the brake on. Seems like there's a storage container at every one of these um, turnoffs. Honestly. I haven't figured out why. Hey, driver. Not to be a down or nothing, but uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. They got themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here like the rest of us. Or not. Won't be my problem at that point. I'd hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Ugh, look, hey, both of you always going on and on about putting up with this and sharing that. There's more to life than that, you know? You, for example, Arby, you're brilliant. You control fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. There we go. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. I want to oh, yeah, check I mean, what's in the car, though. To someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, borrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on when you Onward. should have given up long ago. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Look around. We're stuck here. For good. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you are, RP. An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. Been great watching. Gotta head out. Thanks for being an awesome streamer. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever. Hope you have a good one, friendo. That makes up for a couple of the flares we spent. I love that. Now, what's going on inside this facility? This looks almost like a scientific facility. I'm very hopeful. Oh, it's too big. It's too big to be an open one. I think this is just going to be locked up. No chemicals. But we did get a repeat of the decals. Is this the place I've been before? It's the same tile. And in fact, I think we had the same drive up. That's interesting. It's not the same map, though, because I've never been to this map. I think we just found our first clearly repeating tile. Okay, nothing that impressive so far. We just gotta work our way back down, then we'll go to the gas station. And across from the gas station, we can find ourselves our first energy. First things first, though. Where the fuck am I? How am I getting back? Am I faced the right way? Am I on the road? Here it is. There's that anomaly coming up, though. It might just be better to try and off-road it for a second down. A little bit steep. A little bit steep. But down to the main road again. Efficient. That's what it was. Efficient. Alright, that's the thing we want to gather. Which must mean that the gas station is right there. Let's park it at the gas station, loot that, go get the thing, and then get out of here. I've barely used anything, but of course I'm going to fill up whenever I have the chance. 
Game looks great, might have to pick it up. So far, I would say if you like a survival game, if you don't mind, you know, the repetition of that style of game and uh, the detail, you gotta remember you need this. You're looking for that. Um, I'm quite enjoying. Thing is, I usually don't like those games that much. But I'm quite liking this one. I think the style carries it a lot. Hey, a friendly dumpster. Can't carry that one. I'll put it in my hands for now. And then pop it all in storage. Dumpster pearl. Uh, give me that vacuum back. I need to look for an excuse to use that vacuum so I can stop carrying it. It's got any life left in it? Some. <gasps> Plasma as well. Good shit. You can't throw things while running. You can throw them while walking, but you can't throw them while running. Hello? Please don't. Oh, there's a lot of plasma around here. Does it aim for me, or does it just zap in a random direction, do you think? Fuck off. I think it's done zapping now because all the plasma's gone. I think that's how they work. I think. Almost makes me think of Valheim meets Stalker. Gotta go to sleep now, have a good rest of the stream. Still tied to the roof, so if someone could throw up a pillow, that'd be nice. Sleep well, sweet dreams up there on the cold, cold roof. If it starts to rain, we'll try and remember to towel you off. When we get back to the garage. I'm gonna raise the toughest kids. I forgot to empty my inventory. Put those away. In case I need to get out and do something quickly next time. Okay, what's next on the map? Research facilities. There's a bunch marked up. Okay, okay. This is the next important thing. I think we can just leave the car running. Gas has not been an issue yet. Preserving my battery by turning off the headlights seems probably wise, unless I'm using the headlights when I get out. Uh, but I think leaving the car running is gonna be generally okay for us. I think those were tourists off to the left. I didn't notice, and honestly, if I turn a little bit, are those red blinking eyes? Or am I just seeing a red light through the trees now and then? I'm just seeing a red light through the trees now and then, okay. Is that the research facility or something else? This is the research facility. Wrong thing. not radioactive yet. I thought it was radioactive anytime you got near one of those things. They tricked us. Chemicals, chemicals, please. Tons of flares stockpiled. Chemicals, chemicals, though, please. What is that? Here we go. Ah, just one. Just one. And there aren't even electronics in here to scrap, you know, computers and stuff to break down for the electronic components, copper wires. A little bit rough. Okay. 
Not 100% pleased with that. wonder what that light is. It's further away than I thought. I'm not going to go check. We'll leave that for now. I don't even have a relightable flare. It's a baby tardigrade. Okay, there should be a thing coming up and immediately to the right after that is... I wonder what this house with the X is. Research facilities and stuff down a dirt road right after that. Oh, oh, yeah, that's one of those, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of those, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's plasma here, too. I don't think I put the brakes in the car. It's not going anywhere. We're fine. We used up one of our tools. Give me back my impact hammer. Excellent. Let's throw one of these in so I can see what I'm doing. There's like three over there. This thing shouldn't stop zapping until I break all of these. So you know what? Let's break all of them before I start collecting them. That might be wisest. Shit. We good? Hey, I don't think I got hit once. I also don't think I got a plasma from that last one, even though it seemed to be working. A little unfair. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any plasma. Oh, hey, I've never scanned whatever this anomaly is. The spark tower. I think I just sort of figured out naturally what they did and didn't feel the need. I've already used up a lot of storage. I do have a couple extra tools in there ready to come out, though. Well, one extra tool. I've used up a lot of storage. there? No. It was my headlights hitting something. must have been. So we've got this, and then there's going to be a road somewhere off to the right coming up around here. There it is. Leave the car here at the road so I don't have to find it later. And we need the storage box at the turn off. This dresser. The last one was her fridge. So there are random storage containers at every turn in the road. I wonder if there's a gameplay design reason for that or a plot reason. They think it made the turn more noticeable if there was, because they kind of glow now and then, but like not a lot. They have just a little bit of a gray shimmer sometimes. Things you can open and get items out of. This looks like the one I already checked, but I know it's not. I'm gonna go fast too, because parts of this one are in a radiated area, and I'll lose significant health if I'm here very long. Some parts are fine. Actually, maybe I'm fine inside and it's irradiated outside. Free jumper cables? That's excellent. I'm back. Welcome back, Explodeberry. An extremely fun stream. I'm glad you're enjoying. It's taken me a long time to get the basics, but... Four chemicals? I'm enjoying this game more and more now that I'm moving sort of smoothly through looting and stuff. I will say, I feel like you have to stop the car very often, but maybe you're not intended to... Aw, shucks. Maybe you're not intended to loot 
quite as much as I am, or maybe you're tended to spend more of your time running around on foot while, you know, doing your looting. Otherwise, everything seems to be going pretty well now for me. Let's get in. I'm dying. We are going this way because there's some kind of like research facility at the end of it. That's what it looks like. We're hoping for more chemicals down this road. If I can find this road again, I just... There we are. Weaved off of it quite a bit to go around that tree. To be fair, I think we're following towards that giant red light in the sky. So, you know, how hard can it be to find? Holding right trigger. There we go. I'm having a lot of trouble lighting that thing. What's up, Rave Taco? Good to see you. Happy Saturday. How's your weekend starting? I hope you're having a good one. Oh, there we are. For a second, I thought there'd be no way into this thing. <laughs> Stop looking away before it's done, Hydro. Get that back. Get that back. I'm not getting that back, am I? What was that sound? Not sure. No worries. Two. happy with that. One is the only number of chemicals I'm unhappy with when I go through one of these places. How desperately I need them? Two is fine with me. What kind of game is this? It's basically a survival game. We're trying to undercover the story of what happened in this weird fucked up zone while keeping this car running on our self healed. We're out gathering materials right now, just sort of generally. Why can't I see a gas station ahead? Oh, I'm looking back towards the gas station I've been to. It's time to turn the fuck around. I'm already at the end. That was the research facility there. That trailer. Okay, my bad. We have used about a third of the battery already. That's okay. I think we might be doing a second zone after this. Actually, it sort of might be up to us. It might be able to choose depending on how well we're doing. There's not a lot more to do in this zone, though, so I think I'm comfy going on to another place. I think. I think, I think. All right. So there's going to be a house on the left after we complete this turn. There's a bunch of radioactive area. I say house. That also looks like a research facility. What about zero? Uh, what about zero chemicals? You know, it's a good point. That's probably happened the most. That's why we're trying to avoid even going to those houses. But one of these places had zero chemicals in it, and it's not this one. You're right. Zero is by far the most. This is a five chemical house. A uh, trailer. Whatever it is. Where'd my flare go? Ah, uh, whatever. Receiver. Let's get some electronics, too. Anything else in this corner that's like electrical I could break up? Oh, hello. I didn't see you before. I think that's all we're getting from here. Oh, I kicked it back there. That's where my flare went. I think I'm outside now. Car? Car? Car. Map? What do you got for me? Okay. There's two coming up 
there's a bunch of research facilities, and then we can go... This gate is locked. We can't go on? What do we do after that, then? There's no way to leave here. Oh my god, you can zoom. I just noticed that. Fuck me. Alright, well, there's two coming up along the road. Kind of looks... Fucking bad for my health out there, but... Okay. It is what it is. I did see the one. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm just going ahead to see the other one. It's right over there. Let's leave the car here on the road and go get them. I'm gonna leave the headlights going so I can find the car more quickly. This thing first. What am I carrying in my hands? Oh, my scrapper. Okay. It's time to lose some health. Only a little bit. Where's the car? Was that anomaly there before? Oh, fuck off, dude. Don't I have things to stop them doing that? I thought I installed a bumper that stopped you from doing that shit. Is that the third one? The game just crashed a desktop. Ooh, they are evil when they bring them at you. Do you know if you get three of those on your car at once, it crashes the game? I think it's programmed that way. That's unfortunate. Send error log and restart. God damn, dude. I imagine this has been saving every time we get back from a mission, but I've lost what I got on that mission. Certainly, right? Too many kids in the backseat? I have to have lost what I got on that mission. Right? Where's it going to load? Let me see that real quick. Mid-zone crossing, six hours in. That's the quest I'm on. That's the quest I'm on. Please tell me it saved when I left, so I don't have to do all of like the unlocking and repairing the vehicle and stuff. All that stuff I did. We're at the start of the mission, but the mission is randomized. Okay. Huh. Give me a second, Samantha. I need to get up and stretch my legs again. Grab a snack. Pet the cats. This is a good chance for you to use the bathroom. Refill your drink. Stretch your legs as well. I'll be back in just a minute. Or like five. Not long. Oh no, we're all back seating today. Cat cam. Here, one sec, let me set this up. I promise you... No, then people are going to hang around. I was about to say, I'll set it up because it appears and disappears automatically as I turn it on on my phone. So I could have it, so if I go out there and the cats are in a cute, you know, thing, or if they're not hiding under the couches, I can turn it on. It will pop up on stream and turn it off and it will disappear again. So I don't, you know, show you that I'm not wearing any pants while I, when I leave the cats to go grab uh, myself a drink or whatever. If I, pro if, if there's a possibility of that though, some people may stay when they should get up and stretch their legs and grab a drink. There will be more cat cam, maybe tonight, but no promises, but I'm not gonna set it up right now. Definitely go get a drink or something if you need to. The stream's been going on a while. Okay, I'll be back very shortly.
All right, I'm back. I made sure to get a pack of batteries for the game gear. Keep you damn kids quiet back there. Be sure to make it. Everyone needs a turn, okay? Pass it around. Nobody hog it. What's the survival aspect of the game? Zombies or monsters? Strange anomalies, which threaten both my health and the durability of the vehicle. So I need resources to repair it, make myself health kits and so on. Like those rolling things you saw come and crash me. But also some of them are just like an area covering part of the road where if I go through it, it will zap everything around me and stuff, you know? There's a big variety. I didn't even look at this map. All right, there's facilities coming up on the left. That's the first thing. Spilled your apple juice. You didn't spill it on the game gear, right? I'm relying on that to keep you guys the in check. The different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the Octavice until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Hey, it's like already lit, kind of. It's kind of a hard light to use, but there's already a light. Oh, is this one of the keypad locks? It is. Um, is this the kind you need an electrician's kit? And I don't know how to make an electrician's kit. We can't get in there. The remnants are like us in a way. Those of us who chose to stay behind, we are Seems as like discarded over here. and forgotten as they are. And by chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? <sighs> There's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left? If even that. Frankly, I'm surprised so many of us were unable to move on for one reason or another. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now there's no one to get in our way. I am loaded up with fabric in this game. And if you want to learn how to weave, I just got a large food item? Never seen that before. An MRE. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you flashing too? Alright. Let's get back to the car. Through all the dark woods I ran through blindly before. What the fuck just happened? Hey, driver, not to be a downer or nothing, but uh I'm wondering what we do if you can't. I think that was just game physics, that anomaly. This is a story mission, no it is not. Or not. Won't be my problem at that point. You know what? I get I pressure tubes from what these. We're doing here surviving. Both of you always going on and on about putting up with this, ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know. You, for example, Oppie, you're brilliant. You controlled fundamental forces. The pressure of tubes are worth it. With your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. Boy, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, burrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on when you should have given up long ago. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Why is the map different? So we crashed and reloaded, and apparently it hasn't generated the map by the time it gives you your save. So, we have a new map. It's off to my right here. Oh, that's probably the house thing we're coming around to. It looks like a house, but it's all trailers. The non-research facility trailer. The living quarters trailer. That's probably what I'm seeing the light through the trees of. Check this vehicle out as long as I'm here. I'll only be a second. Flares alone are almost worth that. Nice. Nice. So the maps are randomized? They are, yes. They actually give an in-universe explanation for why quite early on. It's, you know, the effects of the zone and all that. Do I want to go ahead first or want to go down here first? I think I want to go down here first. I think I want to go down here first. Okay. That should be a facility trailer. And then we'll continue on. Have I made it back to the trail? No. 
I've missed the trail. The trail's over, then we'll continue on this way. Let's go do that first. My flare. My sword and shield. The plasma, of course, or I would have seen it glowing. I'd love to get some plasma, too. Chemicals are most important, but I would love to get some plasma. Just seeing as I've used so much. A serviceable tube chemil uh, chemicals. Sorry, that was my own spit getting in my way of saying the word chemicals a second ago. I wolfed down some mini weeds. Just dry. For my dinner. Well, my snack. I'll have something substantial after stream, don't worry. And uh, <laughs> I guess because I ate them dry, they really make my mouth water now. Why do you do that to yourself? Mini weeds are tasty. They've got fiber. And sugar, and fiber, and sugar, and sugar. A little fiber. Okay, there should be another one of those trailers. And then I think at the end of this road will be what I want to get. It might be down below or something. I'm looking all the way. Okay, so for a sense of scale, that light over there is the gas station. So these are not big maps. You can see the gas station here. Interesting. Anyway, I'm beside what I want. Is there a way to manually save? Uh, you know, I hadn't even thought about it, so I don't know. I bet there's not really. Doesn't look like it. I think it just saves regularly. In fact, I'm pleasantly surprised it saved when I started this. And reloaded me here rather than back at the garage. My fear, as I said, was that it was about to load me at the garage and I would have none of like the upgrades and unlocks and repairs I'd done. And I would have to do them all again, which would just be inconvenient. one chemical trailer. At least we're getting electronics from it. A one chemical trailer. My god. Are the scientists in here even working? Only a little bit left in this flare. We gotta go check the other half of this place, don't we? Let's go all the way to the end while we still have some flare. I know, I know. You kids will say I've never had flare. Your dad was pretty cool once, okay? Don't ask me when. Don't ask for pictures. Just trust me on this one. Three bottles, one chemical. All right, where's the thing? There's the thing. So let's get the car set up and ready to pick that up and get the hell out of here. Actually, do I need to get the hell out of here? Do I just go straight onto the gas station? It's actually rather flat. We'd be missing. We'd be missing a research facility. We can't just go straight onto the gas station. We're gonna have to go back to the road. Oh come the fuck on, dude. That's gonna be a lot faster arriving than I feel like it is. All right, hang on. Get the car ready to go. I'm just going to get it right now and run back. It's a little bit of a run, but I think it'll be faster than positioning the car. Why do they go for the car instantly, you fuckers? Don't understand these things. Is that the radiation storm coming by? I would say it is. Give whatever fucking parts you dropped and let's get out of this if we can. Where am I on the map? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. This is not the storm. That's just new radiation. 
I'm not in the storm yet. Where did that come from? I've not seen that happen before, I don't think. Are we there yet? Lauren took your juice. Lauren, give the juice back. Lauren, I'm serious. Give the. What do you mean you already drank it? Lauren! You each get your own juice, kids. Oh my god. When I have fucking 50 children here, you know how hard it is to plan? When I give each of you a juice, you don't. No trading? There's no taking. Oh, the storm's coming. Everybody buckle up. God damn it. I, I, I need to come back to some of these places, I, but I have to keep moving to avoid the storm somehow. We have to go into the woods a little ways. I want to be on the edge of it, not somewhere in the middle. Please. What the hell is that? It's an old truck. How am I doing? It's coming right at me. I can't escape this fucking thing. Alright, Samantha, that's not going to be good. In fact, I should actually drive for the other side to make the time in it as short as possible, I think. I can maybe get out going back the way I came even faster. The way it's moving. I think that'll work. Okay, it's lifting me up off the ground just a little bit now, but we're almost out. And there we go. Let's go check out that place. Armor's not great. The armor on the car is not doing great. Shit, it's not even one of the ones I can get in. I don't know how to do that yet. I, I assume that's like a blowtorch or something to get into that. Rather a waste of a flare. There goes the storm, at least. Where's the car? Alright, we need to go here. I'm gonna ignore that. Then onto the gas station and everything. Got it. Let's turn this thing around. Dad, I don't like storm chasing. We're storm running away. There's a big difference. We didn't choose this. You drank three? Oh, you're worse than Susan. Also, what is that blinking thing up top? Oh, that might that's probably where we came from. I'm guessing that's where we came from. And we're right beside the facility I was looking for. I just noticed. I thought I'd recognize the blue glow of the plasma, but that got broken. Did, oh no, it's on the other side. For a second I thought maybe the storm had broken it. I don't know if that happens. Also, I should have put stuff away before coming in here. I'm going to put stuff away before going in there. I can barely see. Good. Good. Now I'll break up the flare and search this place. You know what this reminds me of? This is going to sound... Um, Maybe a bit like I'm insulting it, and I'm not. I'm enjoying the game. But just searching all this loot, getting fabric and scrap metal and stuff in similar areas, you know? It's it's the same, like, uh, trailers over and over. I feel like I'm playing a battle royale. I might also feel that way because I don't play battle royales, but... That's what it feels like. Okay, is that everything in here? I think it is. 
That was the only building in this setup? I think it was. I think it was. Straight on, I guess. Oh wait, no, that's an exit. I don't want to mark that. I'm, I'm, I'm not linking that. Straight on. Yeah, we got a few things to do ahead. I'm looking for a gas station on the right. The gas stations always have lights, so that should be easy to find. I haven't yet found a gas station that wasn't in working order, remarkably. I'm sure this is safe. It is. I think those are only dangerous if your car is compromised, because radiation I don't think hurts your car. I don't think it does. How far does this reach? Can I park the wrong way around and just like walk around and get it to fuel the way I need it to? Um, I, th I think those only hurt you. Yeah, if the... I never close the tailgate. If the armor on your car is too compromised. Rex Hydra, hey, usually a lurker, but happy to join Samantha in the back seat of the car tonight. Ariel Lama, thank you so much for the tier one resub in the three total months. It's wonderful to have you along for the ride. I hope you got your juice and that you have one of the seatbelts so you're safe. And happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Enjoy your ad free viewing, your Baxter emotes, etc., etc., etc. Inventory full. Better go put this away before we go inside and pick up perhaps a little more then. Dumpster pearls make me more excited than anything else. I love a dumpster pearl. That's I love a dumpster. I, that's I love a dumpster pearl, not I love a dumpster, comma, pearl. Though neither of them sounds great, really. Rocket Cola. Can't even take the one that's there. Is there anything in here? Is there even electronics to like break down or anything? Hello? Nothing outside I can see. Have those always been there? Yeah, probably. Door, desks, fridge. Dresser. I'm pretty set for fabric game. Pretty set for fabric, thank you. Not the best gas station I've been to. Not the best service I've received. Check that car while I'm here on foot. Maybe go see what's over there too. Should we get a little scrap metal while we're here? Do I pick up any scrap metal when I'm not destroying things? There's no natural scrap metal, is there? It's only when you break shit. Anomaly encounters number two. I'm nervous saying this because people will say it was whales or dolphins or something, but it, it isn't like that. This thing is like, like a kind of land submarine, sleek, thin, this dull light blue color that blends with the water. It looks metallic, but it bends like a worm. It used to stalk us out there, bumping the hull over and over, and then one night I saw it turn west, just under the water, barely disturbing the surface, and it shot away fast as a torpedo. It's out there somewhere. What a sea. Is that one of the things? I think it's one of the things. The... I forget what they're called. I think it's one of the things. No, we have a shark NATO. All right, I used up a lot of my uh, scrapper on that. I guess I could make another scrapper if I want to get even more stuff, but I took off a lot of the panels. Actually, maybe all. This side looks like it has no panels. This is actually a very good idea. It gave me free steel plate in there, I think. I think I got one free steel plate. I did. I think I got two free steel plates. I should do that more often. Now, where's the car? Other way. Alright, Hank, I got more for you. Num, 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 num. Eat that up, Hank. 
Eat your dinner, Hank. Good car. Good car. That is the place. Could drive a little further forward, though. Why would you let me link a gateway right beside myself? You don't usually let me do that. Which way am I aimed? Oh, there, here's the road. So if I go a little ways down the street, I should be closer, but I thought I was seeing something right there. What am I seeing? That's not the thing. What the fuck am I looking at there? Oh, it's the one I already did. It is a thing, but it's an empty one. Am I standing at where I think I am? I, I actually can't. The map's in the car, I can't tell. Seven hours streaming, you good, Hydro? My eyes have been feeling a bit dry. It's weird. I wonder if it's that's just been short on sleep this week. Otherwise, I'm enjoying myself, certainly. I'm doing well. Wrong button. There we go. Okay, on to a research trailer that should have some chemicals and another one of those things. It's actually just off the road here, so let's get out and do that. When I have off-road tires, maybe I'll, you know, off-road straight to the fucking thing. Fuel barrel. Oh! I've seen the cuz a couple times before, and I didn't assume they were fuel barrels. Maybe I should have marked it on the map there. Let's go do that. It looked really easy to just walk off the road and find it. Oh, there it is. Is that a lightning tower anomaly? Or something else? It's plasma. Sounds like something roaring over there. Arda walls are a tomb. This flare's got almost nothing left in it. I think we're gonna have to light a second one. Just for this one trailer. Yep. We should research that relightable flare, I'm thinking. Sounds surprisingly handy. Is that everything except for the core? I think it is. Which way is the car? It's got to be about 90 meters that way. Sure thing. Away we go. Ran straight into a tree. Anything chasing me? No, this one's safe. Oh, I wonder how they decide if you're going to be grabbed by some of those fucking... I didn't mean to throw that. I held the wrong trigger. How they decide if they're going to spawn some of those things on you or not. Can't sleep, so I'm back. Welcome back. Roof of the car in the middle of an anomaly zone isn't the best place for sleeping? No. The roof of the car is not the best place in the best of times for sleeping. In the anomaly zone, it's downright ill-advised. Anyway, good to have you back. Sorry you're having trouble sleeping. Should have a turn off up here. And a winding path up to a satellite facility. Yeah, I know how these paths go. Oh, this isn't gonna give me chemicals. Now that I've started on it, we should we're we're gonna do it, but this this is gonna be a repeat of that last tile. This is not gonna give me chemicals. It's gonna be a repeat of the tile I called out as the first time we saw a very clear repeat.
I gotta say, we got a lot more chemicals before the crash. This map has far fewer. But it's a new game, what you gonna do? It's a new game, what you gonna do? This is only going to have lootable stuff around the outside, I'm pretty certain, so I'm not going to bother lighting up a flare right now. Going to run around it real quick and loot this stuff. Can't go inside. Is there anything around the far side here? Doesn't look like it. Nothing's shimmering in the shadows. Okay, that's all we need from the place. That's all it's got for us. Next time we find plasma, I'm definitely breaking my impact hammer, which is good. It makes space for another one. Love the blood red glowing moon of very ambiance. Don't know anything about this game. What do you have to do? Uh, we have to maintain this car and upgrade it going through so it's like survival elements going through randomized maps. Um, and the eventual goal is to uncover what happened in this strange area full of dangerous anomalies that chase us down or just tear apart the area around them. So you do randomized maps that connect to each other. Um, eventually, at the end of a run, you do a all-out rush for a gateway that teleports you back to the garage and you take care of stuff. Looks terrifying. So, the most frightening thing this game has had so far, in my opinion, is one of the anomalies is a bunch of mannequins standing around in the middle of the street by the side of the road. It's creepy every single time I see them. I don't like them. And they're dangerous if you touch them. But, as far as I've seen, they don't chase you. Nothing like that. There are some things that will chase you, but they're a lot less freaky. It's been okay. It's not been a problem for me. But it's not, like, calm. Is this lightning tower of plasma? Or is it just its own thing? It has plasma. Good, I want the plasma. I need to back up for a second and equip my impact hammer. I need to get my second impact hammer, actually. Let's just grab this, load up the car, and then come grab the thing. Should I do that? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Let's grab this now. Just in case I get surprised and a storm comes along and I want to leave. Let's put this away. So I don't lose it. Good stuff. Anything follow me on that? No, they did not. Let me grab the second impact hammer. Perfect. Any of these panels totally fucked yet? No? I just noticed the steel panel was thinking about replacing it, but no, the panels are doing fine. Panels are doing fine. I think this game will hit you with a dumpster mimic. That, after it's been the friendly dumpster, would be horrendously mean. I kind of doubt it, but they've certainly set up the possibility of doing it effectively. All right, are you shut off now? Can I break my vacuum too? Start saving some more storage space, please. Oh my god, this vacuum just keeps going. It just keeps going. Let's get back in the car. Where's the car? If you haven't noticed, I can find the car in the dark because in the top left corner it tells me the direction of the car in the distance. I can't see any better than you. I'm just saving some road flares ever since I realized it tells me where the car is. Left in a restroom at Big Ben's gas station. Oh, I'd never notice. Got too many kids in the car. I would never notice. I think I think it's time to leave, and it looks like we have a pretty easy exit. We're going this way. I still could have started the car and got it turned around and stuff before starting that. 
What's going on? Did I not start it? What am I missing? We're going. We have to get over there now. We had one of these that was absolutely grueling, and I still made it. This one should be very easy as it's along the same road. Whoop. And the storm hasn't even started yet. But there will be a storm closing in on this map. And more anomalies to try and slow me down if I were to take longer to get here. We're going to be fine. Slide it on in there. You're not off-roading, i.e. slamming into trees and rocks and side rails. That's why the panels are fine. Or getting blasted. We got blasted a whole lot on the one before that mission. The one that took all the repairs afterwards. Are you learning a thing or two? My dear newbie, there's hope for you yet. Charge the battery. Refuel. And heal myself. The three basics taken care of. Now, what else does the car need? It's down to only 79%, so we lost like 12% there. It didn't have any quirks that I noticed. We don't need to worry about that. Um, did I pick up enough to buy any like really nice, important, helpful upgrades? Or the ones I really wanted? Or the upgrades I really wanted? I would say the rapidly closing radiation zone is more nerve wracking. I just love the car so much, you always knew where it was. Matter regenerator could be useful, but it takes all my fucking chemicals. I have seven, it takes six. We're not getting that yet. Um, I don't think we're buying anything else here. Fax machine, I need a circuit board. I could make a circuit board. It only requires 0.3 to unlock that. Energy, that is. Hmm. Athletic simulation station. Do you kids want a basketball hoop? Let's get the fax machine. So I need a circuit board. I've got tons of electronics for a circuit board, right? Um, it, it knows that I have things in my car, right? Yeah, material source, backpack, car, and garage. Right there. Good, good, good. Where is that beautiful circuit board? Uh, electronics is the only thing I'm a little low on there, and I certainly have enough. It, I've got plenty. We're fine. Relatable flares, yes. Good call. Probably should have done that before this, just in case this took too much energy, but I doubt it did. Okay. There is our fax machine. Which, from its description, is supposed to deliver us more plot, possibly. And I have, part of the reason I built that is I have one item to go in it already. I don't know where I put it. But I have one item that says you should put it in the fax machine already. Here we are, Anomaly Study 7. This is Bravo Company. We've encountered half a dozen campers by O'Neill Creek. They claim nobody stopped them entering. They, uh, also claim it's 1955. Over. I've button open inventory. Coffee, milk, cat food. Pi O2, LR CO3. Back. How do I check the fragment I put in? Huh? Transfer, equip, rearrange. Give me that for a second. Hang on. Hold in my hand. I'm holding it in my hand. My right button. No. I mean, this will just feed it into it, right? What did I unlock by putting that in there? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, now we have this thing to store those. Hmm. Relightable flares. Scrap metal, 9-volt battery, copper wire, and a road flare. 
Let's try this before we buy the flashlight. I want to see how good it is. I'm going to keep flares with me, though I can store them. Let's put these eight flares there. Relatable flare takes up a lot of space. So I'll immediately fill up the space with another vacuum. Yeah, okay. That's just the way it is. It takes up a lot of space. Fair enough. Fair enough. Improved antenna. I could make a circuit board for this. Allows this antenna to be activated multiple times before overheating. I don't know really what that means, but I think it has to do with traveling further. I'm honestly not sure. Matter regenerator is the one that takes too many chemicals. That takes chemicals. Expanded locker. I could make steel sheets, but I don't need that right now. Refining. I don't need to do that. Hand vac. I don't need a hand vac. It's quite a handy little thing, but I don't need a hand vac. I don't have the energy to... What? Oh, Oh, this takes unstable energy. That's why it has stable, unstable, and corrupt there, of course. Okay, sure. An electrician's kit. To get into those places I keep seeing that I can't get into. How hard is an electrician's kit to make? How expensive is it to get into those places? And they better be worth it, I'll tell you that. If I'm going to be making kits just to open doors. An electrician's kit can be made with tier 1, so I can make it in my car, and it's cheap. It's pretty cheap. Electronics are obviously somewhat dear. The rest aren't really, it seems. And it only needs one, two, and one. It's okay, okay, cool. Cool. Flare gun, crude flashlight. Better headlight, roof floodlights. Uh, we could get a second side rack, maybe? Trunk in the trunk. To add insult to injury, 250 years after winning their independence, Americans nationwide are enjoying bigger trunks than ever before. The trunk of one American car can easily fit six British vehicles. Extra large roof storage. Substantially increase your carrying capacity by simply securing a pat uh, patently illegal amount of objects to the roof of your vehicle. Following an follow an established tradition practiced by families across the Pacific Northwest. I need the advanced workbench. Unlock a roof rack. It's advanced workbench under the garage upgrades. Advanced antenna, rapid refill, parts lockers, pneumatic lockers, investigator module, advanced workbenches down past matter regenerator. Yeah, I need a lot of fucking chemicals. Jeez, man. Jeez, man. We'll eventually get four side racks, two roof racks. The roof racks are separate from the XL storage. That's interesting. Huh. Huh. Large fuel can is pretty cheap, but I also just don't need it. Lightning rod. Ever argue about whether Frankenstein was the doctor or the monster? Now you can argue about whether it's the mechanic or the vehicle. Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it straight to your battery. Okay. Have there been that many lightning strikes? My car's gotten struck by lightning a couple times, but only like during an... Um Anomalies that I could just avoid. And I would like to rather than go towards them for energy, I think. We'll get that eventually, but we could get the jump jacks. Or the auto parker. Ooh, minus one kilowatt to activate. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Ion shield. Oh, we need a seat rack. I don't have any kind of the racks we need. Seat racks are up here. Yeah, we can do another side rack. I can't do roof racks. All right, g give me another side rack. Let's go put it on the other side. We need this fantastic handling preserved, so of course, of course, we're gonna try and keep it balanced, right? Cool.
you take stable energy, but more of it. I wish I could see what later things took. They want me to go step by step. Of course they do. What are these? Oh, right, right, right. I already unlocked that. Corrupt energy and stable energy. I would love to make that nicer engine, but that was like way beyond my capabilities, right? Gas cylinder, steel sheet, thermostop. Yeah, we need a ton of thermostop crystals. That's what it was. And I don't even know where they come from. I bet they're from like some of the anomalies <clears throat> that I caught up, but I just saw one randomly like lying around after a fight. I didn't, I have no idea where it actually came from. Um, 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 um let's do a test of the. Side floodlights this time around. I'm just gonna drop them on here. Uh, uh, equip. Because we don't, I don't think we need more storage. And see how they affect the battery, how much light they actually give off. We've got side floodlights now. What are they all saying to do? What kind of shape is the car in? Let's visit the friendly dumpster before I forget to do that. She's got to do that every time. On board sticker. Thanks. Do we use that over here? Baby on board, he's the driver. God help us all. Hilarious. Just hilarious. Um, there was a way to bring up like a report on my car. Was it scanning it? That gives me some of the doors and stuff. Okay. Rear right door definitely needs repair, buddy. If I scan this, will I get a readout of all the panels? Rear left panel needs putty. The rest, I wish, like, I wish, you know, the average was higher. Well, the average isn't bad, but I wish a few of them were higher so I could... I want something I should clearly repair and some I can clearly leave. Not a bunch right on the edge. You get what I'm saying? That's really annoying. Car's in pretty excellent shape. We're back up to 86%. I might leave it at 86 rather than get it back up to the 90 I've generally been traveling with. Put that back, and let's clear all this stuff out. What was that? Oh, a dumpster pearl, right. We've got a dumpster pearl to break up. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's do it now. I'll put some stuff away and come back and see what was in it. Break! Will you vacuum cleaner? Break! This is absurd. Got 10 steel panels now? Got a lot of steel fucking panels out of that. Hell yes. Okay, give me some more of this stuff. Uh, I'll take the big food, all the materials, of course. That. I would love to take the flare gun, but I can't. That's just the way of the world. Some of these go over here or on the paint thing? They go on the paint thing. Actually, I should have made enough room for me to pick you up, right? You flare gun. You come up here with me. You come with me. Is this what I usually leave in here? I guess there's one more med kit than usual. It's fine. It's fine. weird door. I do really wish I could close this door for some reason. I think it's when it's raining it bothers me. I don't mind it right now, but I really wish I could close it. It affects nothing in the game, but I would just feel better if I could close that door 
when I'm in here working, you know, on a rainy night. It would make a real big difference in my satisfaction somehow. All right, car's in good shape. We brought back a bunch of materials. We need still more. We just go out for general exploration again, I think. I think, I think, I think. My scrapper's doing okay. I can make another out there if I have to. Impact hammer is great. Did I have another scrapper? This was the second scrapper, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This was the second scrapper. Let's go for it. Let's plot a route. Okay, that's all delightfully anomalous. If you go further out this way, it has two junction conditions. That's cool. Can I see what they are by spending these two? Oh, is that what I'm doing? I'm scanning? Hang on. I thought I was setting a route then following the route, but you have to reselect it when you drive out the gate. Maybe what I'm doing right now is spending scanning charges. Though it does highlight the road. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever. Let's see. We just did Junction G8. We could go to G7. Blistering Woods, Damp Forest, Blistering Woods, Blistering Woods. Kind of on the edge of this thing, but it's not in it. So I don't think that matters. Um, What do those symbols mean? Gas, low, crashed cars maybe, low? The two yellow readings over on the right. Houses, high? What's the last one? Crafting materials, high? Is there any way to tell if I'm likely to get a lot of chemicals somewhere? Let's go to, let's, let's take a quick look at some place I've been before. Does that say crafting materials none? I don't get a lot of info for these either, it seems. Whatever, I'm gonna scan this one. Anchor obfuscation and overcharged electricity. Huh. Interesting. There are happy hairs, sizzling mist left, right. There's a stable anchor. Honestly, it doesn't look super worth it. But I kind of want to learn what anchor obfuscation means. I can't just read here, can I? I think we're going to go there. <clears throat> I think we're going to go there, even if it's a bad plan. Well, nothing left to do but to drive. Let's have a big, dr big drink before we go out on the road. <laughs> That's always wise. By the way, for anyone who did not hear earlier, we have an Armored Core stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You're welcome to submit Armored Core builds, and I will uh, try them out on stream. They can be good, they can be bad, I don't care, I will try them. Just submit them in the Discord. There is a thread in general, which you can find by going to the general chat channel and clicking either the threads icon, which looks like a spool of thread, or the pinned messages, and finding the first message of the thread pinned among those. And if you're on PC, you can just give me your share ID. If you're on console, you do need to give a parts list because unfortunately share IDs are not cross-platform, which is pretty BS. And then this coming week, we'll be resuming Baldur's Gate 3 on Tuesday and we'll talk more about further days when we get close to them. We're in at National Lampoon's jokes and fell asleep. Are we there yet? We have a handle on how to play the game better. We are not there yet, but we're doing a lot better work with each trip. At the moment, we're doing general exploration because our next story mission is to go into the wall and move to the next zone. And they warned me beforehand, I should upgrade my vehicle a bit before going. We've only just started upgrading the vehicle, really. All right, so I need to go here first. Hell, I just built a relightable flare. Not even a flashlight. So we're doing some extra work to try and prepare ourselves better. Okay. Where am I going? Where did I come in? We just gotta drive for a while, and then when we reach the junction, there will be something on our right. Okay. We just gotta drive for a bit. I don't mind that. 
What's up, G-Rizzle? We doing some kind of event for Shadow of the Aired Tree, like a Hot Deli cosplay? I am so looking forward to the game, but no, I doubt we're doing a Hot Deli cosplay. I do have a couple special events. I wish I had more focus and time to plan them, because I could tell you about them. They're, honestly, some of the ideas are not that far off. There will be some event streams coming up before long, Samantha. Some of them you're going to love. Some of them will make you groan. But I'm excited about all of them. Where's that car I saw? There it is. What you got? A little scrap metal and stuff. Eh, nothing else. Um, it's a bit early for me to load up on that. Let's just keep going. Oh, the car was already running. Hat Deli? Is Solium Infernum on your radar? Delightful strategy game set in hell? Uh, could be fun to play with viewers. Um, I feel like I've heard the name. I hear the names of a lot of games since Tino does the notable new releases. And so I see them in his stream and stuff. So maybe that's why I know it, but I can't think of anything about it. I, so, I guess no, it's not really on my radar, even if I've heard of it before. What kind of game? Is it like Tactics or RTS or is it something else? Is this the junction? This is, which means the house is somewhere over there. Let's park the car here for a sec. Let's park the car facing a different direction, actually. Ready to go in a different direction. I'm at the junction, right? Yeah, so off the right side of the car, there should be... There, I can see the silhouette of it. Anything here? No, there's not even a trunk panel left. This thing is fucked. Okay. Have I ever scanned one of these? Is that why it keeps telling me? Oh, I, yeah, I have. A, I just have a log entry. All right, feeling after the last Baldur's Gate 3 session, realize I've missed any time you might have talked about it, or are we ignoring the matter until you actually have to face it? I think I have an idea of how I want to deal with it. I think it's going to really worry people. But I hope people will trust me enough to see how it plays out. But even I have not quite made a final decision. About how I'll handle that. You're going to wait to stream the DLC? Yes, I'm not sure how long. I'm very excited. It might be hard to wait more than like a week. But I'm thinking maybe a month or two months. We'll see what happens. It kind of depends on the other games I'm playing at the time. You know? I, 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 as excited as I am, I can push it off like a week if it'll take me just a few more streams to beat what I'm playing. This is an example. Nothing. Where's the car? That red haze. Um. It, it won't be a launch day though. I wait so all the hard fights get nerfed down a bit. Look, it works real well, all right? Back, don't know where I was, but it was weird. Hey, same. I do not want to travel down this road. I see a lot more there. That's okay though. This road didn't have anything down it, right? It's a very weird map. Oh, it does have some shit down it. Okay. We're gonna go left first though. This looks pretty level. I wonder if I can go this way and get both the things without a lot of problems. We might leave that one. No, you know what? I'm already here. Let's do that one first. Fuck it. I'm getting everything. We're going here. I'm just going to have to do a little bit of off-roading for it. To avoid those vents in the uh, left-right. Oh god, the left-right sometimes feels like it's swirling right around me. Another vent. Some kind of giant fucking pipe thing here. A bunch of pipes. I wonder if there's anything at that point. Is it just here to give you the idea that there's lots of machinery under the ground? Or does it signify you might be able to get something? Okay. It's just here for atmosphere. I accept this. Couldn't figure out how to turn it off real quick, and so I accidentally threw it searching for the button. <laughs> Uh, the relightable flare doesn't have a lot of life to it. I think I like it though. How much did it cost me? It was like electronics, wasn't it? That might be a bit expensive. But it's not bad. It's done the job of like three flares already and I've only used about a, what, like 20% of its uh, durability, right? 
There's an abductor. I think we stop going forward with the car. Do we? Oh, come on. Here, cruel motherfucker, leave me alone. It's got me. You're a dickhead. I had fucked up one of the panels. We can replace that with steel now. There's what we're looking for. There's the goal. And a whole bunch of lightning. Okay. Let's leave the car running. Take care of some of the side business first. I do not have the space to pick up much. Um, what shape is that panel in? It's this one, right? Yeah, it can go a little longer. We don't need to replace it yet. I need my hammer. We're ready. Good. Can I break my vacuum cleaner too? No, I cannot somehow. That thing's incredible. Did I drop the flare? Did I just automatically drop it? Because I'm so used to doing that. Did I put it away? There you are, you fucker. My bad. What's the danger? Oh, I didn't realize I was in a um, irradiated area. Only it's it's only lightly irradiated, so we're fine. But I probably need to be more aware of that. Do I hear something gripping the vehicle? Or coming this way? Can't tell, let's just keep moving. If you could help me pass these trees, I would appreciate. I don't think you can help me. Also, we may have a quirk that's turning on the wipers. We do. What is it? It's turning the wipers on. Is it turning to the right? If I turn to the left, if I turn full left, nothing. If I turn full right, nothing. Is it going fast? Is it getting up to a certain speed that does that? Keep your eyes peeled for when the wipers turn on. Gotta diagnose these problems. Uh, there's the material. Let's take the car right on over to it. What happened there? Is it just going from a dead stop? No. That time it happened while I was accelerating and turning from right to left. Every other time it feels like it's happened when I'm turning. What the fuck is causing it? I think. Wait, maybe it's when I let off the gas. I have no idea. Cannot tell you. They designed that aspect well. It's already frustrating me. Feels like having an old beat up car. We're in a rough area, are we? Well, I need plasma. And I have healing kits, so I will go ahead and accept this danger. Is that the only one? It is. Broke that thing finally. Back to the car.
pretty much straight ahead bearing left to get the next one. There we go, it's almost straight ahead of me now. In fact, that might be the glow of the building right there, that yellow through the uh, trees and brush. Where's the road around here? Was it like right in front of me? Let's go ahead and leave the car on the road in case I need to leave quickly. Wipers didn't start at all that time. Hmm. Odd. Odd. Turning from a dead stop? Maybe. I could do some testing. You don't come all the way over here, do you? Good. This is a long drive? It is. We're getting longer and longer with our drives because we're getting more and more. Soltium Infernum is a hex-based strategy game, a bit like Civilization, but your arch fiends vying for the throne of hell, commanding legions of fiends, robbing, insulting, and uh, blowing up campaigns. Does it happen on the same sort of scale as Civ? And I both mean like, do your units, a unit represents an army, and a hex represents miles. And does it take as long as Civ? Or, are you not sure? Because I just remembered we're talking about a game that like just came out, right? Can I drop this thing while it's lit? Yeah, it's not as good as a normal flare, but I can. There was something else to break here, wasn't there? Radio. That's mad, but it can't get to me, so we're fine. It'll calm down eventually, like then. Of course, it's going over to the car now. I don't love. You're a dickhead. I just made that. I just made that! You can't grab it through. It dropped it in an anomaly. In an anomaly. It dropped in an anomaly. In an anomaly. God damn it. What game? Solium Infernum? Solium Infernum. Can I even see it? Did it roll downhill? I think that thing's gone. I obviously don't want to get too close to the anomaly. I'm walking on the edge of it as it is. As long as I'm over here, I'll just unlock this thing. Some flares to make up for the one I lost. Yeah, I can't see it anywhere. Oh, whoa! Good shit. Let's get the core and leave. You have health kits? I do. Basically pull the Biv brother move, big brother move by getting your toy and putting it on the top shelf. All right, he's backing off. I'm stuck on something. Vents are opening up around us. Is there any under the car? I think we got a bit lucky. Hang on, get in the car before it grabs me. Or the car. It just lifted the car up. Oh god, is the storm closing in? Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, this way. So I need to back up. Go this direction on the road. I may be able to get the last core, but I'm not certain. I can't turn off my fucking lights. Or lights, uh, wait, wipers. I did turn off my wipers. So I can, I was also lying. Look, it's a slightly stressful situation, forgive me. Did I see something about recentering your vision in here, by the way? Because I feel like I could use that. Where is it? Driver's camera auto recentering. Recenter the camera to look forward while driving. Turn the camera in the direction of the car's travel. I have those on? Doesn't feel like that ever happens. It's not happening. Oh, there we go. It just takes a while. All right, cool. We're going to be spending a while diagnosing that fucking wiper problem. 
after this trip, let me tell you. It's gonna take some time. So I did see, like, two articles about the quirk system, and I didn't read them, but the headlines sounded like they were like, oh, people hate the quirk system in this game. People have trouble. Here's tips for figuring out the quirk system in this game. Error and stuff? I think that was the left-right grabbing me. I don't think that was a quirk. Uh, anyway, people talk about the quirk system and sort of being down on it. I gotta say, so far I really like it. Having to pay attention while doing all this to what happened, why it fucked me up, what is that? Is that one of the unstable ones? Can I get that? Is this safe? Anomaly. Oh, it's an anomaly. Glittering boulder. Hey, this is Xana. I'm totally going so fast right now. It's happening again. Just have collecting some data for the weather stations. No, no, there are these things out here that help. If you touch them, they, oh no. Look, I'm an engineer, physicist, a meteorologist. My guess these things are discharging huge amounts of energy. So they're bombs, Never mind. We don't take those and put them in the car. Onward before the storm gets here. We still have time, but onward. Let's go this way around. Pardon? The hell just damaged me. Quick check in here. Do they have an outhouse indoors? Is that what I'm looking at out of the corner of my eye? It is. What a place. Okay, I didn't find a lot here, but we're gonna move on. We're on a slow clock, but a clock now. Oh my god, and the whole fucking thing is fucked now. This car is not in good shape. Shit, that's worth stopping for. <laughs> I didn't see that. Sometimes has weird stuff in it. Like gears and refined materials like that, which are real nice. Wood paneling. What's the important thing? The important thing is that coming up, there's going to be a... A core to get. That's the important thing that I don't miss. Should be off to the right about now. I can see it right there. What's that? That's another pneumatic tunnel thing. I'll go ahead and grab that. It's also plasma. Shit, they want to give you everything here. Alright, let's back up a little bit so this doesn't get zapped by the plasma. Let's park it, turn stuff off, and go get these items. That will serve to make it easier to get back here. The lightning tower. So we'll do that like last. I do have this, right? Yeah. Give this a quick thing over there. What's usually over there? What do I usually have in that slot that I don't have right now? Quick check of the little building. Is this door just open? Is that even a door? Is there a door in here? I don't think I'm allowed to get in here. Wait, there's stuff in here. What's going on? Oh, how did I miss you? Oh, it's usually a pry bar. I broke my pry bar though. Never mind then. We'll get that later. Let's go do this in the lightning tower, Get uh, make a pry bar and get back in the car. those energies. There's a new anomaly right around me. I just gotta drive forward a little bit to not be in the left-right anomaly. Now I need to break this before it destroys my car. I know. I parked a little close. I'm sorry. 
It's okay, I need to replace all those panels in time anyway. Fuck me. Why is the impact hammer so slow? Keep in mind, we're going to another map. We're not leaving. We might have to make those steel panel replacements like on the way. Jeez. How's that storm doing? Eh, it's still there. I think we leave this map now. I think we head to the exit. Toot sweet. We can deal with this at the start of the next map. Love to see you play Disco Elysium. I think it's humor and your personality makes some great streams. I'm very interested in Disco Elysium. No idea when I'll get around to playing it, but very interested, certainly. Okay, this, this is the area we did the entire trip for, to go explore this. And we're arriving in horrendous shape. Just awful shape. Okay, extreme conditions, anchor obfuscation, and overcharged electricity. Cool. Panels pretty much have it. Front left, front right, and rear right panel. The hood panel's kind of fucked too. Okay. Uh, can I make a second? I need. Do I need a tier two to make another? I do. I do. All right. Which one of you is the worst? Front right panel is by far the worst. Come here. Do the new front right panel. Front right. Yeah, that thing's fucked. Can I take that out without hurting myself? No, I cannot. Awesome. It's good to use a med kit real quick. Everything else gets some putty. Disco Elysium is amazing. I think your stream of it would be a riot. The shorts of the Disco Elysium stream would be elite. Did you hear recently that um, they canceled plans for, what was it? The sequel? Which honestly, but before you feel too bad, is probably for the best because uh, as I'm sure many of you are aware, there was a lot of like, it seems like disagreements and arguments possibly on the inside. And uh, I think the last writer, the last person we know of who worked on the first game, left recently. So like, who knows if another one would have reached anything like the heights everyone talks about the first reaching. But it is a little bit sad. It's it's sort of the final nail in the coffin from what I've been reading about them. Um, I can't make anything new. I don't have any chemicals. I don't have any chemicals. So that's the condition the car is in now. That's the condition we travel in. We got a lot of problems. Okay, so what am I doing here? Oh, obfuscation means I can barely see where they are. Got it. Got it. At least we can save some battery by not turning on our lights out here. Creators got pushed out by the execs. Yeah, sequels are never better than the originals. What about Toy Story 2? What game sequels are better than their originals? Call of Duty 2 is better than Call of Duty 1, right? Going all the way back to the old ones. I feel like I heard so much more about Call of Duty 2 than I ever heard about the first game in the series. But I've not played either myself, so I can't... I got fooled. I thought that was a house I was seeing out there. Shrek 2 is better than Shrek 1. Fallout 3. Oh, there is something out there. It should be just off the left side of the car somewhere. Should be, like, right here. Am I walking through an anomaly? What did I just see? There's what I thought I saw, because I did see, because it is there. What have you got for me? 
Broken plasma thing. Oh, I forgot to make a pry bar again. This is why the storms come before I leave these maps. Things like this. Witcher 2 is better than the first? It's not great, in my opinion, but you are right. That does fit the bill. But there's like a radioactive zone like right here. That's what I'm hearing. But I can only see it. I think it's up in the air. And that plant is, that, that sapling is sticking just barely up into it. We need chemicals, Mr. White. We need chemicals, bitch. You like the second Witcher? I'm just not generally a fan of the Witcher games from what I've played of them. But I do think The Witcher 2 is better than 1. And 3 seems leagues ahead of both. But I played like a day or two of each and quit each. It's for a very weird reason. I don't, like, I can see why people love those games. I have a couple complaints. Like, I do wish combat was a little different. From what I've heard, they made, they patched Witcher 3 with um, a bunch of stuff that made the combat more like what I was hoping for. But at the end of the day, one of the big issues that will not change is I don't really transform rubber into gas cylinder. That sounds worth it. But I got rubber back. What are you talking about? Is that two to five? I don't know how to use you and I don't have a lot of rubber. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, all I was going to say is that, can I get this out and turn it off? I don't like Geralt. Or at least I don't want to be Geralt because it means Geralt is there in every conversation. And Geralt's just too cool. I don't like cool characters. Half-Life 2, golden golden example. Sekiro is the best souls. I think a lot of people desire sequels and I'm perfectly happy with a one and done experience. Yeah, I, there are many times I've been happy to get a sequel, many times I've wanted a sequel, but as a general rule, even when I want a sequel, I will say, as a general, that's a new thing, rule. I like it mainly when creators go on to give me all new things. Even more than I like DLC, generally. If you made a game I loved. Well, there are some caveats to that. If it's like a single player experience. If it's like, you know, uh, I don't know. We were talking about Civ earlier. Civilization, I'm very happy to get DLC for Civilization in games like that. Oops, didn't mean to put that away. You go here, you go here, you can go away for now. All right, what do we got around here? I already pried you open and got the stuff out of here, didn't I? Yep. Got some of these lights that give gas cylinders, pressurized canisters, whatever it is. Pressurized cartridges, that's what it's called. We have some electronics from these. We're gonna need a new scrapper very soon. But Geralt adds so much to conversation. Geralt is a very cool character, but it's just people tell him these sob stories or these horrifying things, these shocking things. And it makes perfect sense. He's a witcher. He's seen the wildest things in the world. This is his everyday business. And his emotions have been chemically suppressed. So it all makes perfect sense. But I just hate how he just goes like, well, that sounds like a tough day at the... Shut the fuck up, guy. Be affected sometimes. It's a very stupid personal critique. I don't mean that as any sort of they should change The Witcher 3. That's just why The Witcher games are hard for me to get on board with. We've returned. What's up, Bear with Mug? How's the road trip going? Any free car seats? Uh, I'm sure there's a lap going. Otherwise, the seats have been full, as you're aware, but it's good to have you back. That looks delightful. Is that the anomaly I'm used to seeing, or is that a new version? That's a new thing. 
Minutemen. I was gonna say, they're in like a line and they're not just coming up for a big explosion like usual. Oh god, there's a left right over around there. I'll just hang on to the roof. Fair enough. He kills monsters and he gets the ladies. What else do you want? Emotion? Sometimes. Can I get into this place? I mean, not like safely. I don't think it's worth worrying about this anymore. But what's over here? What is happening to me? Is what's painted on the side of that building. Not just asking. Oh, there's an anomaly like right under this or something. And I'm in danger of uh, radiation. Let's leave. I swear that's moving very, very slowly, and I don't think they're supposed to. That wasn't there before. Oh my god, they move, they move, they walk. Let me just go scan this anomaly. I think this might have been what was under the floor. Spike puddle. Well, they name them how they see them, I guess. Makes sense. I have the parts to build another scrapper if I need to, by the way. I do. Good. Let's move on. Let's, um, let's, let's break this up and then move on. I don't think the Minutemen are wandering towards my vehicle, so I'm willing to stay here and get some electronics out of this stack of equipment. You know, I said I probably wouldn't make any more, um, Vacuums? I mean, I, I can't right now. I'd have to unlock the thing, but I wasn't going to make it a priority. I actually kind of miss it right now. These times where I break up three or four things, it's pretty nice to have. Minutemen, it's the name of those, like, electrical anomaly that was right here a second ago that was, there it is in the distance, that was walking sort of along. The lightning was stretching along the ground, and then a new one would raise, and it would, the chain would continue. Those are called Minutemen. Or minute men. I'm not sure how they want me to pronounce it. How's the gas? Why can't I see the gas? How's the gas? Where's the gas? Oh, hey, our fuel can holds a less than half of our tank. I don't know why I would have thought it held more, but I thought it held more. I only thought about doing this because there's a barrel buried around here if I can be safe from the Minutemen. Um, not so sure about that. It's going away from me though, so. So, just be real quick. Okay. I should be filling up my fuel can more often. You got anything left? Nope. Okay. Away we go then. Is that a Fallout 4 reference? Is what a Fallout 4 reference? Push all those missions way down until they explode in unhealthy ways. Empathy? Not in my video games. I walk in on us dunking on Witcher 3. Not dunking. I was just saying, I don't like Geralt. And he's there in every conversation, being annoyingly cool and suave and sort of, you know, like, collected. So that's why I don't like it, but it doesn't mean it's a bad game. That's just literally why I don't like it. Other than that, I wasn't enamored of the combat, but they made a difference where you can quick cast, at least when you're playing with a controller, that sounds like it would have made combat way better. And even before that, I saw why people liked it. I just quit all three. Hold on to your dookie. It's about to get spooky. Bender from Futurama. Talking about The Witcher, did you ever play Gwent in the game? 
I played like two rounds of Gwent inside The Witcher, yes. Oh shit, now the water's poisoned, I can't, um... I was about to ask you a question, but you'd all be too biased now, knowing we're talking about Gwent. I was going to ask, when you think of like a mini game in Sug, oh, god, there's an enemy up there, bouncing around. How do I avoid them completely? I need to just drive along this road more. They're just skipping back and forth ahead of me. Can they fuck off, please? Am I far enough ahead to slow down and stop here without them catching up? And fucking me up? I was gonna say, when you think of a mini-game inside of another game, one that is separate from the actions of the game, like, you know, fishing is kind of, but fishing, you're fishing to get a fish to cook or heal your character for the rest of the game. Oh god, the Minutemen's throwing the car around. I parked in the middle of its... It's... That's really bad. That's really bad. Ugh, just like a game that has, you know, a card game or a chess game or something else completely disconnected from progress in it that you can play. What comes to mind? Because we were arguing recently about two articles by two different authors, both on Polygon, but by different authors referring to Gwent as being like the quintessential game within the game, the reason for the resurgence of games within games recently. Yeah. People were taking issue with that. I think it's kind of fair. Gwent didn't make a massive impact, but it stood on its own. So many people are aware of it. I don't know, it kind of fits for me. Dude, where do you go? I need to get to that trailer, and you are so right in my way. You think of the Resident Evil shooting gallery? Classic Pokemon straight up let you gamble? Think you spent more time playing poker in Red Dead than playing the actual game? These are good examples we didn't come up with. Though someone did mention the Pokemon uh, beauty contests. Anyway, they were saying, you know, like, come on, Triple Triad and Final Fantasy, so many other examples are so much older and so on. But I don't think the author was saying it's the original. And I think it's, you know, fair to say Gwent is a lot better known just because The Witcher 3 was such a big game and it came out at a time when, well, there are more gamers and more people who write about games and make videos about games. It positioned Gwent well to be... Uh, you know, a common touchstone of memory. I still think they were overstating it, but I think Gwent has more memory space among gamers in aggregate than Triple Triad or a lot of the other options like the RE Shooting Gallery. Farting during the loading screen on that Crash game helps that Gwent is also a standalone title. Oh, 100%, yeah that it went on to be a standalone title, even if that was kind of a failure, seeing as, you know, they, they gave up dev on that because it wasn't getting enough attention. That definitely helps its... I just smacked myself in the fucking head. Second time I've done that. Oh my god. You can make her pair putty. I think we have to. I wish I could just make new panels, but... We're not going to get out of here alive if I don't repair some of these panels. We need armor. Steel panel, I don't want to lose, of course. Pulse emitter, I don't want to lose. What have I got? Two more uses of this? Yeah, I think I have one more use. So we're clearly doing this panel that's nearly broken. Good stuff. Good stuff. Is that facility right there? Is that where I'm trying to go? Let me check the map real quick. Sorry. Whacked that. Yeah, there's two facilities up there. Okay, I have a pry bar, I have a scrapper, I have some stuff. I probably wish you won't need the scrapper, really. Let's go see if there's chemicals at either of these places. Who needs doors? Can you take better care of your car? This is nothing. Is that what was marked on the map, or is it something totally different? Where's the facility I'm looking for? 
Oh shit, I think I need to go back. I think I wandered off for no reason. I'm gonna go just a little bit further before I decide. Is that the facility? Probably. Nothing in there. I hate it when the radar facilities are actual radar facilities. It means no chemicals. Oh, this one's also irradiated. What a delight. What an absolute delight it is. Wait, wait, wait. This one might have chemicals. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm sorry I made fun of you. Or I'm sorry I, I said the awful things about you. Bulb to chemicals. Bulb to chemicals! Can I make any bulbs? We need to go back to the car and see if I can make any bulbs, and I'm coming back with them. First things first, though. There should be another facility west of me. Oh wait, I don't have a thing. It should be in this direction. Can I see it? I see what the fuck I'm talking about, or do I need to go back to the car and check the map and everything? I think we should go back to the car. I've been wandering a lot now. This is the longest I've been away from the car since I got it, and the furthest. And I don't feel good. It's just making me feel ill. I need the car. Wait, is that the facility there? It is. It is, it is, it is. Good shit. I love chemicals. Oppie would have to explain everything to you again? True. Yeah, we don't want to lose this after having already crashed once. We don't want to lose this mission another time and get Oppie's explanations all fucking over again. What materials do you have around here? Good. Good. Not irradiated, even better. Receiver I could scrap, and I think I will. That pretty much it? What do you do? You turn bulb into chemicals. You both turn bulbs into chemicals. Okay. So I can go back to either of them. Let's go with the car. See if I can make any bulbs. That might be a tier 2 crafting item, which would be pretty shitty if it is. Because how would I know I should carry a bunch of bulbs to transmute into chemicals once I got here? How would I have known back when I had my level 2 crafting table? I wonder if you can ever upgrade the crafting table in the car. Probably can. Probably. Mom saw you playing, the new Ve uh, playing New Vegas and you were gambling and... One second. Dumpster Pearl? I'm holding it in my hands. That's how I got it. Uh took over your saves, she would just play the gambling minigames. I thought for certain that was going to be like, she wanted you to stop playing because she thought it was real gambling. That story turned into, she took over your save because she saw the gambling? She liked that she won a lot, uh, but she did have a character with 10 luck. Never told her about the 10 luck. She just believed she was good at blackjack. That's fucking great. Oh, I love that. <laughs> good for you. Good for your mom. Alright, can I make a bulb? Can I make a lot of bulbs? I can. I can make eight bulbs. I can make more if I go get... Hang on a sec, I can make more. I need another scrapper. Those Minutemen don't come over here or they already would have hit the car at some point. What's my inventory like? It's fine. I need the... Um, Pressurized cartridges from these sodium bulbs here, and I can make more. Does that mean a fucking lightning storm is coming? Please not now. Please not now. I'm just about to get chemicals. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab these. Then I'm not gonna go up and do the bulbs to chemicals exchange. I'm gonna go back to the car. Because Hank needs me. I need the cartridges. Is that the last one? Glass up there. Good. Scrap metal. I'm gonna go back to the car. And we're gonna drop the stuff off, check the map, and hopefully be able to drive up to the thing. 
or spend a little time avoiding the storm and then go to it and change bulbs to chemicals. That can't be a good sound. Surely it's the best sound. Hydro the bulb dealer sells the bulbs with the product. Put all this stuff away real quick. Okay. What's going on? Storm's closing in slowly. Slowly. All right. Okay, I have time. I have to be fast, but I have time. We should drive up to it. Fuck it. It'll go better. I need to go to this facility here will be a better idea, I think. Man. Okay. Cut that out, wipers. I didn't even notice for so long. Car's pulling in weird directions now. Fuck it. Park it here. Come back. Am I in the middle of an area for a uh, thing? I'll have to check that in a second. Make more bulbs. Better we came to this one. This is the one that's not irradiated. Okay, so how the fuck does this work? Take all my bulbs, give me pens. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so there is some like exchange rate. I grab everything I needed because I got one bulb back. But there's no reason not to experiment because it'll give you whatever it doesn't use back. Awesome. All right, where's the car? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Drive that thing like it has a 4x4. I'm getting ready for when I put one in it. He does not have one right now. That's true. Six chemicals is a good haul. I like it. Okay, now what do we need to do? I need to find one of these things. We need to go straight ahead to the road, then hang a left. And I need to find one of those things and then get the hell out of here. And there's also a storm coming. On top of the storm coming. I hope I didn't fuck us. After having to do this mission twice already. Okay, I want to hang a left. And I want to find a fucking, fucking thing. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for a charge of some kind? Is that what it is that these yellow zones are supposed to indicate? Where there's going to be a charge? That's behind me now, but I gotta drive ahead. Sort of driving into the storm quite a lot. This could be a real awful idea. Yeah, we'll be in the thick of the storm soon. And the thing I was going for has disappeared. Shit. Wait, wait, wait. There's another one apparently around me? Is it- Oh, is that the thing that I have to get? How would I keep up with that? How would I possibly? How do I do this? No, that's one of the bad things. It's gone. What the fuck am I trying to do here? The storm's nearly blown over, but the other one is closing in rapidly. How do I leave this map?
do I leave this goddamn map? They disappear and reappear so fast. Okay, so there's one basically behind me. I think I see it over there. I think it goes along with that roly-poly zappy thingy. I think it's you. Are you what I'm looking for? No, the zone's already disappeared. What the fuck am I looking for? Maybe the things on the map mean nothing. They're just, you know, there to confuse you. And the idea is, guess what? It's hard to find the thing in the zone because you don't actually have any indication. Maybe that? What do I need in order to escape this place? All the gates are shut. Like, I'm not leaving by... Can't see on the other side of that car very well. I'm not leaving the map to go to another map. I'm trying to get something to teleport out of here. But I can't fucking find him. Alright, it says there's one, like, right around me. Well? I sure as shit don't see it. I think we're screwed. I guess I should have been looking for one from the start. How can I leave this place? Anomalies fucking everywhere. Storm's nearly here. Yeah, I can see the storm wall there. But there's nothing that looks like a charge anywhere else. Okay, let's drive this way a little bit. Buys us a little more time. There's nothing that looks like a charge on this map. It's a really terrible amount of work to lose. But it is what it is. I'm bad at survival games. We're just looking around desperately for a charge. As the wall closes in on the end here. It says there's one off to the right. But once again, not sure if we can trust the map or not. Would it be in the center of the radiation storm? Oh, you mean where it's like converging? I mean, that would be right up here. We've sort of been driving around that area a little bit, so... If it was, it's hard to believe I missed it completely, but it's possible. Yeah, sort of off to my right here. This little place, I'm basically at the center of it now. Nothing. Fuck, man. Is there any way to have read about the anomaly that I'm faced with before, you know, being here in the middle of it? Any way I could have known what I was getting into? So I'm in a radiation zone now, right? A heavy radiation zone. down here. You don't have a charge in you. I was really hoping if I knocked you down, you'd have a charge in you somehow. Fuck. Alright, the worst storm is going to come on soon. Right now, we just have a storm where it damages us if we get outside the car, I think. I think it is damaging the car, too, over time. And eventually it will be damaging us while we're in the car, but right now we're safe in the car.
darkness sure doesn't help me search either. Rape taco, sleep well, sweet dreams. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging out, friendo. It's wonderful having you. I at least like being out here in the light. I think I can start to see the edge of the dark red storm coming. Morning protection compromised. Yeah, now we're getting irradiated inside. That's, that's like the end of the end. All right, hang on, I have an idea. Is this one of those pneumatic tubes? It is. We have to get the chemicals out of here. I think we can send things back. I've never tested this, but I think that's what it's for. We've got to send these back. All right, first things first, the chemicals, then just whatever else I can send. Come here, you. Oh God, you already have shit in you. You already have some stupid shit in you. Can I take some of this out? Take these chemicals. And run with them. I don't need plastics or rubber necessarily. My inventory's full, so I can't take them. Oh, go to hell. Why would you do this to me? Is this your area? Is it? it looks like there's another one up ahead. Maybe we try our luck there? See if I can put more in the next pneumatic tube. Are we too close? This is gonna get the car zapped. Yes, it is. That's dumb. Also, this is one of the lead facilities. This isn't. This isn't what I thought it was. How much charge do we need, anyway? Required charge, 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5, and I can't find it. 0. fucking 5 So sorry about the vacation, kids. You know, they can't all be winners. Sometimes this happens. We'll take another crack at it next summer. Yeah, I see nothing of use on this whole map. Nothing at all. It's disheartening. And it's really not worth watching the zones on my mini map just because they keep showing up and disappearing faster than I can like react to them, right? Is that my engine giving out? Bunch of awful noises. All right, hang on a sec. Healing item. Healing item. There's one thing I just thought of I want to do. Oh God, here comes the dangerous storm. Oh God, it's really fast. Can I read about this anomaly in time? Right button, right button, right button, right button, logbook, arc warp, refueling. Well, where are the, there are they warnings? What am I looking for? Charge fragile, no, they're not those. Highway, car dashboard, process, refueling, anchors, arc work, crafting, fatigue, auto shop, instability, zone conditions. How do I read about the specific conditions? You want me to drive through this?
I mean, it would be pretty cool to escape in these kind of conditions. We won't, but I see why they give you this almost impossible to see through, but last chance to escape. But this is just cruelty for us currently. You got this. You got, I'm literally not allowed to leave. And I have no idea where to get the items that allow me to leave. I wasn't paying close attention when this mission started, and I assumed those yeah, those those things were basically like, oh, there's an, a charge around here somewhere. We just want to tell you specifically where. I didn't realize they were moving, and how fucking impossible it would be. To try and track one down. I'm still not sure what they represent. I've been inside them a bunch of times, and not noticed a charge anywhere. dad. I'm a bad dad. Dad, we're scared. Are we going to make it? Turns out, no. Failure, reason, zone storm. What happens when you have a failure? What do you bring back? You have driven a car before, haven't you? I'm just curious. <laughs> Did we keep any of our loot? Okay. Did any of it come back in the pneumatic thing? No, so I don't know how that works. Awesome. Good. Great. What the fuck's that over there? Well, that was horrific. What the hell is this? I'm not allowed to scan this, Samantha. I can scan everything else. I can scan scraps of metal that do nothing. I can't scan that. Dad, no. Dad, I feel funny. I don't feel so good, Mr. Hydro. Oh my god, it gave me back a steel panel. It gave me a bunch of steel panels. This game's very kind. I lost a lot of time, but holy shit. Did it give me two limb pulse emitters? What the fuck is going on? Did I glitch it? I... I... I it's gonna crash at some point, isn't it? Better start using these things, I guess. Wait, this is a crude door. This has a fault in it. Wait, is the dumpster stuff that I discovered but didn't carry out? No, why would there be so many limb pulse emitters? What the fuck is going on? Hit it again? That's probably a good idea. Let's see if we can save this save file. Let's see if we can save the save file. I need to be able to see the dumpster. We gotta find the dumpster in here. It's a bit of an issue. I can't. I think it's over though. Come back from movie night and Hydra's broken the game a little bit. Sorry for the noise. I'm gonna try and take from the top of the pile. Fix this physics situation as quickly as I can. How was movie night? That was a very friendly dumpster. Didn't I just put the tailgate on? Didn't I just put the tailgate on? That one stayed. Really don't know what's happening. New Breen ain't good, unfortunately. Yeah. 
Yep. That's to be expected. I hate watching Fast and Furious franchise since it went from fast cars to elite hacksaws. Was Fast X a good continuation? Or do you think it's lost it? Do you think you've changed elite hacksaws? They've been going on so long, they could have changed elite hacksaws and then lost the knack at doing elite hacksaws movies already. Is that your loot or a bug? I truly do not know what just happened at all. I've got no fucking clue. Parts are disappearing as I add them to the car, too. Like, this is all fucking over the place. It's definitely glitched out of its mind. That one's gone. Is it losing health because it's electric? or something? What's happening? No. It's not. It's not. You gonna stay there, though? If they'll stay... God damn it! If they'll stay... We've gotten free limb pulse emitters for the front and back. Because I only bought one for the front. I only made one for the front originally. They have to stay. May have to exit and reload? I refuse. They've given me multiple steel panels, you know, steel. I need them. I need this leg up after the incredible time I wasted on that mission. Tito, what the fuck? Actually, while I'm back here, let's look up what it means. Where in the logbook can I look up what it means when they say this or that bullshit? Anomalies. Conditions. Here we are. Anchor obfuscation. Increased magnetic interference means that anchor signatures in this part of the zone are indistinct. It'll be harder to precisely locate them. That is what it means? Wait a second. I just didn't see any driving around for that long? That's unbelievable. You have to find them using your eyes. I drove around forever. I didn't notice any. Pomegranates, did anyone else ever see one? Stay. Did anybody else see one at any point? Oh, God damn it! My game's fucked. I passed two or three. You know we're talking about the yellow ones, right? Not the bunnies. For a little while, it seemed like they were centered on the bunnies. And so I tried chasing one of them down and killing it in case it meant they were, like, carrying them. What's the last story thing you did? I fear you're already ahead of me. Um, I went back to Sierra and I went beyond it to reconnect the stabilizers. Yeah, I reconnected, uh, I relinked stabilizers Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. And then Oppie told me, well, you're gonna go beyond the walls of the mid zone. And in game was like, you better up upgrade your car before you go. You better unlock some shit and upgrade your car before you go to the mid zone. So we've been doing just side stuff since then. I've not gone on to mid zone. What's up, Elbarto? You thought you saw one? Yeah. Is it a device scare thing you can build pretty early too? There is, but why would I think I would need that? Can't believe I died needing 0.5 Kalen. Unbelievable. Unbe fucking leaveable. Still need so many panels. I need a door still. Unbelievable. All my doors out here are fucked as well. Like, I'm putting on... Some of them are steel, indeed, but I'm putting on all these things that have, like, cracks and weaknesses in them, if you haven't noticed. See? That's got two weaknesses. This steel panel's fine. Let's hope it's not one of the ones that disappears. Unbelievable. Yep. 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 Fucked up crude headlights. Smashed. This is ridiculous. What happens if I try and feed them into the machine? Hey, that one stayed. Will they give me nothing back, or does the machine think they're real? Okay, so they're exi they exist here, but they're definitely just not real. Maybe it is best if I just quit and reload my safe.
Aside from this horrendous bug, I hope you're enjoying it. We had one crash to desktop at a really inopportune time. After a very long uh, amount of gathering chemicals. That really sucked. But I'm enjoying it so much. Nah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm really liking it quite a lot. I would say I feel like I, I'm a little bit lost into how much I should be in the car and how often I should be out of the car. So I feel like I get in the car, drive it 10 feet, get out, do some work. Get in the car, drive it 30 feet, get out, do some work. Get in the car, drive it 10 feet. And I'm, I'm wondering, should I just get in the car and do two or three drives per map and run around more in those areas? Or is this sort of normal? I, I don't know, it's weird. I called this Half-Life 2, Highway 17 is a roguelite. I did see you say that, and you are correct. I think that's a little unfair, because most people dislike Highway 17. But it's correct. I can't argue. Woke up, started watching several hours in, got left at the gas station. Is it going to fuck up again? It's going to fuck up again. It's fucked up again. Oh my god, now I have to... Uh, my save file might be screwed then, right? Did it just disappear after I held it for a second? Oh. All right, kids, everybody out of the car. I need you all to come grab a car part. You just have to lay your hand on it. Everybody just touch a different car part. We're gonna stand here for about 30 seconds and then everyone tell me who still has their hand on something that's real. I think it's worse than last time. I think I'm holding a real door though. just repair your car before touching a dumpster. It only gives you things you think you'll need. If you've uh, got all the parts in your car, it won't give you car parts. Yeah. We could do that. I'd have to go gather a lot more scrap metal to make up for the shortfall, but scrap metal is the easiest thing to gather. So, do I have another real door? That might be wise. What if you saved after all the items spawned and reloaded that? I mean, how much worse could it get? Save game. I can make a second save. Okay, load game. Interesting. Are you real? It's a good thing you got a beefy GPU or imagine the pain. How is this game running for you? I've been surprised that it's running pretty rough for me. Does this have ray tracing on or something? I didn't look closely through the uh, things. Am I like ray tracing without realizing it? It defaulted to like ultra and stuff, which is great. I like that, but what the hell. Shouldn't it run a bit better than this? Very okay for you, but you do have to wear headphones because GPU gets loud. Threw you in a dumpster and now ironically calls you friendly dumpster. Is this your doing? Like, not intentionally. It's just further punishment for my failure, I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. Oh, man. Any of those survive? Did you fall off? Why are there doors scattered all the way over here? They should either be in this pile or on the vehicle, I thought. The bumper, I was about to say, seems to be staying and that went away. Great. I can't even figure out reliably to tell if something's gonna stay or not. Friendly dumpsters overcompensating. It's a lot of free loot for punishment. I'm trying to decide how much patience I have to do this. The other opportunity, I guess maybe I could, maybe I could, maybe I could. 
Hang on a second. Oh wait, I have it right here. Why am I so fucking hurt? That hurts you? How are we doing? That hurts you a lot. I take 5% damage for each like crafted item I break. That's interesting. Go dumpster diving to see what you find. Fuck off. Free scrap and then you can just uh, craft the parts you need. That's kind of what I was hoping. It seems like it might work out. I also just thought, I bet this is faster once the scrapper is warmed up. I bet it's way faster. And going through figuring out which parts are real and which aren't. I wonder if these are all real. I mean, 32 electronics, 30 copper wire. 28 scrap. Kind of think they were real. I think they were real. Are we safe now? Is it all gone? Give me this one piece of scrap and don't open up. I'll work on the car myself and come back to you once it's good again. Oh, Christ. What? What are you beeping at me for? Transmission fragment. Today sees the opening of a landmark class action lawsuit by government employees who allege that the state of Washington knowingly sent them to perform what they are describing as profoundly dangerous and extremely unhealthy duties that have resulted in long-term illness. And then it turns into gibberish again. So I guess maybe I unlock more transmissions at this as I submit more documents to it, even if as I submit the documents, they don't show up immediately. I think that's what's happening. Had a guess. Seems like the dupe items disappeared when you picked them up off the ground. Exactly, but I certainly got more parts out of scrapping them than I think just real items would have given me. It's hard to say. Hmm. Only disappeared when you pick up a part you've already picked up. Chat should start beeping at Hydra when he's doing something dumb. Bugs are a feature. What is this? Bethesda? Hello, how's it going? What's up, Jodica? Good to see you. It's going pretty well. Recent glitches notwithstanding, it's going quite well. Thank you. Alright, what all do I need to do? What all do we need to do for this <laughs> fucking car? Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Visit the friendly dumpster. We'll wait on that. Tire's in good condition. Sure, sure. I mean, do I have any chemicals at all after that whole fiasco? I do have some. I do have some. Alright, good. Uh, do I have repair putty? I'm carrying one. What's in decent enough condition? But does need repair. I mean, I need to craft a whole bunch of shit. Alright, forget it. We'll do repair putty later. What do I need to craft? One panel, two panel, three panel. Four panel. I need four steel panels first off. If I can do them all in steel. I would love to do them all in steel. How are we doing on steel sheet? I have 157 scrap metal. We can do them all in steel. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and lay these on. These better stay. Okay, these ones are mercifully real. This is just an enforced upgrade to steel armoring. You upgrade your radio priorities. You got equipment loot from like eight trips. You're speed running now. I did lose two big trips. What do you find you are scrambling for? What, do, what may, What's most important to you to pick up? For me, it's chemicals right now. When I get in the swing of things, I don't think I'll be low on chemicals, but I have to go for every research facility because I didn't realize that's where the only place I was finding them and you don't get a lot. Doors. Should we unlock a new door upgrade and make all the doors out of something new if possible? I feel like we should. Let's go see if we have the stuff to unlock a door upgrade. 
the research facilities. You destroy loot whatever you run into. So, you know how there's different icons on the map? I'm not 100% on this, but from what I've seen, if it looks like a house, no chance of chems. If it looks like a, it's got a little satellite dish on it, it has a chance of chems. And chems come in those, like, wire cage cabinets. Like, they're upright, tall cabinets, but the front is a bunch of wire caging. Um, Chris Ross and Diamonds. Yeah, the, the camper vans, the, like, trailers, uh, very often have them in them. And once or twice, I've gone to the satellite, and it's been an actual, like, satellite transmission facility you have to go up a walkway onto. And those, much more hit or miss, but I have gotten chemicals there. Those indications on the map mean high chance of chemicals and oh my god the run i just lost the run i just lost we there was a transmuter in one that let me change light bulbs into chemicals got a bunch of stuff you want to craft but you need copper and have none Ugh. i haven't yet run into a copper issue what do you, you just gotta break tvs and stuff for that right beep at him he'll never know what he's doing wrong but he'll know he's doing something wrong yet to find a useful transmuter modular offices uh, I was looking at doors. Can I afford an upgraded door? Steel bumper, steel door. Yeah, I can afford that. To learn about it, that is. The other thing I'll say, Tino, is I am constantly confused whether I need to hit right button, hold right button, hit left trigger, hold right trigger for almost every menu. I can't get it straight in my mind. I'm getting better, but I... The inputs could be simpler. On the whole, though, I'm really enjoying this game. It's got an interesting loop to it. I don't usually like these kinds of games, but I'm enjoying this a lot. Two steel sheets for that, lots of scrap metal. How many doors do I need? I need one. Two doors. You're okay, so you get to stay. You're... you're gonna go, because you're weak. I need three doors. Do I need a tailgate? I need four doors. Fuck it, I have so much scrap metal. Let's upgrade the entire fucking thing. Where's the other door? Come out of here. Let's upgrade all the panels and doors. I left one panel on that wasn't steel, right? Steel, steel, steel. No, they're all steel. Okay. So I need five doors. All metal, all metal! It's always like, give us eight plastic for one piece of scrap metal. Yeah, many of them seem real shit. But that one I was so pleased to find when I died without getting back with what I made out of it. Uh, five, I said. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. seems so weird to me, but I actually really like how doors, they're all different shapes on this car. But door is just a resource. You just have a door. Which door do you need it to be? It'll be any of the doors. Something about it works really smoothly. It's satisfying. Okay, we have all around upgraded our armor. Good for us. How cool are we? How many summer tires do we have? The slightly better ones. One, two. Can I make two summer tires to replace this and the missing one? I think I already have that blueprint, right? I do. I need a gear. <laughs> what is that? Metal? I can do that. One summer tire. Two summer tires. take off the old spare, which has less health and slightly worse performance. Performance is only different on roads. It's really the tire health that's most important out of these upgrades. Hank needs a better paint job and his wood paneling back. We can do the paint job right now. Our options are, we've seen the retro stripes. Animal stripes? I think we do shark teeth, though, to go with the new steel. Camo's boring. Let's do shark teeth. So. I want to do the whole ch th th the chassis up. So the chassis doesn't include the doors and stuff. So should I do the panels first? Is that how this works? That is how this works. 
Does one decal have enough to cover the entire car? Seems like it will. It's everything but hood and chassis, is it? This is the only time you can select chassis, I think, in the game. Did I apply it or not? Chassis doesn't look like it changed at all. I, I legitimately can't tell. I have no fucking clue if the chassis has the decal on her yet. I'm gonna try again. Apparently it does. Warning matching decal. It even tried to save me from myself. Some parts of this decal don't even matter. There we go. Gateway gauntlet. Rabbit season. Take flight. There we go. Took the flowers off. It did, but didn't replace them with anything. I was hoping it would make more of it, like, black to blend in here, but the decals, that's not what the decals are. That's what paint is. Let's try paint out for the first time. So, spray paint the chassis black. Great. Good. That brings it all more together, I would say. All right, great. Cool. Let's put that back. Now then. We need headlights, panels, doors, and bumpers installed. We need headlights and bumpers. I'll be honest, the things we got to, like, ward off enemies don't seem to have done anything at all. Not a thing. So I feel like we don't need them. I think we just do two steel bumpers. I think. Rather than have one of those things that like wards off um, hairs. Because they definitely went right for my vehicle even with one on. Alright, two steel bumpers and two headlights. Error fine materials, sure. We are eating through a lot of scrap metal, but I had a lot of scrap metal and this is a good way to spend it. So after eight hours, have you figured out why you think the garage needs a hammock? The garage needs it? No. The garage, why, why does the garage need a hammock? Oh, do you only want to do missions during the day? Because I only want to do missions during the day, to be honest with you. Side storage is getting a little beat up. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Good to have you here. Hope you're enjoying yourself, friendo. One of the sides should have said duck season. It should have. If the first waypoint always takes three hours to get to, why would I ever leave the garage between 6 p.m. and 3 a.m.? Night looting is so much more dangerous than dawn looting, and uh, waiting is a sensible move. Is night looting more dangerous? Just because you get lost, or are there more anomalies? I assumed everything basically was the same night and day, it's just, it's harder to see at night, so you're gonna bang up your car a little bit more. But thus far, it's not been a huge issue for me. I did take a very long time to understand that you get a flashlight later. Start using flares. I did this weird thing, Samantha, where I they gave me the flare and I went, ah, this is what you throw at enemies. And then there weren't really enemies like that, for the most part, and I completely forgot flares existed and didn't use them to light anything for a long time. You can't see anything that's dangerous, and people call me an irresponsible driver. Well, let's install better headlights. We should get a new relightable flare. This one is nearly done. Oh, hey, we got two red flares back out of that one. That recycled for a lot more than other tools have. That recycled for a ton more than other tools have. Scrapper, for instance, doesn't recycle for anything. Do I not have my impact hammer, by the way? 
feel like I don't have my impact hammer. Unless it's in the car storage. I think they took my impact hammer from me. Just because I died. Got a vacuum, road flare. Stack these road flares with that. And put them in this little pocket where they make more sense. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Why is that there? You don't go there. Okay, I need an impact hammer. I still need headlights. I don't think I'll worry about upgrading my headlights right now unless it's really cheap. I mean, it's really cheap. Really cheap to leave behind crude headlights. Or at least to get the, uh, the, the... Is this a good game? I'm really enjoying, but it has crashed on me once and we had an awful glitch with this thing a minute ago. That was quite annoying. So, it's new. It's a bit rough around the edges. And it is slower moving than many survival games, I think. Maybe I'm just bad at survival games. So if those don't sound like your deal, maybe look at a longer review or something. But so far, just like a little ways into the game, I'm quite enjoying. She tried turning on the bunny repelling bumper. Turning it on. It goes on your special ability screen. Oh. Oh. No, I didn't try turning it on. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, what do those new headlights cost to make? I mean, nothing much. Okay, I'll tell you this, Samantha. The first upgrades... Get all of them. They don't, they don't cost really that much more to make. Get all of them. I hope these have a noticeably better performance. At the least, I have to believe they... Where'd the other one go? On the ground over here? At the least, I have to imagine this is going to have more durability. But I hope it's got better performance. I did make two, didn't I? Or did I just wait and make the bulb for the second and not hold the button long enough to make the second headlight? I made the second headlight. There's no bulb waiting there. Now let's make another second headlight. Hello? There we go. Perfect. Okay, we don't have a battery jumper. I'm pretty sure I had an extra battery jumper at one point. Did that get lost out in the zone or did I manage to carry it back? Looks like it got lost out in the zone. Let's make a battery jumper. And an impact hammer, which I need a gear for, two gears for. Impact hammer made, battery jumper made. Pop that in my outer supplies thing. I wonder if that's wise or if this is at more risk being outside the vehicle. I don't need all this food to come along with me every trip. One stack is fine. Impact hammer goes here. Uh, and I need a pry bar before I forget. I'll leave the car having forgot I don't have a pry bar. Ideal. I fucking deal. Good. Are we ready to go see if the friendly dumpster is fucked up again? Let's save. Let's see what happens. God, Dad, not understanding technology. Shows you the icon for the material source. Wait, never mind. It's saying where it's pulling the supply from. Oh, is it? I saw it can pull supplies from anything. I didn't notice if it tells you where it had taken them from when you do something.
much more reasonable. Much less insane. Positively sedate, as far as these things go. Oh, man. Um, let's see here. Did I make one of those lightning things at some point? I think I did, right? Or did I just buy the, uh, the, uh, thing for it? Maybe I just bought the blueprint. Man, I don't have anywhere here. Should I make one of those? How do they mount? I want so many more side racks. I never even tested the light while I was out. Limpulse emitter. It's on the same thing as side storage. Does that mean it goes on the side panel? It goes on a bump. Oh, I know what the limpulse emitter is. I'm being an idiot. I'm thinking of the lightning thing I didn't build and confusing it with the thing I did build and never turned on. You know, I've been streaming for nine and a half hours, so just, just, I'm gonna make mistakes. Wow, no chemicals? Yeah. We're back there. Right? Are we? I would love to make more putty if we're not, but I think we're back there. Oh no, we have some. We have some chemicals. Should probably spend it on putty because I think they only have one waiting for me here. Yeah. Make one more repair putty for the moment. Put that away in here with the rest. Now, I have one med kit. Need two more med kits. I have a new relatable uh, flare, three med kits, a new pry bar, nearly new scrapper, new impact hammer, and an old scrapper to break. I have two putties, a ceiling kit, a battery jumper. I do have a vacuum lying around here. Cool. Um, should I take that out and use that? It's pretty handy. It saves you a lot of time, and I'm about to use this thing up soon. Yeah, okay. I think this is everything I usually go with, and I didn't leave anything in here. Let's make sure this is the one assigned to the quick slot, so I break it for too long. Let's assign this to a quick slot instead of the impact hammer because I use the impact hammer rarely. I can open up my inventory to get it out. And I think we're in good condition again. I think we're ready to go out again. Oh, no chemicals from the dumpster. Gotcha. Friendly dumpster won't be our dealer. We should look for charges first. If we're in an area like that, we should nail down the charges. Yes. Oh, also wait. My tires. Are in one of them's in bad condition. <laughs> this one's gonna get a splash of buddy. The other's damaged. It's, it's technically listed as yellow, but we're gonna call it fine. We're gonna believe that it's doing fine. Okay. I got 0.5 energy. I probably can't buy anything else cool. We should just go out there and make up for fucking up. You trying to figure out how to pay me a visit? Don't bother. By regular standards, I'm about 10 miles west of you. In zone terms, consider me on another planet. There's a valley of perpetual instability in closing my corner of the zone, and yes, I chose to live here for that exact reason. Oh. <sighs> Leave an old woman in peace. I literally thought she was behind this door because the sound of her voice when I first entered here was coming from this direction. Is there like a speaker around here, I guess? So we need to learn the code to get into that part. She probably tells us at some point. Real quick, anything in here? Oh, hey, there's a tire. Uh, only of spare quality. And oh, hey, there's this. Let's take this out and break it. Um, Not assigned a quick slot, just... Yeah, put it in my hands. 0451, I unfortunately don't pick what we uh pick what we um press. 
You know what? I'm actually going to put one of these two things away. It's a bit ridiculous. We'll take it out and break it some other time. I wonder if you have the repairing um, lockers, if they'll repair those, if they'll repair tools. I kind of doubt it, but I wonder. I feel like I'm carrying too much. Eh, it is what it is. What's this door icon down here? That's where we died, so it may just be a grave, but I'm curious. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do this one. And go find out what's going on. There's a heavy fog. Excellent. I don't even know how to turn on my high beams, so that's not a problem for me. Hi, Lane kids. I know that was a long time at the garage, but we're finally ready to go back out. All the kids peed before we go? You put fresh batteries in the game gear? You brought the games too, right? I don't want a repeat of last time. When I'm driving through a storm, I can't help you dig out any you might have left in the car. Or just make sure you've got them on hand now. Also, Tino, do you know why they do this system where you pick and then pick again? Is it because you first pick what you scan and then pick where to go? And you might want to do them differently? Still can't find one of the E's in Travel Scrabble. It's very sad. Check and check pops, good. Why is it two phase selection? Okay, what are we doing first? Let's hang a right there and head towards the uh, charges. Once we've done those things in the corner. Tourists off to the right there. Tourists off to the right again. And a left right off to the left. Interesting the floating rocks are not bad. They might do a little damage when you drive through them, but it's not enough I've ever worried about it. Is that coming near me? I don't think it is. Alright. We have to scrap a bunch of stuff because I need to make up for the metal I spent. I still have like 90, but I'm gonna scrap stuff. Okay, this car has no parts on it. I can't scrap anything. Never mind. Oh my god, is that a second Game Boy? <gasps> I can't pick it up. I can't take it back. I got like 50 kids sharing one Game Gear. I can't bring that back with me. What is it, broken? I don't care. They can't, they won't figure that out immediately. They can mess with it for a handful of miles, okay? Just let me take it. Fabric? Inventory full? Oh, I was holding fabric in my hands. That's why. Couldn't tell. But that's why. My relightable flare wouldn't get into my hands for a second there. Kind of thought the scrapper would break faster and I wouldn't have inventory problems. No, we're not going inside this one. can't get through those doors. That is a lootable toolbox. I can just barely open it, apparently. There we go. Inventory renewed. You pick where you're going to, and then you pick the route there, as you may have two different waypoints that go the same place. Oh, that makes sense. That did not cross my mind. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, fair enough. 
for give the game that eccentricity then. Don't know what would be the best family car for the apocalypse. My Sunfire is almost as old as you are. Is it still in... Does it run smooth? That's amazing. Yeah, here's where we're hanging the right. Somewhere around here is our turn. And there's a... Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm trying to back up, I'm trying to back up. Not so bad. Not so bad. I've never looked at one of those after. Can you get anything from it? Like, can you cut it up for good scrap or something? Seemingly not. It has no health bar. There were a couple of wrecks here that might have scrap metal for me though. The vacuum cleaner. You can loot in the dark. Though I do need to see this to use it. Alright, one more of those? Oh, hello. You're in way worse condition. You're not worth getting out the scrapper for. Just pick the trunk and call it good. I actually used a lot of my new scrapper's durability. A surprising amount of it. What's up, Toasty? Good to see you. Okay, we follow this for a while until the next junction. There's plasma, though. I want plasma. See, this is what I mean. I get out fucking constantly. I feel like I barely get anywhere before I'm getting out of my car again. The light dims when something happens. I'll have to figure out what that is. Oh, and we have the eccentricity that I didn't... I think we still have the eccentricity I didn't figure out with the, uh... Whatever they're called. Windshield wipers. Before I go nearer to that thing. Equip my impact hammer. Is that the only one? Seems like it. Have I not logged this anomaly? Hot Dust. Pretty sure that's a killer's song. Game says your car has an eccentricity, but you've not noticed anything weird at all yet. So far, my eccentricities have been pretty straightforward. The first one took me a few guesses to get. The second one, I knew exactly how it worked. And I kind of like the eccentricity guessing system. But I have seen a couple people writing about how it's been controversial. Oh, is it when I turn left? When I turn left, my headlights dim? Or toggle or something? I think dim. No idea what turns on the wipers. No idea about those. Hello, there could be chemicals to my right. Let's pause right here. Check that out. Shut the engine off. Leave the lights on for a minute so I can look at this. Hello there. Wonder if I rolled something really vanilla, like the headlights turn on when you turn them on? They must have accounted for that. That can't be possible. What am I hearing? It's supposed to be a facility in this area that has a good chance of chemicals. That is a rock. That's it. Plasma's already been taken, though. Unlocked? Okay. Ooh. Not unlocked, but not an issue. Pressurized cartridge, chemicals, chemicals, chemicals. Good haul. Okay, 
Fantastic. Fantastic. Back to the car. Maybe the wipers go on rough terrain? That's possible. I don't remember all the triggers they have, you can guess. But there's a lot of them, so that could be one. Drop this stuff in here. Because I'll never remember to do it when I'm getting out. We're approaching the intersection. Past the intersection, we need to look to the left for a charge, and then we can continue straight, and another charge will be on the left. They should be really within sight of each other. There's an abductor up there. Uh, I'm being pulled a little bit into a left-right, but I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I went past the thing. There it is. Am I safe here? I think I'm safe here. That's just that thing tearing up the scene. There it is. And plasma. My, 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 and an abductor over there that's going to rip my impact hammer out of my hands if it comes this way. Worth it. One. Sickness. There we go. Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay. That's super, super interesting. Is that coincidence? It's my car where I left it. Shit, there's a mannequin right fucking there I nearly walked into. My car is not where I left it. Let's get that in before they drag my car away again. Now I need to get in. You in okay shape? Surprisingly you are. Let's get the fuck away from that. Is that an abductor? It looks so much bigger. I think it's just a regular abductor, but I don't remember them looking that big to me. You going the right way? You're such an asshole. Put on the brake! Put her in park. Make this as hard as possible. Dick. Glad the impact hammer found more work after Unreal Tournament 99. Me too. Oh hey, the other one should be right here. It kinda helps me out. Kinda. Let's grab this one. Better not happen again. Oh shit, what's this Minuteman doing here? Is it going towards the car? Time to go. Crossed over the track. More plasma. Damn, this place is decently rich for the fucking annoyance it is. At least it has that going for it. So much for not needing my impact hammer on my quick bar. Do need to watch out in the dark here for tourists. Ah, uh, if I'd walked on the other side, I would have been fine. Just trying to take the most direct route.
Okay, where to next? We could link a gateway, but we can go get this thing. And I said we go get this thing. Get as much charge as we can for coming out here. We've got a lot of armor. We have most of our power. That is a wriggling wreck. Ah, uh, it's already seen me. We're good. Never see those wriggling wrecks coming. That's the one and only time. But pleased myself, honestly. Little house here. Check that out. Oh hey, those side lights. Oh no, they are they an ability too? Change ability. Side floodlights on A. So when I'm in the car, I hit A. Side floodlights are now on. I mean, they're pretty good. They're quite good. Okay, maybe it is worth having those on. Turn them off. And let's go check out this house. Is there a transfer all? Our transfer materials. But not food. Okay, so there's a button to transfer all materials. That's kind of it. If I had a bigger backpack, transfer materials would be great because that's often, you know, what I'm putting back. But it's not everything. It's close, but it's not everything. So I would need a slightly larger backpack. I feel comfortable just using that and leaving a few things with me. Shrink or shrinkflation hit wood cabins hard. What is this game? What's up, Gear? I'm good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Mm -hmm. This is Pacific Drive. It came out this past Thursday. It's a survival game where you're taking randomized runs through a zone of dangerous anomalies, like in Stalker. Try to keep your car running, upgrade it, and discover what's going the fuck on out here. Even more plasma. Holy Christ. I do not mind one bit. We'll turn the lights off though, because I'm starting to worry about my battery, but I guess we're gonna leave pretty soon, so. Does it really matter? Oh, this is a radioactive area too. Alright. No chems, no nothing. No nothing for me? A little bit. No chems? Shut this off. Put the impact hammer and try not to get electrocuted because I'm already losing enough health being here. Oh, actually, I'm out of the radiation standing over here by the lightning tower. Still, no reason not to do things quickly, efficiently. Where's the car? I know game. I'm on it game. Don't worry. Okay, that's my last charge, and then we can get out of here. The gate is going to be... We can continue straight around this road to the gate. So let's leave the car on the road. Let's go get that thing. We'll just come back, unpark this, and go. Seems pretty straightforward to me. I'm taking more damage. Stable anchor acquired.
right. We are going here. Because I can basically just follow the road. Get to the finish line. And quick. Well, quick. Follow the road. As long as there aren't too many abductors on it. Doesn't sound like that one's chasing me. I'm not entirely certain I understand how you aggro an abductor or not. Obviously being close to it seems to be the primary component, but you can get pretty close sometimes, they don't mind. I'm not stopping for that. We are gonna leave, don't worry. I'm not getting greedy any longer. I've learned my lesson. There's fucking two towers right here, Samantha. God damn. Was there some kind of like special everything here is plasma? Oh god. Well, I was serious. I don't recognize Wriggling Rex. That could be another one for all I know. Nope, we're good. We're getting there, we're getting there. It's not far now, this will be a safe one. This will be a safe one, Samantha. Pay no attention to that, this will be a very safe one. Time to beeline for it. Right past the lightning tower? Sure. Time to fucking spin out accidentally. All right, we're good. Just get out of the car now. I wonder what happens if you get out of the car and walk into it. What's been your most dramatic escape so far? Uh, I had one where the entire, like, storm had closed in because I was on a really hilly map and there were tons of airstrip anomalies throwing me off of edges. And I had to go back along a row with, like, fucking three of them. Um, so by the time I arrived at the gate, literally the entire yellow storm had closed in. It was the first time I even saw the red one. And the red one was not on my heels, but, like, if I'd stuck around for 30 seconds, I would have died. I wasn't low in gas, I wasn't low in power, but my health was draining rapidly. That was definitely the most tense so far. Also, I forgot to shut everything off. There we go. Alright, good shit. Let's heal me up. Let's fill the gas, and let's check what the damage was. Can I fill my gas can while I'm here? If I open this and take the gas can out, can I fill it at like this thing? Um. Hey, there we go. A bit late to be realizing that, but there we are. I haven't had fuel problems, it's fine. It's fine. You can do that? Apparently you can, I only just found out. Status monitor, please. Repair the car, it's still at 91%. Charge the battery, I forgot to press that. What do you got for me, friendly dumpster? I hardly need anything, so don't spit a lot out. Could be a bit more than that, but thanks. Hello, you guess I knew? Esto no es posible ni concebible. Y sin embargo es cierto, ¿es esto un secreto de estado? Deberíamos decírselo a, a otros países. Um, it's not possible nor conceivable. Y sin embargo es cierto. And without, I don't remember what embargo means. It's true? ¿Es esto un secreto de estado? Is it a state secret? Should we... Decírselo. I mean, a otros países means to other countries. Should we tell other countries about it? I think is the idea, though. I've never seen decírselo. I've seen decir. But that is... I actually know grammatically why it looks like that, weirdly. For how little Spanish I clearly know, I know why it's decírselo. But I, I don't know why it's decírselo instead of 
Anywho. Also, sorry for my awkward R rolling. I used to be a little better at it, but I've never been great. And I have a lot of problem where a rolled R follows a hard consonant, like triste. There's this weird triste that I'm just trying to go quickly through. Triste. What was it I was wanting to buy? What's up next? Roof floodlights. Do you really want to drive another humdrum everyday automobile? Or do you secretly want to sit at the helm of the zone's biggest, baddest, and brightest self-propelled illumination station? I can't wait till I can get shit like that. But that stuff requires insulated headlight. That stuff requires, you know. Oh, we should do before I forget. We should diagnose our quirks. So there's something where when you turn, I believe it is. Um, steering wheel goes, maybe it's swerves hard. The wipers switch on. Three out of four correct. Steering wheel goes to the right. Two out of four correct. Swerves hard was it? Is it just when the car swerves hard? Car. No, there's gonna be different words for each of those. Wait, what? How did I have three right then? When the steering wheel swerves hard, the wipers switch on. Is what I had before. And when I change swerve hard... Hang on. Oh, is it maybe toggles or moves fast? Moves fast? Three to four, correct. Moves slow? Toggles? I only have four guesses. Three now. There we go. It toggles. Okay. And the solution is... Mechanics kit, isn't it always? I have two other quirks. Okay, one of them is that the lights dim. When the steering wheel stays turning... Or is it swerves hard? When the car... Let's try stays turning. When the steering wheel stays turning, the headlights dim. Nice. It's gonna be a mechanics kit as well? Yes, it is. No idea what the last thing is. I haven't experienced a problem. I haven't noticed the last one. Um, how much do mechanics kits cost me? Not a lot, really. Let's go ahead and solve both those quirks. The wipers one particularly bothers me, and the headlights could be a danger. How do I gear head now? Got one in them and one. I just know my stuff now. Did your computer sticky note say cat food? Uh, yes. I had trouble remembering what you were talking about. For a second, there is one over here that says cat food. Coffee, milk, cat food, pi O2, LR, CO3. But I had trouble remembering what you're talking about for a second because uh, when we play PlayStation 1 games here, I also have a post-it note by my TV that says I need to get cat food for the Dark Lord. My mind went a totally different place when you asked me. Um, what sort of shape is everything in? Show me the panels. Have you figured this out yet, Tino? If you scan a panel, it'll show you all the panels. If you scan a door, it'll show you all the doors. I did this accidentally at one point because I was confusing buttons, and it's really nice. Can I target the chassis normally or only when I'm painting? Seems only when I'm painting. <laughs> Would my doors ever be damaged and need checking? Oh, excuse me. I forgot you only go out in the day. You only drive on sunny Sundays, you never <laughs> forgot. I'm definitely carrying more than I used to. Is it because I'm carrying the med kits on me rather than leaving them in the thing? Maybe I should just carry food on me. 
Should just carry a stack of 10 food and leave a med kit in the car for when times are tough. Be more space efficient, certainly. Oops, I didn't mean to put that away. No, it doesn't really matter where these go, honestly. Not that much. I wonder if there's a 4 by one Something to use up that space at some point. Hearing game clock is actually bugged out and won't move past midnight. This is unfortunate. Oh, no. Car is a new paint job. I missed a lot. It sure as shit does. We even spray painted the chassis black to match the rest of the steel panels and uh, doors we put on. We're all steel now, which is the first level of upgrades. I even replaced our repellent bumper that was supposed to stop organics and electro-organics from grabbing hold of us. Because um, I didn't think it worked and I didn't realize that like the handbrake, it's an ability you equip and you turn on. So that's my fault. But yeah, we have steel bumpers now. We are all around steel. Outfitting station, improved antenna, which I can't do yet because I need a circuit board. Uh, I can get a circuit board. Junction restabilizer, matter regenerator, ingenious limb technology, advanced spare, yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to repair car components stored, car components, not tools, never tools. Repair car components stored in the station. So you can save on putty, I guess, if you have two sets of components so you can swap them out. Seems a bit weird. I need to get the advanced workbench though, so we definitely need to buy this. What are those parts of it? Oh, it's got little trees on it. That's what those parts are. You have to put them in there for it to work. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, what's a level two workbench cost? Unstable energy. Cool. Investigator module. This upgrade for the tinker station will report back to you which elements of a diagnosis are correct. A new chip can also, uh, also has the ability to spend anchor energy to scan the car for abnormalities. Oh, that's good. I don't need that yet, but it gets easier later. Outfitting station would take my two chemicals, but I don't need them right now. Circuit board for this one. Hmm. Is there anything I could get for my car? Off-road tires. Cost a lot of energy. They only take a basic workbench. Let's get off-road tires. Hell yeah. The tires are probably in too good a shape right now to worry about changing them, but... How hard would it be to change them? Off-road tires are a lot of rubber. A lot of rubber. Regulars are like eight. These are 50% more rubber and double the metal, though it does barely matters. Shit. So we need rubber now. Off-road tires are real sweet. Yeah, I need rubber. Okay. Fair enough. Do I still have enough energy to buy the level two and maybe find out what this does? Missing ingredients. Circuit board. I can make you a circuit board. I have that power. Thank God you've been getting really car sick when we go off road. I know how to make them now. We don't we don't have them. Kiddo, sorry. A little bit light on rubber right now. Oh, where's this go? Oh, I see. Uh, I know how to get up there. Is it going to be noticeably larger? Yes, it is. Wow. gave them like a couple pieces of plastic and metal for that. They made a lot out of it. I'll have to catch up on Baldur's Gate 3 streams and then sleep. Farewell dad and siblings. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy. Sleep well and sweet dreams when you get to it. 
Thanks so much for hanging out, friendo. Um, let's find out what that antenna upgrade did for me. Those tires are okay-ish, right? I can do the same thing with scanning with tires, right? Yes, I can. Yeah, they're okay-ish. Besides, I want to replace them with off-road tires, so... Oh, is the engine okay? I never remember to look at that. What are these showing? Oh, the attachments I've got. So you can eventually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attachments. Interesting. The brakes don't count, right? I don't see them equipped somewhere. I think the brakes that they have me do don't count. Cool. Sounds like it's not the first time you were light on rubber seeing all your children. <laughs> um... So I can't go back to these destinations, can I? No, we always have to go to new destinations? No, but I've been here. Why can I go there? For the, the, I don't get that. Roads are fucked or something? That's our eventual goal. This area is too fucked up, though. This does not go there. Shit. That's annoying. All the way out here, I would be... T oh, can I, like, skip ahead to this? Is that what it's telling me? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we're going here. Awesome. The Warrens. So this is going to be full of those bunnies. We're going to give the limb pulse thing another try. I feel like we should. How expensive are they to make? Yeah, it's not bad. Give me two of them. Oh, wow, they fit in my inventory. You two can actually go get repaired for free. I just realized while I'm doing this. If I just put you in the matter regenerator while I'm gone, they should be uh, repaired by the time I get back, I imagine. Nice. Cool. Man, this car has really improved. It has. Good shit. Um, I don't think there's any more avoiding it. I think we have to go out to the rabbit warrens now. I should bring another... I should bring my other scrapper to break. And I should... I'm gonna have to make another scrapper when I'm out there. But I shouldn't make it now. I'm just sure I'm gonna use up all my scrapper durability. Uh... If this thing really is overloaded with bunnies. Well, before we get out there, let's do this. So, X. Whoops, didn't mean to hit that. What am I trying to do here? Button X should be... Should be... Front bumper. Button Y should be... Rear bumper. Did I just fuck that up? Front bumper... What is happening? Rear bumper. Do I only need one button to set them both off? I think that's what might be what's happening. Maybe they're not directional. Maybe they protect the entire vehicle despite the look of them. And I only needed one of those. Can we stop for ice cream this time? If it comes in a can. I know the best ice cream doesn't. But I want you eating anything exposed to, you know, the environment out here. Does ice cream ever come in a can? I don't know. Let's, it'll be like a little game. We'll find out. 
hello. Okay. Well, let's hang a left at the gas station and go get this, whatever's going on there. But for now, we can follow the road down to the gas station. the gas station right there. Indeed it is. Don't need any gas, but we'll go ahead and get out to check for any fun materials and stuff. The inability to hold a light at the same time is very upsetting. me for a second. Thought it was really something looking out of the window. Hey, there's a workbench here. I mean, is it level two? Does that help me? I have a workbench with me everywhere I go. It's tier one. wonder why it's there. That just goes back outside. Toolbox. Rubber. Good. Hey, there's something back there. Carrying food in my hands now. Not a lot. Knife wrench for kids. Forgot to grab your juice? You're gonna have to wait till we get back to the garage now, okay? Sorry, sweetheart, that's the way of the world sometimes. How to make ice cream in a can? Fun for kids? Dad's trying to distract us? Why'd you kids get so goddamn smart, huh? That really sounded like a bigger boom than I was expecting from just hitting that. I think I should be able to cut through a lot of this stuff. I got steel now. Oh shit, I looked down for a second to double check some buttons. Okay. Is that the anomaly or my quirk? I have a horn. The lights turn on and off with the horn? Is that the thing? Or the wipers did something too. I don't know what, which of this is quirks and what's just happening. Let's leave it running for a minute here. Go take care of this. This looks like a high energy one. Oh yeah, they, that's got way more than the one we stopped and looked at at one time. Oh shit. They do have different amounts of energy. What did I just run into? Oh Christ. Oh Christ, and there's a left right here. Hang on. Alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, where do I want to go now? I guess we'll take a left coming up here in a little bit. And we'll head to the northeast corner of the map for the charge over there. And we're going to be about as far as possible from going to the south, but we might be able to try it depending on how it's going. Oh, that's horrendous. Go around, go around, go around. Oh, coming this way, you get to do a sick jump over all that. Damn it. Damn it. I'm getting the jump jack upgrade when we get back. I want to know if it sends you high enough you can just go right over shit like that. That would be wonderful. What are we coming up on? Just a regular house? 
This is where I want to turn. I think I'm safe right here for a minute. I think so. Go check this out. It's a field of tourists. It looks like it ends before this building. Figured out a quirk. When your wipers go right, your uh, dashboard flickers. You never noticed. I probably wouldn't notice that either. I think you can be forgiven of that. Is that an anomaly? Growing out of the ground? Or is that their carpet with some grass just randomly poking through it? Yeah, that would be a very hard one to notice. Good place to break my scrapper a little bit. Not enough, though. It's making all those awful noises in the woods. Wait, no, no, I'm supposed to can't be. I, I hold on to these 10. Hi. Okay. That's news to me. Oh crap, there's a storm coming. There's an instability storm over me. I think I'm just driving along with it, so I'm going to be in it as long as possible if I continue this way. That's an extra large bollard. Can I just like park and wait it out? Is that wise? No, no, no. I think, I think we will get out faster if I drive. It looks like it's going northeast, and I'm going more east-northeast, so we'll eventually get out. Oh, but I really want this plasma, but I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Not right now. Oh, but there's a house, too. God damn it. All right, I think we get out of this going the other direction. What is that? That was the second kind of anomaly, a vent anomaly I was seeing through the bollards. Come on, get me to the other side of this storm. I know. Give me to the other side of this fucking storm. Are we almost out? We're like three quarters of the way through, Samantha. Merely, I think we can wait here just a second. It should go away. I think we're good. Oh. You can make your own ice cream, so presumably you can put it in whatever container you want to. It's you making the noises? Well, cut it out. This is scary enough, okay? I'm trying to focus on the road. With all you kids practicing your monster noises back there. I do like all the, is this worth going for, micro decisions this game has you make? What happens if you run over a mannequin? They explode when you touch them. They're not terribly dangerous, but like, it's not good. You can hit one now and then, but you don't want to. Minor radiation zone, I am, what fun. even had two plasma in it. You know, rich on plasma these runs. Not chemicals though. Didn't need to drop that. I to shut that off. Just forgot you can't while running and that's why hitting the button didn't work. My fingers automatically went for another button thinking I'd just done it wrong. Okay, the storm's completely moved on. I'm gonna ignore this house and we're just gonna go on to the end of this dirt track and get that charge. Hopefully nothing else happens along the way. Hopefully. Okay, that I think was a new thing. I did not recognize what that was, but I'm not in a position to turn around and go find out because I'm scared. I'm too scared to turn around and go find out.
go right around that thing. Oh shit, hang on. Don't lose the dirt road. There's my charge up ahead and I think there's more plasma near it. Yes, there is. Why am I turning this way? Maybe my quirk is while accelerating. Pull f really fucking hard to the right. All right, car. You wait right here. Hello. Lana, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everybody. How was your stream? I hope you were having a good time. Welcome to Pacific Drive. I'm going to turn on my side floodlights. They may actually be of use here. We're trying to find our way through a zone of anomalies and horrors to upgrade our station wagon. Oh, my impact hammer is nearly broke. I wonder if I can even do this whole thing. We we'll give it a shot. Happy Saturday. Hope you're all doing well, friendos. I start that early? No, that was good. Don't zap me. Good stuff. Now we vacuum up the glass and the plasma with a literal vacuum. I guess it's lucky the plasma comes in little containers. And now we go get the charge to leave. What's up, Bubbles? What's up, Samurai? Good to see you. What's up, Lana? Good to see you. Dad's brought as many, many children along with him. They're being right goddamn monsters, I'll tell you that much. I'm just trying to get us out of this dangerous situation so we can have a nice family vacation. Then we'll stop kicking the back of the seat, no matter how many times I upgrade it, with better steel components. All right, that doesn't seem to have caused anything dangerous. Sometimes that causes dangerous things. Start the car up, turn these headlights on, turn the floodlights off. I want to hang a right here at the real road. And I think I want to... Those look like train tracks. Can I follow train tracks with my car? I have pretty crappy tires. I am trying to destroy them, however. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Are we there yet? Sorry. I don't know what let us have a picnic. Look around you! It's midnight in hell! No, you can't have a picnic. Gave up on Pacific Drive after two hours. We have to live vicariously now. I gotta say, there's a number of things in this game that have taken me too long to learn. Some are my fault. Like, uh, it took me a shockingly long time to learn that until I could make a flashlight, I could just use the road flares to see. I was stumbling in the dark doing nothing. Um, Some of them I do think they could change, like... The controls. I'm never 100% certain just right off the top of my head, whether I need to hit right button, hold right button, hit right trigger, hold this, left trigger, press that. So I end up dropping and, you know, misusing things constantly. And then just the overall thing, I, I feel like I get out of my car too often. It's very literally stop start. But on the whole, I happen to be enjoying. I have a few complaints, but I happen to be enjoying. I especially just love the feel of this. Yeah, I can't go in that tunnel. Unless I like loop around a little bit. What's going on here? Oh, that's the railroad above. So... So... Should I off-road it? We're gonna try and off-road it. It's gonna be faster. Actually, no. The performance of these tires is fucking awful. Um... I, I have to... I, I don't know how big this anomaly is, but it looks like I can squeeze around it, so I have to try. I'm way safer on the roads than off. We are fine. We're fine. Sorry to report, we've also lost the rope from Travel Clue. God damn it. What's up, Leia, baby? Happy Saturday. Good to see you, friendo. I probably should have chopped up that car. I'm doing okay on scrap. We'll do a big scrap run some other time. But I feel like I should have chopped up that car. We're coming back to the gas station. I could use gas. From there, we'll head left, and we'll go down and get the last... Sh the storm's coming in. We should leave. Okay, let's hit the gas station, and then leave. The storm's coming in. Actually... Is the storm going to leave that corner safe? Let's assume it does. Fuck it, I'll drive through the storm for a little while if I gotta. You can reach, right? You can reach, right? Hey, we're good. Let's get the hell out of here. I forgot we weren't leaving this map. Like, to go home, we're leaving this map to go to another map. At least we found fuel. My battery is awful. 
We're gonna have to use our battery jumper and make another for the very first time ever. Been a fun road trip so far. Well, I'm glad to hear that, you know? Sometimes I worry you kids are just gonna remember, oh, dad used to stuff us into the, the car and make us drive through the most terrible excursion zones, the most awful hidden government research places. It's good to know, you know, you see a little value in them. At least some of you do. Hey, stop hitting each other back there. I'm trying to be sincere for once. Found you're doing more driving the further in you get. I'm certainly doing more driving on this run than I did in previous. I think I'm, I don't know if it's my habits changing or I think it's just a habit thing. Excuse me. As you're passing through the earlier waypoints to get the deeper ones with better loot, still horribly misadvertised though. Misadvertised? Did they never show you getting out of the car? What do you mean misadvertised? Um, this is surrounded by horribleness. Fucking surrounded. There was a whole line of them there. Like they literally, those tourists were literally standing in a line. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Very fun road trip, but we've lost many siblings along the way. People just keep their hands and arms inside the car. Maybe we wouldn't have so many dead family members, huh? Maybe. Don't be waving at the anomalies. Okay, we're going to the Warrens. Overcharged electricity. Fun. Let's do it. It's called Pacific Drive, not Pacific Walk. The trailer for this game gave the impression it was more of an open world kind of experience, like Euro Truck Survival Sim. Oh, I see, I see. I mean, I think they did talk about what it is before it came out, but I see what you mean. All right, what do we got going on here? We have quite a small map. What does this mean? Extreme conditions. Well, let's go find out what that means when we have the chance. So we got to drive up to this facility here first. Did I just see it in the headlights? It's on the other side of the road. It is. It's right beside me. And there's an abductor there. Cool. Hang on a sec. Let me make a little more space between me and the abductor. Then we'll park the car and I gotta turn it off because fucking headlights. In fact, let's go do the battery jumping now. I think I leave the battery jumper in here. I do. This is full of crap. Hank can go too. He can go there. I still haven't broken my scrapper. Excellent. That's why my inventory is a bit rough. Come here, you. Now, how do I do this? I've never done this. You just, do you just hit the engine with it? No. There's a fucking battery on this thing. What am I doing? Wait, did I see a blue? Ah, battery. Ah, there we are. That is fantastic. Good stuff. Close the hood. Trunk is already closed. We're good. We're good. Is this game good? Don't know if I want to spend the money. I would say it's good. I don't know about great, and I haven't played a lot of it yet. But I'd say it's good. You gotta have some patience for it, in my experience. But keep in mind, I haven't played very long yet. Your experience could vary significantly, or it may change suddenly later on. I wouldn't yet know. I'm not sure I'm gonna get the car back up this. We're gonna have to leave the car here. Oh, god damn you. Hang on. Yeah, get fucked. The system works. In the rain and all, I'm just not sure I can drive back up that. Am I aimed back towards the road? I am. The car has to wait here. We have to go without. I have so little battery left, I'm gonna start carrying actual flares. Is one of them just stuck in the air? I think it spawned funny. If I don't touch it, we should be fine. Okay, is this what was marked? Like a tape record, uh, the cassette, basically. 
I think it was. Curious audio recorder. Faraday future? Do I need to put that back? Yeah, it is an actual item. The president played some cool music. Dr. Ophelia Turner is standing next to President Koch, the top of her head barely clearing his shoulder. Oh, it's NPR style music, I get it. Her hazel eyes are fixed on the glass and steel chamber in front of her. She does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of thin air. The sight is tremendous. A lightning bolt frozen mid-strike and the reaction immediate. The gathering audience roars with excitement and spontaneous applause. On Dr. Turner, only a tightening of her lips indicates that she hears the audience at all. Dr. Turner and President Koch pose for a picture. She does not smile even then. That picture is the image splashed across newspapers and science journals for the next decade. The mother of Lynn technology, they called her. The angel of a new age. The newspapers at that time laid the titles on thick while peddling the impending utopia. Then she recedes into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. There are scant appearances here and there in Lincoln units of promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she... And the promise of Lynn technology is beer. Timing. If I'd been here, if I'd only been in the vehicle when that happened, I could have hit the button immediately. Let's grab this first. I'm a little worried about causing anomalies around here by pulling this out. It happens rarely, but it does seem to happen. I'm on cue with grabbing these sometimes. Like that one seems new. Maybe I just didn't notice before, but that one, see, what are you fucking doing here? Bastard. Which direction is that walking? Are we good? Is that another one? What was that blue spark over here? Hmm. Okay. Getting your face stomped in by the Draconic Tree Sentinel in Faramazula. Any tips? Draconic Tree Sentinel in Faramazula. Um... I don't remember who that is. Wait, are the Tree Sentinels... Those are the ones that look like almost gigantic, heavily robed things made of bark, right? And they have massive staffs they like to smash you over the head with. Am I thinking of the right creatures? What can I get for this? Oh, the one directly before Malakath, the horse riders. Shoo, boy. I don't recall what I did to fight them, honestly. I would love to tell you something, but I really don't remember. All I can say is guard your emotions. Protect yourself from their cruelty as best you can. Good luck. What's this over here? The hell is this? This looks like a landing pad for part of a base in No Man's Sky, but a little dirtier. Ooh. I will take free repair, buddy, any goddamn day. Charge stop. Charge stop? What? What am I looking at here? Charge stop. Oh, for the battery. For the battery? I can charge my battery here? Oh, I get it. It took me a long time to figure out. This isn't on the road. Do I need battery right now? I think I won't. And this is a pain to get to. I think we won't bother doing that. I'm gonna go do this right now, and if my battery's low when I get back with this because I left the headlights on, we might do it, but I don't think we need to. I gotta drop some stuff off the car. I can't carry all this. It's a long road trip. Parry it. Using strength build with the uh, Troll's Golden Heavy Sword, plus 25. I don't really 
remember the tree sentinels that well. I don't think they were easy for me. I don't remember them being hard. I think, I think... I'm not sure that I came up with any, like, specific strategy to beat them. I think I just fought each one of them five, seven, ten times or whatever it took until I happened to win. That's why I'm not helpful. God, I wish I was better at giving advice in those games, but I stumble through them so much. I don't come out with, like, a lot of tips and tricks. And I'm willing to just sit there doing the same thing over and over again until it works. So I don't come out with any tips and tricks. I do things slowly in the worst way. If that happens to be how I started the encounter. We're about to break our second scrapper. That's fun. You got anything in your trunk? You do. Let's grab this and get out of here. Okay, bit of a run back to the car now. Shit. Is that going for the car? Hey, Jesus, it's going for me. Quickly before it raises a new one! Ah, crap. Am I allowed to leave yet? This is my last map. How much more is there? My hood's like fucked. Oh, I'm going to such a rich area. I'm going to such a rich area. Let's continue on. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what I'm planning yet. I was. Th no, we shouldn't do that. I was thinking of activating the gate ahead of us and then going and trying to get two or all three of those when we get near. That's not wise. Yeah, I ate up some battery leaving the headlights on. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't realize I'd be out of the car for so long, but I should have, knowing I was between two of those things I wanted to pick up, and the one ahead of me was clearly quite a ways away. What's that over there? That is... It's a research facility to my right. We need chemicals. Always need chemicals. Looks like there's some plasma still here, too. Is that broken, or is it in one piece? Ooh. I get any plasma out of that? I actually don't think I did. I think the plasma piece fell somewhere, I didn't grab it. Where are the chemical brothers and the chemical sisters? Where are you hiding from me? There we are. Locked, that will do you no good. I know all your tricks. Trailer working scientists. I know all the ways around your locks. Basically, it's breaking them. And also, only the easy locks. I actually don't know all the ways around your hard locks. I know the ways around one of your locks. Oh, that's my shining thing. The steel panel is so fucked. Hang on. We should repair it while we're here. Give me the putty. Equip the putty. Slather it on the hood. Excellent. And put the repair putty back. I'm getting very good at finding my way around the car in the dark. I don't know what that is. It's off to my left. Oh, that's the gate. That's the exit. Yeah, we don't do that yet. We don't do that yet. There was some trunk in that trunk. Looks like it's glowing more than usual. Eh, thank you. 
please no anomalies please no anomalies please no anomalies please I think we got our wish a little further on there should be two more after we turn or uh, take a turn around the road am I getting greedy yet am I See, look at how near they are. This is so worth it. There should be another one just up ahead. Maybe I stop between them. There it is. And this thing. Cool. All right, let's turn the car around real quick. Because after we grab these two, we're activating and we're getting the hell out of here. And it's going to be a bit of a sprint in this direction. Shouldn't be too bad. I don't think. Shouldn't be too awful. You first. Okay, now let's go grab this thing. Mom always said you were greedy. Why was mom telling you kids that? Hey, well, hang on. The couple's therapist explicitly told us it was a bad idea to lay this on the children. What? Oh, ran to the wrong side of the car. Okay, now this one. Brushing my face up against a few trees in the way there. Okay, we are out. I don't need to put anything away. It's coming with me in my pockets. We're done. We're out of here. Activate this slightly nearer gate. Perfect. Start the scar up. Okay, I pretty much just need to follow the road. It's not the most direct route, but it's certainly going to be safer than taking the direct route. And we are close enough. I expect no difficulties. This road's not been especially cruel. We're not going so far. The storm should be an issue. I think we have a pretty safe exit here. more curving no it's almost straight from here almost we can beeline it once we feel it's safe we oh, it's right in the middle of the road we don't need to make any real choice easy game let's upgrade the car and head to the mid zone well let's fix some stuff and head to the mid zone Why is this closed? Oh, it's always closed and then it opens. How do I close it? That's what I want to know. No, interesting thing about those anchor plugs. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Mom was always talking shit about you? Was that before or after Mom went off to war? Okay, now where's the travel chest set? If you're just gonna lose the pieces, I don't think you should bring it. I know that sounds harsh, but uh, I hope I can get all the way to the wall. I just realized I should have been discovering my way there as we went. Not really worked on it that much. Okay. I need my repair putty. Which is out here. Uh, the front right panel's fucked. I get some. The rear right panel, the one I'm looking at, can have some. Good. Did you get yours? Are you repairing? You are. And how about the doors? I mean, the doors are all kind of fine. In general, it's pretty damaged, but it's pretty damaged pretty evenly. I'm willing to accept 84% because there's no individual part that looks like, oh god, clearly I need to repair that. I'm kind of willing to accept where it's at. Need to make another battery jumper to bring with me. 
Hang on, is that the thing I had an extra of? At one point? Guess that came and went with our fucked up save. Guess that came and went. Uh, you know that guy on the radio, the one talking about the trees? He's the key to all of this. But he lives in a stable pocket with no way in or out. Even time remains static there. I don't think I've heard the guy talking about the trees. Not yet, at least. Um, all right, battery jumper. Acquired. Put this in here for safety's sake. Nice. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to do? Didn't really get any chemicals out of that. Should unload this, but let's use this. Nothing needs to stay in there. At least one of these goes over here. Paint. One of these goes to the fax machine. That. Let's go to the fax machine. So it does. Cool. Um, a bunch of these are materials. Transfer materials. No, the other way around. You fuck. Give me this thing. Where does this go? Detailing station. Yeah. Uh, food can go in here. Oh, clearly it can. But give me one stack of ten to carry around. Find one of those sweet whipper wills. Put it in your mouth. Let all the fluff come out. Bear with Mug, thank you so much for the two gifted subs. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the kindness. Both to me and to your fellow viewers. Welcome to Sands. You're gonna have a it's very, very time. generous. Thank, we'll well, thank you all so much for the follows, everyone. I hope you're enjoying. It's wonderful to have you here. And I hope you're having a good Saturday. So if I'm over here and I hit right trigger, good. So it starts with, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to assign that a quick slot. Not, not, not correct. Put that away. Or uh, put it in my hand, rather, is what I did. Um, okay. The road flare can go with the other stored ones, because I'm going to make another... Actually, I'm going to see if I can make a flashlight. I would love a flashlight. Everything else is kind of up to snuff, right? Why did I didn't get enough of rubber to make off-road tires? Can I make like two of them, put them on the front? Hope that's enough. Oh, you need unstable energy for a flashlight. Never mind, we're not going to do that. At all. Can I even make another side rack or something? I think I'm done until I can, until I can, um, Get to the next zone. You've been making comic book level of continuity this stream. It's been a greatest game DLC. Uh, what did I just learn to make? I just learned to make a gas can upgrade. Where do you hide that from me? There it is. Plastic and rubber. Ah, uh, well I don't have enough rubber for two tires anyway, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, sadly. fill this thing. This will fit in there, right? Or can you only carry the small one in the sort of dedicated place? I assume this fits in there. About to find out. Only the small one fits in there. Oh, that's sad. I don't need this at all then. Why don't you go in here for when I'll need you later in the game, I suppose. I don't need that at all. Are you full up still? Get back in there, fuel can. You do your job just fine. Damn. Damn to damn damn damn. Everything good here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. We're not getting a lot of use out of these floodlights, but that's fine. Okay. Did I mean what I said? Do I know what I want to make? Do I? I'm making a big mistake. 
I can get a second side rack with stable energy. But I need steel sheets, but I can make steel sheets. Can't do either of these. Those two are unstable. Seat rack is stable energy too. A seat rack. What was it I was looking at before that you need uh, that it? Uh, uh, I had something that went on a seat rack. Don't recall. I think it was something I was looking at in here. Not something I actually possess right now. Thank you, Ryder, for yes ending Samantha's insanity. You're very welcome. I enjoy. Make a side tank? Make a lightning rod. Plasma charger takes unstable energy. We can make a lightning rod. Oh, jump jacks. I was going to get jump jacks. That's what I need a seat rack for. Okay. Do I have enough to do all of this stuff? Seat rack. Four seal sheets. You got it. We're gonna make our car jump. Four of these. Three of these. Two of these. One more. Let's go buy that. That took a fuck bunch of steel, by the way. How do you install these? Inside the car? Squish in, kids. Inside the car. Now, do I have enough remaining to get jump jacks? And then maybe test them out. Wonder if they're gonna spin me just because they're only under one side. I doubt it. I hope it's not like that. Lead platelet? Go fuck yourself. Lead platelets. Damn it. We can't put jump jacks in yet. I don't know where to find those. I've cut up some of those lead things and I didn't get lead platelets, did I? I mean, I need to try that again. Or maybe you need like a better, maybe it's like picks. You need a better scrapper to, to get something out of that. But I still have two scrappers. That is absurd. Hey, what have you got for me today? You know how much longer you'll be streaming for? We're going to try and go to the wall, the next mission. I would bet that's the last thing we do on stream tonight. But I'm going to get ready for that mission. I'm going to try and do that mission. But Samantha, I'll be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. with Armored Core 6. And you're welcome in the Discord. A paddle tire to submit Armored Core builds I will play on stream. It's been a ton of fun. I'm really enjoying. Okay, do uh, side racks cost me... Uh, they cost me, like, metal. That's That's really it. And then lights cost me some stuff. I'm just thinking I quite... I rather like this floodlight. Here, can I move this forward a bit? No. The rack is permanently installed there. Okay, no problem. That's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is what I'm going to do. Um... Hope I have enough for it. Give me a second side rack. I need two steel sheets for that. Ooh, positively low on scrap metal. And make me another set of side floodlights. Need five bulbs, not a rob lead. Thank you for letting me know. There we go. There we go. Can light up the world now. I love it. I love it. Haven't you seen Hydra's new short? He's going to stream forever till the day I die. But like, not continuously. Okay. Are we sort of set to go, basically? Where's my impact hammer? Did I break? I broke my impact hammer, didn't I? Another impact hammer. 
And I need a new relightable flare, I believe. Cool. Oh, I made the gear for the impact hammer, but I didn't make the other gear nor the impact hammer. I should do it that way. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. We'll need a pry bar soon. I can make that when we're out. Actually, let's make it out of materials we have here. Yep, pry bar. And do I get much back for shitty old pry bars, or is this one of the things that's not worth recycling? Get duct tape and scrap metal. I kind of forget how much it costs to make, so I can't tell you if that was good value or not. Oh well. Alright, 84%. Um, if we're going into this mission, yeah, it's fine. I'm fine with all this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Tires okay? Yeah. Ish. Do I have the chemicals for more putty? How many of them have I got? I have three. I have two and a half waiting. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Let's do this. If I can get there. That's the goal. I can't get there yet. I have to go through here. Extreme conditions. That hasn't moved though, has it? Are you making me go through there? I think you're making me. Which seems mean. Seems very mean. Let's make a save game right here, because I'm going to try and rush to where we're going, and I'm not sure that's going to be wise, safe, or leave me enough materials to survive it when we arrive, because I'm thinking we're probably going to draw more power if I use these floodlights, and I'll need to make some more battery jumpers along the way and stuff like that. We're going to try it. We killed the tree sentinel. GG! Well done! Excellently handled. Had to resort to the tree sentinel shield and a ringed finger. Give them back what they gave you. Kill them with a tree sentinel's weapon, too. Well done. Okay, let's go to this place, which is low on anomalies. It seems the most direct. I'm not sure if that matters, but it seems the most direct. To the wall we go. Eventually. It's gonna take two trips. Oh, I'm actually not sure if I can. I'm pretty sure in less than an hour, the YouTube stream has to end because you can't go longer than 12 hours. I actually think we have an issue. Um, I'm going to drive fast. We'll see what happens. Turn off the lights. Away we go. I may have been so slow. If we didn't have those crashes, I wouldn't get to the mid part of the game in this one stream. Can't believe, but it looks like that's what's happening. I'm just gonna keep going past that plasma. It hurts me slightly, but we're gonna keep going right through this anomaly. We had enough speed that we're fine. All right, there's a charge on the road. We better grab that because we need charge to leave eventually. So we should grab that and start prepping for the eventual leaving. Our last mission was night. I assume we're in dawn right now, so it should only get brighter as we go. That's lucky. That's a good outcome. Shit. There's brand new anomalies. Popping up around me. All the fucking around me. God damn dare you. Let's just go. Let's just go. Fucked up my front right headlight. As opposed to my back headlights? Fucked up my right headlight. Watch out for the spike puddle. Alright, there's gonna be another charge I would love to get, because how much more do we need? It doesn't 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 say. It doesn't say until we get to the gateway area? Charges I gather here matter though, right? Or do I need to get a certain number of charges just in the final gateway area?
Little new anomaly right in front of the fucking car. Love that shit. I go around it. It's already zapping me. Fuck it. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Okay. Hang a right and just drive to get out of this map now. I think that's a new anomaly. I don't recognize it. Or leave the YouTube kids behind, more seatbelts for us. Hey, I risk all my children's lives equally. And some say that's akin to loving all your children equally. It's debated. You got this wall climber. This game would be pretty fun in VR. I was just thinking that how much easier it would be to like, oh, what is this? That's the saw blade. If we keep moving, we're fine. Um, it'd be a lot easier to check my map real quick now and then in VR. Did you guys see the news that Sony said they are working on trying to bring, they're having difficulties, but working on trying to bring the PSVR 2 to PC to try and sell more, I imagine. But that's fantastic. Whatever the reason. I'm real pleased about that. Hey, this place could have chemicals. We'll stop and just take a quick look. In this. I didn't notice if it was a research facility necessarily because I'm trying to go quick, but it's just right here. Looks like a research facility. Certainly have a chance to break this uh, thing. Is it? Is it? Is. Oh, but they had canisters. I mean, that's good, but it's not chems. Oh, shit. Drop that. Give me my scrapper and find me those parts again. There we go. Good. Got everything now. I think I got everything out of here. There's no chemicals, certainly. So we don't need to worry too much about it. What is that? What's it called? A beating heart. Interesting. Thanks for the awesome vacation, Dad. Explodeberry, thank you so much for the ten dollars. That's very generous. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you're welcome. I, I do my best, you know. It's interesting to hear I'm succeeding, but yeah, I try. Back in our electrocuted car. Now let's head to the next area. Now the next area should be where we exit this mission. We need to get charges, open a gateway, and leave. I'm gonna do that as fast as possible so we can start a new mission and try and get to the wall. Okay? High instability. Check conditions. Battery sa- that said battery sapping and something else? I should have checked conditions. Awkward? I'm strapped to the roof and I don't even have a seatbelt. Um, what are you strapped to the roof with? That's your seatbelt, buddy! Link gateway. We can link a gateway immediately. Battery sapping, sift storm. Okay, let's grab the one charge right here just because it's along the road. No, fuck it. Let's get the hell out of here as quick as we can. Because I'll lose this gateway if we go too far forward. Away we go. My bollards. If I go too far forward, I can't open that gateway because you're not allowed to open one. You're too near. It'd be too easy. There's the thing, and I think it has unstable energy. Wait, hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That that bear is checking out. That bear is not even hitting the brake. Unstable anchor, our first. Kind of fucking hard to get out of these woods, though. Okay, we're good, we're good. No problem.
not sure OSHA would agree with that statement. It's a rope that has sign tape to it. That's basically what a seatbelt is. I'm pretty sure that's what the first seatbelts were. The sign says, do not untie from roof. Perfect. Impressed. Not bad, newbie. Okay, quick repairs and let's get out of here again. There's definitely a couple things that need repairs. One of the headlights is certainly fucked. Have to clear out my inventory. Uh, where do you go? You go in the detailing station. Food, 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 food. I carry some of this. The rest goes in here, as I recall. Things beeping at me for more lore. It's not an international incident if we don't tell anyone. There are a lot of Canadians in the world. Who's going to miss four? Is that related to the first thing I read? I bet it is. Also, are these bumpers healed? They are. That's so sweet. I love that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I don't need to unlock anything. I just need to make sure the car is charged and reasonably repaired and go. Headlights in good condition. We're at 74%. Let's be a little more liberal with the putty this time, even though I'm short on um, materials. Yeah. <laughs> this needs some. This gets some. Other headlight is okay. Scan the panel. Uh, front lid panels are kind of fine. Mm, I mean, let's just be safe then. We're about to go through three of them. Let's just be safe. And raise our standards. Ra lower our standards? Raise our standards. Raise our standards. That's the right word. And repair things even when they're kind of fine. And we're only going to have one repair putty when we get out there, but we're up to 85%. And this headlight is still fucked, is it? How do I fix that? Fix with an electrician's kit. There we are. There we are. Okay. This is the friendly dumpster, and then we can get out of here. How am I doing on time? 11-12. 11-12. One thing. That. This goes back in here. Um, I'm carrying what I need to carry. Everything's in a reasonable condition. My scrapper's a little low and that's it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Save over that last. Save. And head for the wall. We are connected to it now, right? You are fucking kidding me. I didn't discover any way over from there? Where am I supposed to be going? What are you- are you fucking- what? I assume this is here because that's where I go through the next wall, right? But G9 doesn't connect there. I have to circle around from somewhere else? Feels weird. But I guess that's the nature of roads. They're already laid down. It looks near to me, but who knows what the actual terrain is and the roads in the game of the world have been built. Fuck. Oh. We're not going to go to the mid zone on the stream. And I'm not planning to stream this again necessarily. Maybe, but I, I don't have plans to. I just wanted to get like a good chunk of it done. We certainly did, but I didn't get to the mid zone. I took way too long and crashed and died one too many times each. I'm not even going to get to the mid zone. We don't have a jumping car. That's what I really wanted. You tried, father? Not the father. That makes me feel so much worse. You promised, dad? I did. I did. And what I've learned is not to promise you anything ever again. I like this game. I have lots of little complaints about it, and I always feel it's very, very awkward. But I like this game. Hmm. 
Well, a lot of you just watched hours and hours of it. I think you probably have a good idea whether you'd like it. I like this game. I hope I have time to play it again on stream or off. It's super interesting. There's got to be other games like this where, where, you know, your vehicle. There's got to be. I guess I just haven't played them. It feels very new and fresh to me. It's been a great showcase. Has it been? <laughs> the glitches, the crashes, the deaths. Has it been? It's certainly been fun, though. Samantha, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. We return to Armored Core 6. And you are welcome in the Discord to submit your Armored Core build, and I will play it on stream. There is a list of parts. Please just do me a favor and check that to make sure I can play it. Special thank you to Otter Space for making and keeping that updated. You can find where to submit your build as well as the aforementioned uh, list of parts, uh, the spreadsheet, in the general chat channel. Go to the pinned messages or the threads icon, which looks like a little spool, and you'll find a thread called Submit Your Armored Core Build. And there is all the information and where you should put the share code if you're on PC. Um, unfortunately, the list of parts if you're on console, because share codes aren't cross-platform. Thanks for the road trip, Dad. Bear, thank you so much for hanging out, and thank you for the generosity. It's very kind. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Monday, I won't be streaming. Tuesday, I plan to be back for Baldur's Gate 3. Beyond that, I will let you know on Discord and during stream. But I think... I think it'll probably be a normal week. I might take one extra day off. A normal week would be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I think it will be coming up. We'll see. Anyway, it was wonderful to have you. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I really, really enjoyed myself. It's the longest stream I've done in a while, and it felt good. My eyes are weirdly dry, but otherwise, it has felt really, really good. Um, the hell is this? What in the world is my friend streaming? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I don't know what the streams are like. I'm going to leave you to your own devices to find entertainment. Apologies for that. But I should go. Rest my eyes from the lights. Have something real to eat and pay attention to the cats. One more time. Uh, you were all a delight. Despite the fact that you made the car trip an exhausting nightmare. Um, Ritalin, maybe? I don't know. I, I can't prescribe anything. Don't take my advice. Show the cats. Cats, cats, cats. Hang on a sec. Hang on one goddamn second. Hang on. Okay, so automatically, like, start, right? Yeah. Let me zoom in a little bit. Turn off the webcam. i to show you not the view out my window if I can help it. It's dark, though, so I can rarely tell. Come on, where is he? Where is he? Wait. There he is. Hi, Dish. Can you autofocus for my camera? I'm sorry my hands are so shaky. I'm really zoomed in. Can I change which camera I'm using? I think it's not auto switching to like the zoomed one. Hang on. Front two? Is this the? Nope. Front one. That's the point six. Back zero? Wait, this thing can't access. I've got multiple cameras here and it can't access the ones with optical zoom. That's too bad. Well, there's Dish for you. Have a good night, Samantha. 